Yo, chatter. Yo. Yo, is this thing on? Am I in your, both your ears or only in one ear? Does it work? Is it working in both ears? Look where we are! We're back home! Oh my god! The fire's on! I'm not cold anymore! Yo! We're mega back! We're so back! What do you mean, hell nah? Turn cam off? Yo, I just got here, what the fuck? No, I'm not in the asylum anymore, they let me out. I took my meds and they let me out. Wait, hold up. You might hear a windows noise, wait a second. Oh, there we go. You're desynced to your cam? I ain't desynced to shit, ka. Wait. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, that ain't desync. That ain't desync, bruh. That ain't desync. Bro. That ain't desync. So how are we doing? Six is good, nine is bad. How are, we how are we doing? How are we doing? You live in Germany? What? Not centered. Is that better? Is that better? Good, just got some snooze. Bro, you're disgusting. Genji choked the finals. Yeah, I didn't really see the, the Valorant finals, but I heard it was banging. I saw Tarek had 300k viewers. What the hell? How is it? I thought there was only I thought there was only 80k people on the planet. How has he got 300k viewers? Bodded! Mega bodded. Audio is a bit quiet, is it? Is that better? Wait, let me turn that shit up. There we go, is that better? Are we back? So this guy just came in the chat, first time message. He wrote, this guy got glasses, lol, four eyes. What are you on about? Like, what is that guy smoking? Are you fucking dumb? This guy's got glasses. Yo, I swear. Wait, hold up. How many percent of people have glasses? 64% of adult Americans have glasses. 60... <laughs> About 30 to 40% of people around the world wear glasses, okay? So, how many eyes are on the planet, huh? Do the math. There's 8 million people. They've all got two eyes. 40% have four eyes. How many, how many eyes are on the planet? I would say like 30 mil. Believer. Why are you question marks bumping? Chat, it's a meme. It's a meme. Of course there's 8 billion, bro. You think I'm dumb? It's a meme. Get with the funny. Get with the funny. I'm funny. Just say haha. You don't have to say question mark, idiot. Chat, you want to see how disgusting this mic is? See that? See that? See that? It's got cobwebs on it. You see that? That's a cobweb. That's disgusting. What the fuck? That's disgusting. Yeah, chat. Listen, you know what I realized today? Well, I realized it yesterday. I was wondering, there are so many moths in my house. I was like, what the fuck? Why is there so many moths in my house? It's so weird. So I came, I came back from England. I opened up the food pantry cupboard. Ten moths on the top of the shelf. Ten of them. What? I had to hoover those motherfuckers. <laughs> hoover all of them off the roof. And then I had to dig through the stuff. I had to dig through it. I had to go through all of the fucking food in the pantry. I got to the very back. And there was a packet of risotto rice from 2021. Motherfucker had like 20 moths inside it dead. I had to throw it away. That was disgusting. That's what happened today. So that was that was the that's what happened today. That was disgusting. That was vile. Yeah, that was that was disgusting. Well, you know how I said on stream a few weeks ago there was moths in the house and some dude in the chat was like, "Don't worry, Cadrel, it's moth season." 
I thought, okay, it's mod season, sure. Uh, I guess that's a thing. So I just like, I got rid of a few mods here and there. And then I go away for two weeks and I come back. It's not mod season, cuh. It's fucking mod century. All right, Reddit check. That was disgusting. Yo, if someone's eating right now, I'm sorry. Not. All right, what's happening on Reddit? There's a lot on Reddit that I missed. They could have laid eggs on other stuff too. Bro, I threw out everything. There's three bin bags tossing shit out. Yo, we cut off the fucking fire. We need that fire. We need to stay warm. The fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Smolder? Nah, I'm not adding that. It's not happening. Casual when he tries to play variety. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, my bad. Uh, my bad. I was wiping some shit off. Pause. <laughs> the fuck is this? The fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> He's got my desktop background as He's got my desktop background as well. Oh shit, leaked. He's got my desktop background as well, bro. I don't know what the fuck this happened. See. <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell? <laughs> Exiting narrator. That's me when I open up a variety game. Stop saying Emerald 1. It was my promotion game, okay? I'm gonna get back to Challenger off stream. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get back to Child. I'm too bored of not playing solo queue. I didn't play solo queue in so long. So I, I, I got on my account, Rat Emperor. And uh, yeah, I only played one game so far. I didn't play on this game for a while. This was the account that I played Scrims on, chat. Remember when we played Squims? When we played Squims? Yeah, I was actually popping off in squims. I mean, look, I took a game off of Chocolate, and that guy's pretty good. And then we scrimmed the Italian team. That wasn't, I didn't even have to do anything against the Italian team. They were trash. This game, I was carrying alone, alo alone, alone, mega carry me. That's me. And uh, this one, I don't remember this one. I don't remember that one. This one I played wise. Oh, this game I was carrying solo bolo. Remember that game chat? How hard I gapped Yamato? That was crazy. Holy fuck, peak Kajal was nuts. Look at that! And I lost to Yamato Syndra? Me? Me? I was completely clapping him, man. So that was the squims. Man, I was top damage every game or what? How crazy was I, chat? How did enemy AD have 30 kills in that scrim? In this game, I was not top damage, so I think this was one game I wasn't top damage. But most other games, I was fucking... Okay, maybe that one too. But most other games, I was doing pretty... Okay, maybe not that one too. But most other games, I was pretty top... Da okay, maybe not that one too. But most games, I was pretty... pretty Like, the damage was pretty good. All right. What is this? How many pent kills does Smolder have already in the pro scene? It has like 400. 400. Hobie, I was there when you guys reached your lowest. True. Origin of no weighing. This is the origin of it? You gotta go look I know, I heard- Oh my god, it's so loud, bro. What is this? Where is the where is the point? She went to with my mug on me. <laughs> oh, DD, oh, what it is? Oh, DD, what it is? Yeah. <laughs> no more slacking. I am a 31 years old master flexibility and class and aesthetics trainer from Hungary. And I started following you during your 23 worlds. And I'm a lurker in chat. I had an office for work for almost 10 years and I played the game since beta. I know what's sitting and the game does to the body. I have not subbed to anyone on Twitch and I like to keep it that way. But the fun you provide, the entertainment and educational commentary you give is a gargantuan. And I'd like to compensate that. So I record and edit the video for you and the rats. That will address back pain, wrist pain, forearms and stress. 
Wait, we got a Dacta in the chat? Yo, hold up, chat. We got a da we got a Dacta. We got a Dacta in the chat. Hello there. Rat King does fitness. Yo, what the fuck? Thanks for clicking on the link. Rat King does fitness. Welcome to the video. I've divided this video into two parts. The first one being. Yo, he looks kind of jacked, bro. I see those shoulders. Those look like Egyptian pyramids, cut. One and the second being two minutes. In the first one, I will explain how can you develop pain in your body. And I will make it specific to gaming. If you want to skip the explanation, feel free to skip the exercises. Wait, what does that mean? Sitting. In the second part, I will show you a couple of cause this gameritis where you have stiff forearms with occasional wrists, elbow and shoulder pain. Gameritis is also linked with back pain, especially long back pain yeah, I got back and pain. neck pain. Yeah, I got that. The gamers tend to use our hand in only one dimension. The one hand on the mouse with left and right movements with occasional yep. back and forth movements, right? The yep. other hand of the keyboard barely moving, but is in constant tension because of the working fingers. The Reds can now ask, what about players with low sense? They are also with players, but in the Reds can ask, bro. He's, he's got it. So, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get to it. Pelvis stuck on nerves are great in increasing spinal control. In your case, maybe you use this as a Wait, I do sex IRL in the, the morning? The goal is to move your pelvis without arching or lowering your upper back. Problem okay. sitting, I can especially do that. in a chair with back support, makes the low back stiff and weak. So we will address sure, both sex problems in this video. Try okay. to push yourself with hey, your hands yo. from the ground. This will engage yo, the he's muscles clean with your it. scapula. Cat cow oh, is what an the hell, Marcel? To get some upper back the hell are you doing to those O2 cells? Push your hand into the ground and try to arch your upper back as high as you can. Then try to extend it towards Damn, the Damn, he got curves on the back! This one is a modification of a really famous stretching move. The goal here is to gain some rotation in the upper spine. Our modern life usually doesn't need a lot of rotation, so we tend to neglect these type of movements. The problem comes when there is Damn, a demand of rotation. Strong. And the body cannot answer with force. Yo, he's so it strong, might bro. Pain instead. If your leg muscles behind your thigh is stiff, you can then elevate your hand in a box. This will create slack in your legs. The next movement will focus on your joints Yo, cat. in your arms. This. Yo, do you see the cat chat? Did you see the cat? Create slack in your legs. The next movement will focus on your joints in your arms. This exercise should feel as a two in ten in terms of being hard. If it's too difficult, then try to shift your weight towards your leg. The following segment will focus on strengthening the muscles and tendons around the wrists, elbow yep. and shoulder area, starting with a circular move around. Yo, Marcel, I have a question. I have a question. So I have this problem, okay, where I don't do this. Okay, you know how you have a chair? Yeah, and most people sit on their chair like this. And they're using the keyboards and they're chattermanzing. Okay, <laughs> the problem is what I do actually is on my chair is I'm doing it right now. I sit there with my legs crossed. I don't actually let them dangle down. And then, lol. So uh, my legs right now are crossed. I'm sitting cross-legged. How do I fix them? How do I fix, how do I fix them? Look, see that? See that? That's how I sit. What do I do about that? Because I swear on Grump, my knees are getting cooked. Sometimes, sometimes, like, sometimes, sometimes I put my legs down, but I forget. And then when I'm mid game, my legs come back up. Around the wrist. The goal is to maintain an extended elbow and try to push yourself up from the ground. These exercises can cause fatigue in the wrists very fast, so just be aware. My guitar teacher once said during a lesson that if your fingers hurt, don't panic. It's just a type of work and it should be felt. Next up, three similar movements, starting with a uh, back and forth rocking. As before, the goal is to create Put something a on your lap. motion around the wrist. A kitty cat, with Yo, I'm gonna save elbows. this. Following this movement, turn your hands 90 degrees outwards and repeat the Chat, exercise. I hope you're watching this. The hardest one is when you turn your hands inwards. This motion may cause a bit Ooh, of that one hurts. in your forearms. That one hurts. Not a sharp pain on or Link anything the video. like that. Just there you go, push chat. through it. I will make a cheat sheet about the amount of repetitions and sets in the description. The last wrist and forearm Yo, Marcel, movement what's is your the sub name? hand elevation exercise. I'll sub you. I'll give Starting you a sub for this. Starting in a quadruped position, the goal is to elevate your hand while your fingers are maintaining contact with the ground. 
If raising both hands seems hard at first, just try it with one hand and shift your body weights from your hands towards your legs. The most important thing is to try to listen Yo, to your- Yo, Marcel, you're kind of rich, bro. Look at that. PS5, God of War, cat food, big chair, Nintendo Switch, mega laptop. You're kind of rich. Body. If it feels extremely challenging, then we need to find a solution where you can have fun and still got something out from the work. Good job making it this far. The following segments... We will what do you mean, good job making it this far? Focus on the abs and the back muscles. So let's do this. The next one is a controlled elbow tap with your knee. Common mistake when your pelvis rotates to the opposite side relative to your moving leg. Try to stiffen your abs and glute muscles. This can eliminate the pelvis rotation. Please choose a challenging but not too difficult exercise from the following three. Not too hard means that you can do at least four reps in one set. The first one being a leg brace with bent knee. This will challenge yep. your core and leg muscles. Come oh, on, mistake, that. when you don't push constantly towards the ground with your palms. The second is a shoulder tap with elevated knees. Ooh, dope, bro, Try your to arms are crazy. Here. The third one will be the hardest. The goal is... Yo, look at that guy's arm. You know when they have those? They're fucking mega ripped. Those fucking, that V shape there, V. To tap your left knee, left ankle, right ankle, right knee without touching the ground with the knee. This counts as one. Then follow it up with the other hand in the opposite direction. The first back exercise is a Superman variation where you sim what is that? simultaneously elevate your legs and arms and perform a rowing motion. When you squeeze your body, we often forget to breathe and tend to hold our breath. Try to figure out how your body needs to breathe and follow it. The rule Bro, of you're clean. is when you gasp for air after one repetition, you probably had your breath without letting it go. The last strengthening exercise in this video is another variation. Yo, can I ask why, why you got the headset on, bro? Why you got the headset on still? Superman, where you try to move your hand around the body without letting go of your squeezed and elevated limbs. Music? Just try to breathe. Oh yeah, you vibing. All. Holy shit. The last segment of the video is the flexibility mini training. The first movement is a 90-90 position where we want to have your pelvis rotate around the butt. The first progression is less demanding as here you can support your weight with your hand behind your back. Bro, you're clean. The second variation is when you let go of the ground and making it a full Try it now. Motion. Now do it tomorrow. I haven't mentioned it yet, but perform these and all of the previous exercises on both sides. The next movement is an adductor fly where you try to lower your knees towards the ground. I will. I can't do that one. Actually, I can do that one. Gluteal muscles during the lowering phase, you can have more ranges of motion. Thus, the exercise will be a bit harder and more effective. The last movement of the video is a lower back stretch. The key here is to rotate a your lower upper back body stretch. before bending towards your leg. Chat, imagine I, I was buff as hell. Can you imagine? Everyone's going to say no. No, I can't. When people just bend their body without rotation. This can achieve little to none in terms of progress. Yo, you need some new socks, bruh. One hole, two hole, three hole. PS5, but no socks? Thank Come you for on. your time. What is this? The Healthy Rat Company. Certification of Appreciation is proudly presented to Mark Lamont. I am proud to award the significant the certificate for his first step in achieving a more healthier life. Marcel Rattling. <laughs> I hope that I delivered the value you've been expected of me. I could go on on postural restoration and how you can achieve a more upright torso or a healthier body, but I wanted to make a relatively short and digestible video. Again, thanks for watching. I'll be lurking in your chat. Yo, I'm gonna, you know, does anyone else have a Discord that they link themselves links on? I link it to myself in my Discord. So, uh, wait, what is that thumbnail? Yo, what is that thumbnail, bro? What the hell? The Red King does fitness? What is that thumbnail, bro? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll watch it, I'll watch it. I'll watch it, I'll watch it, I promise. Thank you for the video, man. Yo, everyone say, everyone say, Mar everyone say Marcel Ty, Ty Marcel. If there's at least one rat in the chat that finds use from that link, I'll send it now, then I'm proud, because then the rats can get healthier. PP Xun or flipped un XTD. Oh, okay, you can have that then. Is KFC gonna be the cajol of teams? What do you mean? I didn't finish 10th back to back. 
Team logos ain't got that aura no more. What do you mean? True, these these logos are iconic. True. Tr true! What? That's so true. What happened to team logos? Look at that. That one looks sick. G2 looks fucking cool. SK Telecom's got wings. FPX looks insane. And then... I mean, the T1 logo's nice, but that just looks... Simple. That one looks like... I don't know what the fuck that is. I could just hold my two palms together and make their logo. And then FPX just... I don't know, they accidentally threw a rubber across the middle. And they erased this part to make it look edgy. Come on, man. Where's the F at? Chovy's regular season LCK stats. Number one KDA. Number one CS per minute. Number one gold per minute. Number one damage per minute. Number one vision score per minute. Number one gold difference of 15. Number one CS difference of 15. Number one solo kills. While having the lowest lane percentage. What? What? How do you have the lowest lane percentage as well? What? Jesus, man. Chovy's fucking crazy. Oh, here it is. Chovy stats. Number one in everything. And he's lowest in... Uh, lane percentage? Oh, chat, I got some good news. Wait, let me test it. Let me test it. So, what we're hopefully getting access to, drum roll, drum roll, what we're going to be giving access to, I hope, and I think that we're there, is the LCK game files. Now, what I mean by that is I can open up Gen G verse, I don't know, T1, for example, and I can watch the game from a spectator POV, so I can keep the camera in mid. And my hope is that I can sit down with someone like Caps and he can like come over to the apartment. I have a mic for him and then we watch Chobi's late. Martha! Did you see that Martha? I don't know where he went. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, hopefully Caps can come over or something or Humanoid can come over and we can watch the, um, the game file together and like watch their game. And just talk about it and just have a discussion about their lane. That would be... Why does this motherfucker come in the chat and say... <laughs> That was a weird sponsor segment for vacuums. Bro, shut the fuck up. Ideally, in the future, if that content piece does well, maybe we can get like Ashley Kang for a day and get like Chovy on a call and we can talk to him about the game with screen share and Ashley Kang. That would be, that's my dream. My dream goal is to be able to get like Chovy on with Ashley Kang and um, him to talk about his lane and his matchup. That's my dream. What is this clip? Chad, do you see the moth? Do you see it? And then we watch Chobi. You see it? 
Did you see that motorcycle? Yo, I see it! Yo! Hopefully that was the last one. Hopefully that was the last one. Did you see him? Look, look, he's right there. You see him, that dot? And we watch you see that mother sucker? You see him? You see Did you see him there, chat? In the cam? You see him? That bitch! So anyway, where was I? Yeah. So, you know, maybe we can get like Chovy or maybe we can get like pays or owner or people just talk about their games and we do diff different games every one a week you know maybe we get humanoid and we get fucking i don't know hans hans mama and some shit playing out this game evenly, like, what is this it really shouldn't be it really shouldn't be the milky way is 4-0 right now bro nah, if he carries what? this bro this is four minutes bro is there any tldr i'm not tonight like, be respectful, man, because now he's in court. He's like, oh, this guy's shit, this guy's shit, you know? He get Faker on. Oh, just get Faker on. Oh, just get Faker on. I just went here and everyone said you were the president. Yap. Wait, is there actually a place called Yap? LCK Challengers game? What is this? The game was extended for 15 minutes he's after this. Kill them all, though, isn't he? Oh? Just built an arm guard for some reason? Kind of cool. Wait, this game oh, went wait, off. Is this a quadra? It's just, it's just a quadra. Oh no, she was here. Oh no, it's doomed. How is he supposed to kill the tank? Oh, she would just hit the nexus. Hit the. Oh my! What the hell are you doing? Dude? <laughs> what? <laughs> and that went on for another 15 minutes. The game ended what? At 53 minutes. New emotes for cats. You're not a cat. I already added that. Mom, thank you for the cookies. Small cur. S oh, small cur. Top five trying to be smart moments. What do you mean? I am smart. Turkey. Istanbul. No, it's not. It's Ankara. Istanbul. Istanbul. It's bugged. Austria. Salzburger. What is this? Z axis, Y axis, X axis. Like, how dumb is this guy? Little bro. No, this is Y axis. This is X axis. Okay. And this is also X axis. True. Because it's the ground. Okay. The ground it's can true. be left, the ground can be right. Like, does Like, all you're showing me here is you can take a right turn or a left turn. Okay. True. It's the same thing. It's true. the same axis, dumb fuck. Okay. Yeah. That's kind of true. You're fucking... What are you cooking, man? What are you cooking? That is kind of true. It's just, just the ground. How many musketeers are there in Alexandra Dumas, the three musketeers? Th th three and musketeers? That is not the answer. What? I played really badly. Is there four? Well, why didn't you call it the Four Musketeers, you fucker? True. Which of these sentences is not correct? Where is their house? Where is their house? Where is where is their house? Where is their house? Where is their house? We are is it's the this one, right? Where is their house? Where is? I think that the right answer. What is are you dumb? It's A, you fuck. Is their house? Oh, correct! I thought it said incorrect. Oh my. Dumb mistake on my part, really. Oh, that's a disaster. True. No, oh there's. Oh my god, I thought it said incorrect. You're but joking. There's... You're joking. You're joking. You're no, 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 no. That was really boosted, actually. House number five. Then the blood goes over here. A, a paper. That's got to be a code. 2 plus 5 is 7, plus 3 is 11. 
<laughs> what? Yo, what was wrong with me? That was four years ago. I have a fucking tighter one headset as well. Piosik played Ramis in the final match against KDF. And Knight getting to the, upper, uh, to the LCK in the first place. Incredible opportunity. And then you get met by this man. Woo! Playing a bouncy ball. Look at the stuff he does. He's not even rolling. He's actually flying the map. He flies. He rolls. He taunts. He soars, man. Look at him go. <laughs> they can't he's a, kill him. He's the go to. He's a... He's the goat. Congratulations, Damon, for winning Worlds 2024. 2022, DRX, 9 and 9. 2023, T1, 9 and 9. 2024, Damon, 9 and 9. Yeah, but, 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 That's summer, right? That was from summer, not from spring. Add this emote, please. Oh, no. Okay, you can have it. Hello, everybody. Ooh. My name is Keria. Thank you. Thank you. Just thank you. I I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love me. you. Thank you. Me. Uh, he loves me. Peanut posts a third trap and Lehens just adds ruler. Wait, I don't get it. Huh? Ruler says, please don't disturb me. <laughs> Potential LEC five-way tiebreaker. Yeah, I saw that. Is Freak the problem? Brian watching that. Hello, all. I will be SEA rats for around a month, and I'll be going back to the UK for studies. Hence, I'm a Mr. Stream for two days. Much love. Riddle of the day. I played under many names. Steyr and Niels HD were a few. I was the first player to ever win a championship in both LEC and LCS. Yeah, it's, it's Sven. It's Sven. New world's history chain quiz. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Which team, what team won Worlds 2023? Reminders for teams and year will be here. Uh, why is there three T1s? They dropped the game to what team in the knockout stage? What? In the knockout stage, they dropped the game to JDG. Who beat what team to make it out of Swiss stage? Oh, who JDG beat to make it out of the Swiss stage? What? Who beat what team to make it out? Who did JDG beat? JDG beat... Um, who did they beat? LNG, right? No. Who did they beat? Is that the question? Who JDG beat to get out? Who beat... Yeah. LNG. Their AD Caro was Gala. He played for what team at World 2022? Uh, RNG, I guess. Where's RNG? They were knocked out by what team in quarterfinals World 2022? Genji. No, it was fucking... No, it wasn't Genji they lost to. It was T1. It was T... It was 3-0. Was no, go again. Go, can't go again. Drop the game in the knockout stage to who? To JDG. And JG knocked out LNG and had Gala and they played for RNG. And RNG was knocked out in World 2022 by T1, who lost to what team in the World Finals? DRX. Their support was Barrel. At World 2022, he played for what team? Demo Gaming. Alongside what AD Carry? 2021. Ooh, was that Ghost? It was Ghost, right? Yeah. They lost to what team in the World Finals? EG. Whose AD carry was? Viper. He played for what team in 2019 Worlds? Griffin. Alongside what support? Lens. In quarterfinals, they lost to what team? I think it was IG. Who then lost to what team in the semifinals? They lost in this 2019. They lost to FPX. They beat what team to win the World Finals? G2. Who was knocked out in Swiss stage by what team? <laughs> Where are they? Where's PLG? Who was later knocked out by what team in the knockout stage? They were knocked out by Weibo. Their top laner was? <laughs> Who was Weibo's top laner? Who before 2023 made it to Worlds in what most recent year? <sighs> 2019, I think. Alongside what did he carry? Jackie Love. Who played for what team in Worlds 2018? 
where they beat what team in the semifinals? They beat KT. Oh no, they beat uh, G2 in the semifinals. Whose mid laner was Perks. His team beat what Worlds 2022 quarterfinal? He beat what team in the Worlds quarterfinals? Uh, 2022 quarterfinals, he beat Gen G. Whose top laner was, uh, was it Doran? It was Rascal. Chat, you know what quiz I want? I want team history quiz. League team history. Is there one for that? Career history, hell yeah. 52. That's reckless. Oh wait, play quiz. That is reckless. That is deft. That is double lift. That is Carsa. That's Yankos, isn't it? That's Doinby. That's BDD. That's Niski. That's Closer. That's... It's Hachani. Is it not Hachani? Is it Clouds? Wait. RNG coach, SKT support for one year in 2019. MVP Ozone, Samsung White. Samsung White 2014. Samsung White 2014. Imp. Imp and Mata. That's impact then. Don't blame it on the moonlight. That's Oddy. That's Malring. Is that like Schmitty? Um, that's Pippo. That's Pabu. Fnatic, is that Soas? Is that, uh, what's his name? Uh, that's fucking, uh, what's his name? Um, that's fucking, uh, what's his name? Allo, 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 my brain is, uh, 20, no, it's porn, no? Yeah, 2014, Samsung. 100 Thieves Academy. That's Destiny. Origin Astralis. That's Yamato. What? That's Kikis, I think. Fnatic Academy and then Rogue. Uh, top Esports NIP, that's Rookie. Giants Gaming Support that ended up as the coach for Fnatic, that's Smithy. That's me. <laughs> that's Spirit. I don't know who that is. Furia support? Kaboom Esports? Oh, it's Sales. Nope. Ackerman. I don't know who it is. I'm gonna click next, because I don't know. That's Hans.
Is that uh, sword art? <laughs> That's leader. That's Tifa. It's Yamato's wife. Is that SOFM? Snake Esports. An 80 carry that was on TSM FlyQuest CLG. Is that Wild Turtle? Someone was on Kaboom for three years and then Pain. Is it Tinones? Is that Bolulu? Yes. Gambit Gaming 2013. <laughs> Ooh, is that Forest? No, it's blank. Marasaka. A jungler that was on Fenabache Academy Game Religion, UOL Sex Edition, NNO. Is that Agarin? A Fnatic jungler 2017 and then Schalke and 100 Thieves. That's amazing, no? Gambit Esports, Albus Nox, Luna at PvP Stegos. Eintracht Spandau mid. Immortals, that's PoE. Los Grandes support. Furia, Flamengo, Kaboom Esports. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who that is. J Team CTBC Flying Oyster 2022. I know this motherfucker's name. AHQ. Machi, machi, machi. I know this team. I, I think I cast him. CTBC Flying Oyster 22. I don't know, mission. Okay, I cheated there. I'll, I'll admit I cheated. Huma, AD carry, Holy Phoenix. INTZ, AD carry, I don't know. BRTT, I don't know. Leon Gaming, Last Kings, I don't know who that is. Red Canids, Pain Gaming. I'm not sure. I don't watch Brazil. The Brazil is the one region I don't watch. Uh, what do we got here? Team Empire, NIP. Wait, Misfits, NA, Team Drag. Is that Alex Itch? XL Giants, Heretics. Is that Xerxes? Sooning, OMG, Ultra Prime. St is that Stay? Wait, hold up. Rogue Warriors Sooning. Oh, it's Huang Fang. Huang. How do I spell it? Uh? SMLZ? Oh, it's SMLZ. Oh, you're right. Good job, chat. That's, uh, Im that's uh, Ignar. Uh, KT Arrows, KT Bullet, Starhorn Royal Club. Team WE, V5 Coach. 2014 Stonehorn Royal Club. Dignitas coach. KT Arrows mid. He rolls up to support. He played jungle for KT Bullets as well for... Why am I thinking of Wolf? He's Korean because he took a two year break from 2019 to 2021. I guess he went to the military. He was on SHR, Katie Bullets. He then went to Dignitas as a coach, but only stayed there for a month and he got kicked. Oh yeah, I remember the news or he, like he left. I remember the news. Yeah, it's zero, right? Yeah. Okay, I, I wouldn't have got it, but I remembered it. I remembered. SKT sub. 
Edward Gaming Sub, Nongshim Red Force, FPX, that gory. <laughs> What? This guy's played everywhere. He played in Longshu in Korea. Then he went to Vichy Gaming, Fenerbahce, Machi Esports in LMS. Then he went back to Korea. Then he went to PCS. Then he went to Song Songoku Gaming. Then he went back to Turkey. And now he's in All Nights in he went to All Nights in Latin America. Wait, let me think. Just think about this, Mark. Longshu 2016. That had Cuz on it, didn't it? Or was that Dragon X? I don't know who it is. Oh, Crash. I remember Crash. You're right, chat. Good one. And then I've got these ones. I don't know. These are Brazil ones. Yeah. Well, that was fun. Let's get the LEC up. Bottom of the table can beat G2 who's sitting at top. That was that was Okay, the chat helped me on a few there. Super impressive, right? uh, then I'm not very good with the Brazil ones, chat. Continuously finding huge team fight wins with these I'm, I'm not very good with the Brazil ones. That was fun. I love the. Um, I love team history. So what are you saying? Are they inting here as well, G2? Like you said, Cavs were in the beginning, or what do you, what do you feel like in terms of uh, G2 taking you could, over here? You could go the way of you know G2 are inting. But oh I yeah, shit! We should watch on YouTube. Well, you're right. So I'm gonna go with a pog out ten. Yo, Tom, so thanks for the 10 gifted, man. I think Rogue played well, so I'm... Yeah, here we go. I can't really see them, to be honest. The Pogs in the chat right now. I don't know about that. We don't get... I can see they are making some other comparisons. How do I make it go live? I'm gonna go with... I mean, I can see they are making some other comparisons, but it's... There's no rating. Are you okay? It's like priceless, but unrateable in terms of how lovely it was seeing. And also, my team is blanket that I wanted to draw, so... You get a whiteboard. Double whiteboard. Priceless. Priceless. Oh. Priceless, priceless. Can't put a price on it. Can't put a rating on it. Thank you Say so much. I always wanted the whiteboard. I really appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, yeah, shit. no worries, not good. Uh, I'm also sure that a lot of teams want to make it to the playoffs. So let's have a look at the teams who are still fighting for a spot to be there. Because no team, as we said earlier today, is eliminated just yet. And we have a five for ones coming your way, as usual. Oh, Looking shit. at the standings, though, particularly, oh, I really want to cast my eyes towards SK Gaming and Below, oh, because shit. these are the teams that are on the chopping block. Aragon, particularly Rogue. Yeah, I mean, tough task ahead of oh, them. I think they got one of the hardest routes that they have to take with a bunch of different wins that need to come on the table. But they managed to pull it off uh, two days ago. So, interesting to see how they continue. They can do it once, they might be able to do it again. We're going to be starting off with Heretics up against Giant oh, X. God. But I want to start off looking at Rogue, because we were talking about them and how they have, at the bottom of that league table, the hardest spot to be in, the most difficult one. They win against G2, which against everybody's odds but it does mean that they would actually need to not only get a win today but there's a lot of faith that's involved i mean yeah there's the win but you can also just see it behind me right yeah. with a win either you need team of i this tweet chat on second win, talking about Redis, Fag, g2 and casey to win as well and with a loss you're straight out locked out so there's a lot of things here that's not really in your own hands in terms of that destiny so it's like getting a win potentially even hoping for a tiebreaker this is without a tiebreaker but i'm pretty sure no matter what rogue is guaranteed a tiebreaker if they do win so there's still some uh it's important brutal, games. It? yeah it is you need to get a win or you're out that's pretty much it Yikes, that's a yeah. tough spot to be in, but we have the matchup of the week, and that is going to be Mad Lions going up against Fnatic. Mad Lions, again, one of those teams that last time during winter, they managed to go to the finals of playoffs, and now they're sitting towards the bottom of their league table, and you're wondering, what exactly is not working out? Yeah, I think it's really surprising, isn't it? Yeah, chat, one second, I have to do this tweet thing. Especially since winter. With a win, they're locked in, but with a loss, their fate lies in other people's hands. Yo, chat, can you help me with this tweet? Do you need BDS to win, or you need GX? Rogue and KC to win, so really praying for that win as well. Yeah, Appreciate the squad so that yeah, we can actually see the graphic. Kind of <laughs> here, so can, see okay. can you help me with that tweet? Can you help me with that we're tweet? Just a like, easy. any interaction well, is really know, appreciated. This is the only time I'll ever shill today. today. It's really okay, it's just there, that tweet, and then I'm gonna shut up and not talk to you about it ever again. There you go, any likes or any pog offs in the Twitter comments, appreciated. And now we're focused up. All right, today, we got a fucking long day today, chat. We got a fucking long day. There could be a five-way tie. There could be. K Corp might finish with the same score as they did last split. There is still the faith in other teams' hands. Yeah, a real struggle. Honestly, another trial. There's also a chance. And then you also need other conditions. Are you raising your hand to make a point? Yeah, no. Wait, what do you mean Yank was in traffic? Full screen. Thank you, production. But you're right. It's tie in a situation like this because even with a win, you're not even secured. You need these circumstances happen too. 
Yeah, locked out is really, really brutal with a loss. Well, I mean, he's not in traffic. Yeah, but it felt like we were looking at KC uh, particularly. Fine. We've seen them they're come in the to life. We've seen glimpses of what they're able to do. We've seen instances where they're actually playing together they're as a team. They're in the studio, chat. They're in the studio. We're good. It's not always we're the case. Good, I think this team fight highlights it really well. Often the players are different Okay, chat. Why are you commenting this in the fucking... Why are you commenting this in the fucking sponsored tweet? What are you doing? This is a sponsored tweet with hashtag ad and you're putting my fucking feet pictures in there? Are you fucking fried? Can you not do that? Yeah, and you know... Ah, it's a cat. It's a cat in the chat. Ah. Oh, good one, Chatter. To find themselves in a position such as this against where there's a very real chance where you're they fucking making <laughs> <it first. laughs> yes. even if you take okay, it dude. The that the only change they wanted to make if Heretics loses and Fnatic fin wins, is Fnatic first place? Players, yes, they are. The they had back in winter, Yo, I've been watching some solo key games, chat off stream. I've seen, I seen SK DOS playing Rumble support. He's been watching a little bit of life of uh, so maybe we're gonna get SK Rumble support. I'm calling so it right now. Really for Casey, you have to get a win, and even then, it might not be enough without if other circumstances are not met. Let's do today's predictions, chat. Play in particular, I feel like it's hit or miss individual players that I see the most. Sometimes you'll see Saken absolutely pop up on something of Yari, but then the next Sion Kuei, it's just misposition city. The same with Targamas, sometimes he'll do really well, find engage. So, right but now is play game. Heretics just, versus Giant Dex, so okay? I'm gonna go ahead and say Heretics win. Play. Yeah, and today is, Game uh, two, and Rogue that, SK. I'm gonna say like Not the only one because a lot of other teams are dependent. As SK wins and Rogue's but out. Look at the first game Fnatic versus Mad. I'm gonna say Fnatic wins. G2 Vitality. We were counting them out. I'm gonna say Vitality wins. G2's kind of washed right now. And K Corp well. BDS. I think BDS is gonna win and K Corp's out. In the playoffs, they have already won two games back to back this week. We weren't live yesterday. Just a reminder. But today, it's that do or die. Yeah, I have to say, I think Giant X is really you know what I've realized about Europe? The second you start saying there's a team that's good and we have hope, they run it. So what we should do is we should change the norm. Okay? So LEC fans, we should say that our teams suck. So one, teams in internationals, they underrate them and they don't try as hard and they get cocky. And two, our expectations are low enough that we won't be disappointed. So I will set a new trend. It's called the anti-hopium. Yeah, our teams are trash. We're gonna get stomped by everyone. We have no chance. Now, if we do, I was right. If we do, I'm not disappointed. And if we don't, I'm happy. And if we don't, then fuck them. The anti hopium. Our teams look kind of rough this year. I'm not sure if we stand a chance. NA is looking kind of good. Wow, that cloud. 19 did you see how many kills jojo pyun got in that series against flyquest holy fuck obviously i'm kidding jojo pyun played really well that series he just got completely into by everyone on his team i think whippo actually said something pretty funny he was like yeah i knew i was gonna lane against fudge but fudge is an npc anyway so <laughs> what the fuck whippo there was also this really nice flank, which I wanted to highlight here because it shows a level of cohesiveness we haven't seen in terms of the team fights. Ignar mm. finding a huge flank in the bot side, uh, in that pocket of vision. What the there. fuck, Bibbo? Uh, Kobe time said time the time faithful, time faithful time shall be rewarded. Yeah, yeah, but that was in NA. In EU, the unfaithful shall be rewarded. Team, but I also think a guy like Jackie's on the Talia was absolutely phenomenal. I don't think he was missing a single knockback in this entire game. And there was Motherfucker, time NA was needed faith, miracles, and fighting. gods I mean, to win against Europe once. We beat Beat EG eight times in a row. No one really gave a fuck. But we're EU. We're toxic region. So we should say our region sucks, and then they're gonna, and then we're gonna think they're gonna send back, and then they can only impress. True yeah. and basic. In with a win and with a loss, it's out of their hands again. Another case where we need BDS to win to help a couple of teams out uh, in case they do lose. So it's a rough one, but with the momentum that they have, I'm sure you can have blabbering. No, I'm good. Uh, no? Those are good points to me. I would uh, copy paste them and uh, link. Oh, you're like uh, absolutely agree. No, yeah. You guys don't want to like have a bring little bit of. Bring back the whiteboard. <laughs> bring, okay, we're not bringing back the whiteboard because you didn't even write anything on it. But what I we're bringing back instead is going to be an interview because Oramne is experienced in making these miracle runs. So let's see what he has to say because we had the lovely trouble check in. Please take it away. Thank you very much, Genie, and thank is you. Is Odo all. sipping his Red Bull? Uh, nice. Your thirst right there. Uh, a nice little sip me. of Red Bull really gives me wings all right okay I'm oh no shut the fuck up 
since you got wings right now, talk to me a little bit about your upcoming game versus Team Heretics, because you're going to need the wings. You guys are on a two-win streak right now, but Team Heretics have also been doing pretty well recently. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, they're top of the table. Wings. Maybe they're top three or top two even right now. I'm not they're sure. They're right at the top. They're, yeah. play they're playing for first, basically. Oh, okay, so it's like high stakes so, game. Wait. I guess Stream B won't uh, make a little donation for me, but... Let me check here, Yeah, chat. very important game because right now uh, right now the boys at the bottom were having a little party. Um, there's a lot of us over there. So, so Giants has three wins. I think if if they win, they're four and they're locked. Wait, so basically like whoever wins is locked from he here, right? Out, wait, no. Gonna be for sure whoever wins there. from here is uh, locked, right? So we, four wins we really is locked. Dodge that because we're gonna have to wait here for like eight but if these three lose and these two win, it's the five-way tie, right? I think... We're coming in confident. Uh, last How likely is that? Good for us. Um, tripled our wins uh, this week. Um, so yeah, excited to get another showing on stage and hopefully you know it's, uh, so it's a dub for us. So Heretics beating Absolutely. Giant X, you that's likely. About Trimby making a donation over to you, so you guys don't have to wait around. That's all it is, right? How is it going into the reef? SK against losing Trimby to Rogue, play probably that possible. That you have won Fnatic play. beating Mad, possible. Um, I mean, a couple of days ago it was... And then K Corp against, uh, losing to BDA Comp. beating... You know, mm. I love them, I love the boys. Um, Wait, five-way tie time means no tiebreaker like games. Kinda, Wait, really? I've been kind of having their number, you know, so it's nothing new. It's business, right? Yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's like, you know, nothing personal, kid. Um, and now Trimby, I guess he's the next one. Uh, I think last year he kicked the me out of Worlds. The fuck is this? Uh, with Fnatic, so... I mean, I can't kick him out of anything right now, you know, but uh, he can... The fuck is that, bro? I can deny the first and also punch our tickets. What the hell so is that, bro? Oh, my God. Oh, I put in the but K-Corp finishes last in almost again. every scenario. Uh, what? I want to focus a little bit on your career There's as a one, whole. There's one, two, three, four, five, six scenarios seasons, where K-Corp makes it. So Matt making it looks pretty likely. Everything about coming back. And, we and Rogue making it actually looks pretty likely. Loser interviews, winner interviews, all of it. And you've talked me through every single step of the way. How important oh. is this particular game for your career? Because you said it, it could be playoffs, could also mean nothing. Yeah, um, you know, still looking to to kind of bounce back to, to the rogue days. You know, where we were GG just slash foldy um, sheet. Obviously, it's been a little bit hard yeah. with, uh, with the new environment. But okay, percentage you know, of scenarios. To, to the previous year, we've been having K Corp has a 6% chance you know, to make it. Our issues have been similar, or my issues have been similar. But yeah, every game and they have a 37 percent chance to make tiebreakers. Rogue has 9 with a 40%. Yeah, it's Mad and Giant X have high scenarios of making it. Game, SK is mid. So it looks zero, like K Corp Rogue like are out. You come in with something to prove. Um, Let's see. When you've been on a team that Wait, can we look at the folder coming, sheet from 2020 um, summer like, you know, and see XL <laughs> with 96% so yeah, there? Um, and then see they didn't make it? But it's also like, you know, very, very rewarding when you when you clutch out some wins. So yeah, for can me, we read for that? my own personal growth, I would be really happy to, you know, smash it today. Hopefully you clutch out another win today because making playoffs potentially could get you to that MSI, the glory days that you were talking about. Yeah. Thank you for joining Wait, people me have so donated. much. Yo, 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 someone has been donating money. Like people have been donating Thank money. You trouble. We are Medi and like Betty joining you guys on the final day of the regular season. You donated money, We do have chat? a short delay before we get on into the game, just so that everyone is aware. We will likely waffle for a few minutes. I'm afraid so. We could someone donated. Well. Is 15 the euros and says, Cajal, have you considered a co-stream with Mr. Beast? Yes, He's a huge fan of League. Like that would be stage, sick. So you're going to be what do you mean with Mr. Well. Beast? What do you want me to do? Just call him up? Yo, bro, you want to come on the stream? I've actually been told we can say what the delay was. Right, well, let us share the news. The order queue. Members of Team Heretics arrived approximately 60 minutes late to the studio today, resulting in a delay to studio operations that additionally impacted their opponents. League officials have penalized Team Heretics with one missed ban. This ban will be the last ban within the second ban phase. Teams are still preparing for the game ahead and will get into picks and bans, obviously, as soon as they're ready. I they're losing a ban on Instagram earlier, and I don't know if you uh, for Yankos and Team Heretics being in, in traffic. I did not. Well, I think we're gonna bring it up here. Uh, so Forty-five yeah. five minutes L before LEC stuck in traffic. Hopefully, they can find another jungler for today. We play at five p.m. and it's six forty, and yeah. they're uh, yeah. So three photo evidence is that three kilometers away or thirty? I think that was thirteen kilometers. That's away. thirteen kilometers. Yeah. Well, traveling unfortunately for the average, memes, you're traveling Yankos on average did at zero arrive. kilometers per hour. Oh, he's there! They made it. Long time. To get to Infinite the time, you might say. Yeah. So you know, there um, are different 
types of infinity. There are bigger Dude, infinities. Why would you go infinities. here first? There's so many other things well, that we've we talked like about. Five minutes yes, I too have game. seen both the Instagram reel, the TikTok, and the YouTube video that all talk about the hotel with an infinite number of rooms and the infinite number of buses with an infinite number of passengers. I've seen it. Oh, I just studied it in university. Oh, Yo, yeah. someone donates five dollars and says, "Listen up, Kurt. Was so shitty last week. I was mega sick, but loved the alternative the streams of the rats. Great, appreciate it. Thank you, Mr. Streamer. Yo, much love, man. Yo, thank you, Chris, for the fifteen euros. I don't know if I can get Mr. Beast on it. I don't know if I can get Mr. Beast on the stream. Sorry about that. Then we'll have a delay after picks and bans. But let's get those picks and bans up as soon as possible. So they give us something to talk about. Important stakes for this game, obviously, are Giant X. If they win. Can't you afford LASIK? Four wins seems to be the cost yeah, I can afford LASIK, but spot. I'm scared. If Giant X be, it is. <laughs> I'm scared, chat. I'm scared of LASIK. <laughs> I didn't do all of the maths beforehand, okay? I was busy contemplating infinity. All right, true. Uh, Fair enough. If, if uh, Giant X do lose... All right, Oriana, Nico, Talia, Rumble, Kalista, Ash. There's Senavai and Smolder, I guess, are prior picks. I think Lucian I've basically Rumble deleted from my head um, in LEC. I had it and it was the best decision of my life. Yeah, but I thought I thought that in in LASIK you can actually go blind, can't you? Question is what they want to pair alongside it. Are they interested in something flexible like the rail, which we've seen so many times before, being moved in both jungle and support, um, or perhaps they want to lock in a powerful mid laner? We look at all of these three mids taken away by Giant X, trying to pinch the pool of Spyro. I wonder, Oriana, Nico, and Talia. very small chance. Those are the oh yeah, Varus open. You're right. Yeah, yeah, they could go Rel Varus. Yeah, Rel Varus. And deny him any of his champions. I think Rel Nautilus is mega in. I mean, it's very possible from Giant X. They are looking at that Rel You have to sign a contract was the other one you saying you're okay, you maybe going blind. Yeah, Rel Varus is good. It's locked. a ghost match. There's so no one on stage. Go? Do they try and get the karma for God, this is like the they COVID days, maybe, isn't it? They're all the backstage and we're watching this. Yeah, they could go Zeri Lulu, you're right. I think Lucian Nami doesn't exist. They could go Senna Seraphine as well. I feel like Senna Seraphine is also a good pick for Heretics. I do not value Smolder at all. I know that. Have you seen the VTO Twitter I drama? I say, there's been an interesting bit. debate recently, no. which is irrelevant right now because it's not been locked in. But uh, pros seem to be valuing the Smolder less and less the more they play with and against it. I did not. The Zeri is locked in for Flack. Why are they not on stage? The because they're late. They're mid laner now. Do they want to grab themselves just ran the a game done? Against oh, okay. Fyra. Only four champions played so far this split. Nico, Oriana, Karma and Talia with three of those bands. Yeah, away, Ari Vi is good too. I'll be scared of Annie on. Okay, well, they're going to take Annie instead. Something like the Annie, you have such good pick potential. Annie alongside Vi, CC7. You know what they should do? Fuck it. Why don't they just do the draft at home and then they can drive to the studio and just walk on stage and we don't have to waste time? Why don't we save time by drafting at home? I mean, there's, bit, like, there's no one fucking there anyway. Look at this. Dangerous though, just because I karma, think karma pick, yeah, it's, it's used as a counter pick into Ari. Um, really good at shutting down that high mobility. Naturally, she does have a huge amount of burst. Great setup. Why don't we draft well, a week ago? Why don't we draft a week? Why don't we do all the drafts on one patch weeks ago? Isn't the strongest until you've got more points in your W. So when playing into a karma, which is exactly what Jackie's is going to run, sometimes. And then the refs can do the champ select for them. And, uh, shielding, really so they just have to really walk in and sit down. You can react to it in time. Oh, we can save time. I agree with you. We expect to see Jackie's getting the push in the mid game. How Giant X utilize that though is the big question. Meta Obviously changes? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just kidding. It's obviously side. a joke. Oh, oh dead they are. Ragus as their first band. Remember, Heretics have lost one of these two bands. It will be the second one. I'm not yapping. I'm not yapping. Kato, shut up. Okay, I'm. Traffic. I'm trying to be funny, man. I'm Let's trying to be funny, man. So heretics lost a draft pen. So they're not allowed to ban here. They're only allowed one ban, which obviously is in the end of the world, but it's kind of weird. Wondering what they choose to ban away. Do you just target? All right, TF ban. Okay. So they've they've got one ban missing now. I mean, the karma can always flex support as they well. lost the band because Heretics was late to the studio. <laughs> they got a band taken away from them. I am just making assumptions that this karma is mid just because of where I mean, we've seen it we so see often. The most, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Rel jungle, though, Actually, it's I mean, kind of abusable now, though, right? Because what you could do is you could ban Gregas Aatrox. They can't ban Cassante. You could blind Cassante. They can't play Gwen any. And now you can flex the Karma Rel to last pick so they show their spot. Okay. Yeah. Question is, what direction is he going to go for? We look at his pool so far, this, but he's had a pretty 
Uh, that's kind of abusable. That's the word. Diverse champion pool so far in spraying a lot of Aatrox, but Wukong, Kassante, Gragas, TF, the Nar. I think he's a little Check cautious. My, I have an ulcer in my mouth and it hurts. He knows that there are some powerful picks that can cause some problems. You've always got to remember the potential. Uh, wow, well, I was going to say of the Rumble, but of course that's already banned away from the side of Heretics. So what do they want to blind pick? And as a reminder, this ban has been Yanko lost by tilted already. due to them arriving late at the studio today. They could have so. put one of those um, NFC tags on it, so they, you know, the find your phone ones, so they could find it <laughs> as they were searching around. <laughs> no, but yeah, they arrived late, so they weren't able to get that ban off. Giant X might show their hand here. Obviously, you want that last pick. They're going to pick support. Wow, Nautilus is kind of in, no? Mid, so I think we can assume the Rakan is even more in, isn't it? Top they top can play Zeri Lulu, Zeri Renata, Zeri Nolt. It looks like... Rakan gets uh, mega countered, and they, Rakan's what, they didn't play the Kassante? So this split. What very the fuck? Was always very good at engaged champions, but does you know what's good here, chat? When they have triple pressure. support Varus, you Rakan know what's good here? Kind of you know what's good here? Nautilus for sure. I despise Renata. I think Nautilus, Nautilus for sure. I, the thing with Nautilus is he's so good at so many things. It's true. He has great point to click engage late game. You have good engage in the early game. But you also have great Renekton. Because if people I mean, are Renekton's people, fine, yeah. Attack them and stuck but I like Orin in this draft like for uh, heretics. Buy, right? the, you have a lot of die. What do they, what do they play against uh, Orin? They play Curse something or what? Gwen? Wants to ult in. Nautilus CC can either set up that target for his team or can you turn it up a bit, Kerr? Yeah, of course I can, bro. And Renata doesn't work well unless the enemy team's really engaging into you, right? And there's not that much engaged. You have the Rail and the Rakan, and they have they can flank, right? So it's a lot easier for Giant X to navigate it. Wonder. Ooh, Wonder Wexai. Following footsteps, going to bring out the Rexai top here. We are seeing a lot of this. Grasp of the Undying into Tank Rexai. Does a lot of work and is very safe when we expect Giant X to focus down towards the bottom side. It makes sense. I wasn't expecting Rexai to just be so blind pickable, but with the sheer amount of sustain that the champion gets, the fact what that What does Odo pick into Rek'Sai, I wonder? I wonder if anyone's come up with the Rek'Sai counter yet. I think has just Jace! Oh. Reinvigorated Is it Karma the top? This I don't know. Alright chat, I'm gonna run gonna ads. I know you got ads 10 uh, minutes ago, but because of the delay, I'm gonna run them now because you're gonna get ads in 29 minutes. Wonder, of course. And so, uh, if this game goes longer than that, it's fine. Uh, it's not fine. So I'm gonna run them now and then you'll be fine for the rest of the, the day. Trust me, this is the only time it's gonna be annoying. And then it's just gonna be after drafts from now on. I know, I ran them before the show started. I hope that'll be enough, but the delay kind of fucked it. So you can sub to avoid. You can use your tier 1 or Twitch Prime, but you don't have to if you don't want to. How do you guys have this copy pasta ready like you have it ready to spam oh my ears damage from range and we kind of look at heretics composition they do have that fuck that mica any not the longest of range zeri of course Annie. does have decent range but heretics very reliant on closing Annie. that gap against giant x so a lot of these fights are going to come down Gru to yo thank thanks for the five gifted sub man i really appreciate that thanks for the five gifted sub man i really appreciate that set up that poke in advance to be able to chip down the members of heretics before the fight starts and can they disengage if the engage does come out from heretics right can they use the karma and the rail to just distract heretics for long enough to step back dodged that chain of corruption and make sure Shut up you are a little bit safer just to get that poke in. Uh, Odo Amne's last win on Jace in the LEC was in Spring Playoffs 2022, Vedius. So a full two years ago. He did only play it twice since then. Uh, once against G2 on Rogue and once on XL against G2 as well. So he doesn't win against G2, but he did win against Fnatic the last time that he... But uh, was Wonder on that G2 roster? Uh, the 2022 20 spring? I want to say... I want to say... Yes. Yeah. Uh, Turn it up. Uh, it was BB. It BB was, was BB. already in, in 2022. Yeah, yeah. Well, we should listen to you, Reddy. We are into the game. Thankfully able to start the game. Yep. Navigate through some of the delays I started that it. happened with uh, Heretics. Thank you for the Prime, thank you for the subs. Let's get some pace up in this bitch. Wait, why is my Apex thing still delays, going? Able to jump straight into oh game shit, after let me turn that off. So, you're looking at the runes and masteries on your screens right now. Nothing too surprising. There's that grass Brexi that you were talking about, the tank Brexi. It's crazy to me that um, the way I learned about this was someone just linked me a YouTube video. Was it Low Dobby? It was it low was. Dobby. Yeah. yeah. That's how everyone learns about everything. <laughs> That's it's how like BB learns about it. It's, it's how every European and uh, American player learns what they should be one-tricking. Because <laughs> all he does is he takes the best LCK, uh, um, 
Korean challenger accounts that are playing ran random stuff and puts a Lol YouTube Bobby. video about it, and everyone's like, "Oh my god!" But the Rex like top with grass. The, the, we funniest, do this? the funniest thing about it was the video starts with Lol this Dobby's a legend, bro. Four top lane main mm -hmm. that went to Masters 400 LP yep. in like a week, and then, and so and it's not even like this. Like this is was it Destroyer 2009? Is that the person who made Rex I top? Who's just winning a lot of games. <laughs> I wonder how Jace versus Rex is. Right. Wow, watching League in 144 hertz is great. I will, uh, the last two weeks I've been watching it in 60, day, 60 hertz. And here we are. So good job. Random When's the Apex tournament? The Apex yeah, tournament is uh, on Thursday. Other top laners' lives miserable because I've heard these people calling this. This is like Cassante when he was broke. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the healing and the safety, right? You put Truth. a couple of times. What's the difference? No, me for me, chat for me, me, me for me. In the fights, it's crazy and. and uh, we, we had Dagda talking about it at the first day it arrived, but if you are new to the champion, basically what happens is you walk up, you, you unburrow, you hit them once or twice, you see that little meter that's building up underneath the bar, and then you go underground, and look! How much health did he get Chad, did they nerf Rek'Sai yet? Need to have a closer look at that, but like, it's just Chase so has a 40% win rate sustained. against Rek'Sai top, does it actually? Look, 28, 36, 36. It, it's just, just like 50 away. HP back. Yeah. And so, when you combine that with Grasp, no. And you have the draw and shield as well. It just gives you so much sustain in the Yeah, lane. how does Chase Even win this lane? You can't really pro you poke him out. You'd be having a rough a little time. bit louder. Uh, you can just uh, you can you can tank and, and okay, survive. I imagine it's going to I don't want to put it too loud. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Cuz we're going to have a long day uh, chat. A long day of, of tiebreakers probably. This game if he, if Giant X win they're in. If they lose, they have to wait to see what happens. We see Odo using that range advantage to be able to chip away Rexai's health. Now we didn't talk about jungle paths, but obviously very important. Both doing a full clear from top side towards bot. You'll notice that Yankos now making his way onto the red as Peach doing the exact same thing on his blue. Both clear speeds very similar, but we look at the bot lane. Flacken and Trimby already have the push. Looking to go for a bit of a cheat to recall hit, but expecting easy that they recall be bot. Able to contest this two versus two. Ignat and Patrick drop these early wards down. To Chad, see can you get 100? Uh, can you get 240 you hertz with a eight, with a DVI cable? Not be. So a very passive start to the game. Both sides just prioritizing farming, scaling up, and uh, not looking for any early action. I mean, Yankos already going for a quick base. No. He what do you need to get it? He's on the bot side of the map. He knows that his bot lane has also gone back. So he says, you know what? I can't contest this bot. Uh, not DVI. Crab, display so port. Sorry. Actually, go for the top crab, which works out for me because that's where my top camps are respawning anyway. Why did, I mean, why did I say DVI? Sorry. From Igna on the Rakan, walks and catches the minions aggro, then paths down into the bush, meaning that the blue minions will actually ta focus target often one of the red minions. That meant Flacket loses one. Uh, the game's really even. Seem like I wonder if amount. Jace was picked for comp, but I mean, the last thing I would pick if I have Rel Karma like Varus is, is Jace. The only logic I have here is they have double poke. But if you have double poke, what is the rest of your team doing? Shielding and engage for what for poke? Doesn't really line up very well, IMO. Furious bites doing a bit of damage to Odo Omne, who kind of needs some cover from his jungler here to step up. He does have God, this Rek'Sai champ. He hasn't even used his potion yet. Chat, I wish... Dive. Maybe I should just queue up in solo queue, top lane challenge, just play Rek'Sai. That champ's so easy. Nah, I queued up today a game, chat. I didn't play in two weeks. I queued up, insta win. Off-stream climb's going good. I think he has to be cautious right now of that. Holy yes. fuck, that health regen is crazy. He is a bit it's basically a health he potion. Like, he uses one refillable potion every time he's he has full fury. Just before it hits the tower as well, so. And a pretty comfortable spot for the time being. Oh, oh you got him on the cannon. Knock up from Wonder as Odo tried to bring the hammer down and take out those minions. Still manages to get most of them as they do crash into his tower. Yankos Chad, it's a really silly question. Drop. I'm just asking because well, I might not. I, I'm not sure. So Yankos, Rex, I flash W after the changes. Is it a multi knockup? I mean, so far a very restrained. They changed it back to a multi knockup, right? The game. Nothing too crazy. That's kind of nice. About. Beach level four, gonna be able to steal the Raptors here, knowing that he does have Pryo in the mid lane. Jackie's into this Annie. We did talk about it. there's a bit of a range difference in the mid matchup, and Annie doesn't have the greatest wave clear, so she kind of gets bullied by Karma in the laning phase. And uh, unless the Karma oversteps, there's not really much you can do about it. But at the cost of his Raptors, he will be able to secure those early grubs. Does potentially Rek'Sai use this after 30 minutes? Go bit YouTube. This is YouTube, you fraud. That's why we're really Mr. Really Cannon. Them, you know that this bot side is resetting and making their way back out onto the map. 
There is a possibility of a contest from Heretics, but as you say, with Jackie's always being able to gain mid prior whenever he wants it, the tippers can Whoa. be used to try and negate that. Jackie's goes back in, focus resolve with the mantra applied. We'll heal him up, but let's let Trimby miss it. Trimby! No flash burnt from Jackie's. Ignar's going to keep Trimby away from the river as Peach crashes down onto Ain't the Ain't no track. way he misses that, Jake's right? Field, although Yankos is in the vicinity. They have a ward on it as well. Don't really want to try and smite fight Arel. He goes in. Peach doesn't get it. But Ignar, Ignar gets it. Yanko smites Yankos and Peach doesn't smite. smite. Peach did what not. is happening? Ignar took the Drake. And, uh, what is happening right now in this game? They wanted out of it, but, uh, Karma TP's back. Very close, but, I mean, Patrick Man, this Jace is struggling. He had to catch this He's just sitting under his tower. Towards the lane, which means that the damage being thrown onto the dragon is relatively low. This provides enough time for Yankos to be able to respond, and uh, this fight was just a little My too region. early. Miscalculated yeah. the damage. I think it's also one of those you're expecting Peach to smite. Wonder also has TP advantage. He hasn't based yet. Right? I mean, Otto's I'm under pressure against a Rexa that hasn't based yet. On the rail, and it's actually pretty effective uh, at, at securing those objectives. So you're definitely right. He he expected Peach to go for this burst. Huh? And I don't know if Peach saw him and then held, yeah. or, or, or if, if he uh, just didn't have the Shadowing Strike because he'd used it already, clearing it out. He, uh, we didn't see... Or he got lucky. Sometimes that happens too. It does, and for Giant X, they'll be happy that they got lucky. Remember, if they win this, Why doesn't Trimby take the cannon? Into our top eight, into Is it better or what? Hook's gonna Maybe he's looking for a hook, I guess. Puts the down on Patrick. Lightning crash as well from Flacker. Ignar flashes. Flash. Battle dances away. Level six for Flacker. Yeah, good. That he's very willing to flash forward further as Patrick falls low. Ignar can block these, nice. but he decides against it. And now Ignar's hooked under the tower. There's two for Flacker. Ooh, Meanwhile, in the heretics. Lane, Wonder was looking for the dive with Yankos. The I mean, they're going to kill Rek'Sai, but at what cost? Takes the kill. Does it matter okay, if Rek'Sai so dies? Like, she just bases. Look at her items. Straight Ruby Crystals and Steel Caps TP back. In the bot lane. No problem. I mean, that just goes to Who show cares? I think she still beats Chase. Right, just so much in okay, Yankos. Okay, I see you, bro. Okay, I, I saw you. So, <sighs> questionable play. Yeah, that was poor. I mean, hopefully we get a replay so I can understand the decision behind that because Yankos, I don't think yeah, he, he was just thing. Like, the there's no. <laughs> <to> <laughs> he probably thought back, that he could try and stop them from we'll crashing the wave, but. This is the top lane goes in with the burrow. Flash knockup, easy setup. Nice Good. flash from Odoamne to avoid. They don't quite have the damage. Odoamne knocks one to back underneath the tower. I mean, Odoamne plays that about as well as he can. <laughs> Sets up for Peach to arrive. You guys are so seven. mean. Maybe he should have stayed here. stuck in traffic. Yeah, I think <laughs> You're he so really horrible. Is trying to hold the wave. He sees that the Q is used by Peach. No, that one. <laughs> I guess he thinks that Odo doesn't have the mana. But you just transform an auto attack, right? But yeah, I, I, maybe he believes the TP is coming in a bit quicker. Maybe yeah. he thinks Wonder's going to arrive there. Inherently, yeah. that was a mistake from Yankos. Cost him his life. Ends up being two for two in kills. While Heretic's bot side gain an advantage, the top side goes favorably for Giant X. Traffic gap, bro. Bot side was bro, when I, if, I'm, if I'm ever in traffic and I sit there around, so I and I arrive at the location so an hour late, I'm fucking out of it. Crash. As soon as they start Absolute away, brain fried. It's very easy for Azeri in that situation to chase you down. It's why it's so imperative. S sitting in traffic for an hour just fries you, man. It's so fucking tiring. It's so annoying. Lock its first item. Bro, you can't drive. Yeah, I can. Max crucial information here. He's skeptical. He believes that Peach is in his jungle, and here he spotted. There is just no way that Rel did that. I mean, I, I love the idea there from Peach because the goal there is, is just no to way. Like first part of the wall yeah. jump, and then he can drag him back over before he can get over. Uh, I think he was just a little too late, or perhaps Rails just too slow yeah. to actually catch the. the I think she just needs guard, to sit but, uh, over the wall. I think the only I've escape for Flacket is across like the wall. Kane, he just has to cut him off because Rakan. Just hit them early oh enough; they'll just interrupt and they'll just immediately yeah. come back. Same with Smolder if he's trying to fight through exactly. a wall or something. So. That's a bit of an interesting interaction afterwards with the dredge line hooking on to Peach, but he was able to get himself out. Yankos good old the LEC classic. Remember they took three it's a good old LEC classic. For Giant X My so region. The That's up in a minute. I wonder if Giant X will want to contest any of these grubs, because six is very strong. Especially you, you speak, but you cancelled Miles World. In side lanes. What is Sorry, your you shit? Your, this chat today is just fucking is rude. Strong. And in my head, I said Karzix is very strong, and I'm like, not sure why he's relevant in this game, Medic. Very good solo coup jungler right now. Uh, but yeah, it looks like it is going to be six. Grubs over to Heretics and to Yankos. The reset from the Giant X bot lane with 
Ignar now opening through mid. He'll path down towards the bottom side to get some vision around. Isn't the Karma also slightly. a poke champ? Now, the good news. Mm, yeah, I guess you're right. So I guess Giant X have like three poke champs and two engagers. I don't know if that's. Uh, I don't know if that's the comp though. Chat, you know what I've really been enjoying? I don't know if you guys like it, but the new TFT set is fun. I like it though. I like it though. Wonder might be forced back here so that he can actually move down to contest this next objective, whereas Odo can create this. Dual point of pressure Maybe some people in the chat don't play it. Oh, Whoa, Flak AD. It kills him. Has to use the heal to escape. Almost doomed there as Trimby and Flak did close in. The depth charge still available for Trimby as well. Patrick's flash up in about 10 seconds time. But I will say, like, one thing where it's like, come work out with set. Bro, what is this? This is so useless. Anyway, sorry, I'll stop I'll stop ranting. What elo are you? I'm Iron 1. No, I'm bronze one. Just Trimby. Now with Ignar and Peach together, they have a little bit more security if they want to step into the jungle. I'm Trimby not trash. Across. Okay, no I am trash. Flash no flash oh, Trimby has flash. He's fine. Can I ult the Karma, no? Maybe they can trade. Annie's coming. Where is my... Oh my where is my Annie at? And where is my flash at? And where is my fucking... What has happened? And Giant X I guess Trimby doesn't flash because he thinks he's fine. Wait, uh, holy fuck, if, if Giant X win this game, there was little that this ball that's really bad for Rogue, K-Corp and Mad. That ain't good. Wonder being given an opportunity to push in top lane, but look at the lane assignments here from Giant X. They've had Jackie's reset earlier. Is Trimby just giving his bro Odo just one more win? Secure himself a plate or two. Yo, LEC is in shambles right now. Find themselves with a gold lead. Jackie is slightly just to push out. If GX win, then Fnatic has a 75% chance to get first place. True, actually, wait, we want Heretics to win, because then if Fnatic wins their first, no matter what. Oh shit. It feels like that. Out of nowhere, because you look on the replay and it comes in so quickly that Flackett is focused on trying to help his support out looking for Who's flank against fight. Mad, right? He doesn't see Odo Omne coming in from the flank. Very well played by him. And overall by Giant X. Holy nice fuck. Secures them the second Their family and cousins and fucking coaches cousins are in are and in the backstage or what? Response afterwards. The lane assignments following was very, very good. Overall, great stuff. But Heretics, just like that, have closed the goal cap. They've secured a bunch of plates on the map. Flackett with his reset. Moved into bot immediately. Six grubs helps you get all of these plates. Well. <laughs> Later. Ten seconds before those plates fall but off. it's funny how Zeri just died, but Murasaka is still 1.6 up. Yo! Patrick able to hold mid lane by himself. It's power of the lethality virus. Very easy for you to clear out a wave with the... Uh, 1.6 what? 1.6 golds. Afterwards. I will say just giant X Karma's up 1.1. clear with that comp. And I think one of the big things about that bot river fight as well was Jackie's constantly has mid push. You can see that he's about Why is the LEC stream so blurry? Yeah, I don't know. It is pretty blurry, right? Assist that he's been able to find so far in this game, but also just the sheer amount of wave curve that this karma does have. Now we approach the Herald. Yankos has gone it pretty low, but Giant X is here to contest. Just said they didn't like the fact that Giant oh. X were just being cameramen well here. The cameramen want a piece of the action. It's like the office all over again as the hook does go down as Peach has a chain of corruption as well. Peach stunned up. Feromancy tries to dash Rel can maybe lift. No, she can't. Wonder, there's a CC from Ignor, Where's Giant X? Wait, Odo's oh, not, not even here. But they do lose their jungler for it. The extended fight. Heretics this is where I hate some teams. Wasn't quite there like, yet, but we've talked so much about the I would have loved it if Zeri just stayed bot the and they just played for bot tier one, first tower gold onto Zeri and get her Zeri's even further accelerated. Fight, just I get that they're doing Herald, and if they got the Herald, that was fine there, so but I think they should have just fucking blasted through bot, dropped the Herald, given mid tower, and then use Zeri to just. Then Zeri has no mid wave, I guess, a mid tower, but also the tower is low enough already, and. You talked about the Q smite I think she still controls mid wave. Hmm. the eye. Q smite. There was a tiny window where yeah. Yankos could have got that, but then the chase comes in from Heretics. Nice hook connects from what a hook. The knock up as well. You'll see the quickness. Feel like no one's wonder. using flash this game. Maybe start flashing these spells, Good bro. Knock up from Ignar, but Giant X is just forced to retreat. You look at the mini map. You can see that Odo Omni is no end yet. And uh, overall, a pretty even trade kill for Herald. I think the Giant X is still fine with that. The gold largely remains even. 
And again, ultimately, I think that Heretics, if they can find the fight, I do favor their comp. Oh, just because they do have so much more sustained damage, it's easier for them to play out these fights. dropping fives. perks is why Heretics is doing better. If they can't close that gap and Giant X can leverage their range, then I think that there's a very real way. Yeah, I think, I think uh, Zwyru's been fine. So I don't think Zwyru's been, like, insane. To deal with. His lane phase is kind of weak, side, IMO, but his team fight's good. Um, game going over to Giant X. But I think the biggest change was Trimby. Right I think Trimby versus Kaiser impact is crazy. Like imagine bot lane mustn't winning this game for Heretics. What, what does Heretics do? They just lose? I guess. Annie obviously coming in with the Tibbers can do quite a bit of burst damage. But Flacket at two items in that bot lane. Whereas Patrick's only sitting on the Yumu's Ghost Blade right now. He is very deep in the hole. And if Flacket is left untouched in a fight, it will be very hard. For Giant X to actually win out Why is everyone battle? calling me Perks' as friend, Perks' as lawyer? I've called him out like 400 times. Win this game, they are and I say Trimby's the biggest improvement, game, and then people still say it's I'm winning, defending him. Like, what are you on about? Why does me, no people think that me and Perks should be best friends? I haven't seen him in... The last time I saw Perks was Montpellier. And Heretics are uh, fighting for first, yep. ultimately. They, there's a clump of teams was sitting he in at the top of the table. Fnatic, yeah, he was. Heretics and G2. And the biggest advantage That's is it. that you get to be on the opposite side of the bracket to the other strong teams. Yeah. So if Heretics were to finish first... It was first, the, the, second, the finals. Then before like that, it was, I don't know. Later on yeah, imagine if Heretics finished first and G2 finished third. Then... It wouldn't be as happy. <laughs> Well, no, because two Maybe and three would then by both chat. still be Oh, yeah, two and three, right? it's one and four, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, you're right. So, uh, being first would be nice. Yeah, being first would be <laughs> I don't think I'm very close. Like, I don't uh, think I'm super then, close uh, with uh, any of the league pros. Like, hanging out so with them. I guess that, super close is what I mean by, like, hanging out with them outside of content days or streaming hours. Wonder being the front line is important. There's none Heretics that are like super close. Oh, okay. I guess Odo, yeah, Odo. Heretics have found a way in. They've actually started off. The I think a lot of them are like themselves. online friends, Patrick you know. Gets the push in mid, and here we go. Yanko's trying to sneak his way all the way around here. Wonder will catch that mid wave, making sure the Giant X don't get free priority. Yanko's just waiting. Online friends, Giant even though we're in the same city. Odo on they marking that flank. They really want more. All right, GX, let's do this team fight. They go for this. I can't get the spot here. One. Get a, a pincer movement here as Yankos and Wonder, like the claws of a crab, will begin to descend. Very powerful force. As Zwyru now sets forward, Yankos gets onto the back. Holy line. fuck, yes, Flacker just sends it in there. He's the leader. Magnus Storm coming out as well as Yankos falls. But this is where Flacker can really oh open up. He's only got three boy. hundred health left though. As Odo oh boy, Giant X. Trimby. Ignar, Patrick and Odo Omne now on the, the Dragon with Peach. What Wonder happened to, to Annie? Did the they, they really buy Annie ult the Karma? The of Odo. And even though Heretics found a pretty good engage, Giant X survived it. I mean... What a great fight from Giant X. They responded perfectly. Wow, the Zeri positioning as well was a bit Jackie's risky. pretty much got eviscerated, but I think Jackie's got out everything that he needed to. And crucially, Flacker took a lot of damage on the back line. Nice interrupt there from Odo Ame. Oh, that flash tiver is was trash. Zeri gets way too close to Peach. Didn't he need the flash, but I get it. He just wants the one shot. Look at this damage from Patrick. Q hits but on everyone the is full sent into a rel engage. He's left completely untouched on the back Oh, I don't like that fight so at all from Heretics. But two damage threats are still alive. Odo and Patrick are still alive and well. And I think, honestly, that was just a bit of a misplay from Flack. And I think yeah. he overcommitted that. He wanted to make this big yeah. wombo combo yeah. happen. Dived in, well, the yeah, Flack and Zwyru, I think, overcommitting way too much. From, uh, from Giant X and then pop the lightning crash. Or even dance to the side and pop it, just getting it on a couple of people. Obviously, you want that big multi-man ultimate. But when you are the carry, when you are fed like that, Trust Zvayu, Jack, uh, Yankos, and Wonder to kill the first person, and then you follow up afterwards after you have. Okay, well, hopefully their their focus shifts now, Heretics, and they look for Jason fights rather than Karma. Two point two k lead to Zeri still. She's Ai though. Heretics are still fighting a bit. Peach and Igna trying to get away from this. Yankos, I know, they could have ulted in and forced TPs Odo there, but is it worth it? Maybe. Lane. You're losing bot tier one. You're Giant losing top tier one. Second tower of the match. Giant X playing a patient game. This weekend has looked great for this team. I was going to comment coming into this series. The series, this game, I should say. Heretics have the opportunity to get their first 3 0 weekend mm -hmm. of the year. Well, the tiebreakers we played today. The same. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. I thought it was going to be way more likely for Heretics, but Giant X have shown a lot of growth. 
They've got a solid draft. They have plenty of options. And right now, they're just taking their time. They know. I mean, they know that as long as they play the patient game, that uh, they have a they very good chance today, of taking sure. down Heretics, denying them those top spots and uh, locking themselves a spot in the top eight. I very much agree. I just How's the standard of the LEC? Uh, in terms of draft, uh, pretty weak. Bit, and they talked about a bit on the analyst desk as well. Yo, what's up, Ryan Kobe? How you doing? Trying too hard to make How's old man Yankos going? Yeah, he's doing good. Sometimes. A lot of weight on he's been kind of griefing here. this one a bit, but most games he's smurfing real hard. Jackie's being in a good position. Real hard. The sole damage source. But that comp is not that simple to play. Right, you're, you're looking for this Yo, Kobe, you're so fucking funny on the analyst desk. Essentially a press R comp from Heretics. Mega degenerate. With nameplates off, I would very much prefer to be playing on Heretics' side of the rift, but Giant X showing up on the final day of the regular well, season. What I will say is that when it comes to dive burst comps they may seem simple right because you know flash are good everyone all right yeah. so what's this game but 2k gold for gx level, soul point there's a certain element yeah of like i mean they can just wait for soul the flank, right? they're playing the karma rel like, rakan with chemtex pretty good watch. the yeah, tenacity is pretty right? good the and shield power is pretty good answer kobe what did he say even though the vice still altered on to um, are you coming Jackies? to China for MSI? It wasn't that bad, right? Yeah. And that's just because uh, there's a great level of awareness about you know exactly uh, what Dark wants to do. Maybe. And so you can make it as hard as possible for them. Maybe. As they try and get closer and closer, and you chip away at them with your. I don't know yet. You, you kind of control the vision. I don't know yet. Harder and <laughs> ideally, don't say aware. Want to start the dragon because then it becomes easier because there's this <laughs> other thing hitting you and you can sometimes. Yeah, maybe I'll be there. I'll be there. Hopefully, position. I'll be there. And so that's why Giant X didn't actually want to start it. They just kind of like sat in that fog of war, took their time, and they were very patient about I'm it. I'm trying to rock kidnap you. Thanks, time, Rez. I think that it's not as easy as it looks, but if heretics do find that right engage... Kobe, the, the Chinese government have easy, my right? passport. Think, they took a picture of it. I, w I agree with you in terms of everything you just said. It was all correct. But usually, when a team that has a press R comp gets ahead in the game... Oh, yeah. Actually, they have a picture of my old passport. Now I have a new one. That's true. Wait, no, it is the new one they have a picture of. Or was it? I don't remember. When was Worlds? Where did I go? Korea? That was last year. Nah, they have a new one. Can you actually just check for me, Betty? I know you have a spec open. Were they ahead at 15 minutes in this game? Okay, wouldn't I get top tier one? Yeah, I just want to... Because they have 100% win rate when they're ahead They have six grubbies as well, so Wunder could try and push more or just move down. okay, so... Looks like he's moving down. They were 100 gold behind. Well, we can't use that stat. Doom, Betty. We don't have the Nostradamus of stats to... So he can catch midwave. Ah, okay. Here comes the TP. All right, GX, his comp is weird. They have two champs that want to go in. Rel Rakan. And then two champs that want to poke, Varus Chase, though, and then one champ that kind of... Oh, it's one for Giant X here now, I think. They have no Nulta Assault, no Serial. They just have to play really slow. Oh my god. Heretics is, is trolling, man. They have Vi, Annie, Nautilus. Nort goes in first, ults, dies. Then Annie flash ults, everyone runs away. Now Vi has ult, and the soul is gone. Another demonstration of great patience and control from Giant X. They played around their vision very well. They played more of a front to back style. Their tanks weathered the most of the engage that came out from Heretics. Yankos didn't even use his ultimate in that fight. And uh, Giant X just kept retreating. They kept having their opposition yeah. walk into them. Actually, this Jace, Karma, Varus comp is. Really good job. We look back at this. If you Peach can't engage on them properly, the they'll always just game. kite back. Now acts as the front line. But yeah, yeah Trimby's just going in way too early. Jackies once again. He flashes Jankos away, gets rooted. Zwyrus not able to. I don't know, man. I feel like the setup is just bad from from Heretics. They're the all five men going through bot. I think Wunder should push mid. Looker. Oops, sorry. Oh seven, buddy. I feel like just running in a straight line. Five v five. Ain't good for for Annie. For Annie. Annie needs to be on the side or 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 Rex side. Yeah, they don't have Baron damage. They don't have that good Baron, that Baron damage. It's going to take what? They're two manning Baron. That's going to take ages. Not the quickest. It's the Thanity Varus and a Rel. But look at the positioning of Ignar. He's coming in from the flank, sitting in this fog of war. He will be spotted out there, but he's just creating Bro, this more is going to take forever. So remember, he's spotted by Wonder as well with the, the tremor sense, That's right? True. So they always know where Ignar is until Wonder unbows. They look for Odo Omne first. Wonder comes out. Trimby as well. Oh, the my God. In by Wonder, trying to get onto that back line, but Ignar's still very, very safe. And now it's cooking, but... 
I don't know if he's cooking anymore. Wow, they don't have any damage, do they, heretics? No damage. As they head down the tunnel, Giant X though, perfection in these team fights. No oh, yeah. damage I mean, at all. They are playing these wow. very, very well. It's so easy to get caught into the chaos of these fights, get caught. drawn into going into a brawl, but you can see the community. Oh, it's virus. So Giant X are probably going to win this game, and that is really bad for Mad, K Corp, and Rogue. Odo comes across for a bit of so. an accelerated shock blast. Tiebreakers are already getting a bit tricky. Five thousand gold in the lead. We look back at this fight, and the goal, the game plan here is to turn. They try to initiate onto Odo, and they're a good target, but they don't quite have the damage to kill him. He turns, he disengages from Yankos, and then look at the spacing here. He then moves back towards his team, and it's almost like that they they have a If GX win or K Corp you know, out, Patrick Odo, they work uh, on I don't know actually. Ignore. I don't Every think so. Every time they're out of position, they move back into that position. Wait, they really? Well. No. They shut down the crucial target that's in front of them. And Giant X come out with a massive one team fight. That's a Baron secured. That's a 5k gold lead. And they're just stomping Heretics in this game. Yeah, Chemsol as well. You can see Heretics caught all unaware. How did Yankos not get spotted there? Last few fights. Yankos will be able to get out here, but only because Giant X deem it so. They allow him to base. They want to push in these. Man, are Heretics like the 100 Thieves of, of EU? Like regular season looks good, but when they get to playoffs, they might be frauds. Didn't work out too well for him. <laughs> Yankos is waiting in that bush to see perhaps. If Giant X overstep, Ignar gets a zombie. Wall I don't know. That bit of Let's see. It's only a best of one. It's a nice flank. Does look like their comp is quite weak in the Giant X's comp if they don't get a good engage, like just insta lost. I mean, it's not a flank then, is it? It's just uh, It's just standing in a bush. It's just <laughs> correct. It's hide in bush. <laughs> True. I mean, Yankos, I actually think he was um, awarded one of the most popular people on his team the other week. Yeah? Yo, Leo, he's much love. In his field. Don't get one guy. Yeah, much love, Lurker. <laughs> I don't like that joke. <laughs> now, tower gonna drop. Wonder getting chipped away. No, Wonder's dead. How tanky are you, Wonder? Wonder's gonna get rooted up with a focus result. No one's hitting well. him. Not tanky enough. Oh, it seems as Patrick goes on a rampage. Trimby tries to dive in, but all wow. diving. Wow. Heretics, are, they just got stomped. Surface. Taken out by giant they got a 2v2 kill, kill bot, level 4 or some here. shit, level 6. And then what? The just lose? This is fucking huge. Them, yeah, true. It will only be the one wave push, the one lane push at least for Giant X. Very well played. I mean, what else is there to say? I am pleasantly surprised by the performance we're seeing from Giant X. I mean, if they can Heretics ego level, drafted? I don't know if they ego drafted. It's I don't think this is ego, is it? Via any Zeri Nautilus? Where's the ego? Five score, definitely not a bad spot. They talked about how they needed more time for growth. Actually, it's true. From the previous Giant X this winning this hurts Rogue's chance of making playoffs. Odoamne fucking hates valuable. Rogue because they kicked him for no reason and the manager lied about his career. So then, of course, Odoamne goes Super Saiyan. Oh, yeah. Just locks Destiny in Zeus, Korean and Jace, and blasts the first place team. The yeah. so Fuck win. Rogue. Definitely defied expectations and I mean, have been they, able to find they, some big They wins. will have got the 3-0. Three, the three yes. Right. They haven't won yet. It's, it's difficult I'll say what Odo's thinking. Castle, like, Fuck him! <laughs> but you don't want to say that, because there might be some Heretics fans in the Trimby audience. also <laughs> hates Rogue, so he <laughs> entered this one. <laughs> Shut up. Win. It would just take a series of unfortunate events. Oh, yes. Equivalent of a lemony Snicket novel. Yeah, 12 books, perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> For it to, to turn, its, uh, turn its way around. I mean, if anyone's going to do it, it would be Flacken. Yep. He would be the player. Uh, I think that, like, it, we come back to Dragon. By the way, I love the players on the road. Much love to the players. Like, the org, we though. We kind of look at the idea, Oof. and it seems good. But in practice... You're asking Annie, are you OK? It's, you know? it's really hard to burst everyone on this comp. Um, yeah, she got no prior in the in the early laning phase. Rexai pick pretty looks useless. Like flash yeah, position. true. I think it's good into this Rexai pick has looked pretty useless. Want to close that gap against you, but Karma, who's just I poke, I poke, I poke, yeah. and his range just becomes very sad. And Giant X denying Heretics entrance into the jungle. Heretics have no vision on this side of the map apart from that provided to them by their minions. Oh, oh my God, the poke oh, yeah, is. <laughs> oh my Whoa, God. Okay, he goes in the quickness landing on Survivor as well. Charm onto Yankos will force him away. There's another. Zoda secures the kill. The teddy bear left without an Annie. Yankos two items. He thinks he's losing. Night. Tyro has gone dark. for the long <laughs> sleep. <laughs> Annie's story is really dark. Remember when that they released is. that cinematic? 
Giant X, they're looking to secure their third win of the week. They're looking to lock in playoffs as they see the Nexus in their eyes. A Cinderella story for them to come back and secure their own spot in the playoffs. Wonder and oh, fucking try to Peachy, do peachy, peachy. <laughs> Challenge is denied by Giant X. It's impossible. Wonder goes back in, lands the Damn. Back, but he's stunned. Void Rush trying to get Nice draft by Giant X. Cease and desist the one to Odo Omni means that they can begin to open up, but they just don't have Their any comp damage. works really well into Heretic's comp. Of course, a sundered sky for all that's helping as he goes down. Sent to join his friends in the sky, it seems. I was skeptical Giant about the triple poke double engage, but it worked pretty well, actually. Nice draft by Giant X. All right, Giant X is locked. Now, it comes down to four teams. Rogue, KC, Mad. SK. There's two spots left. With BDS, Fnatic, G2, GX, Vitality, and who's the other one? Oh yeah, Team Heretics. There's two spots left. Next game is Rogue versus SK. The winner of that, if SK wins, they're in. If Rogue wins, they're not in. They need KC and Mad to lose. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a weird day. I think it's better for content if... It's better for content if SK win. No, if Rogue win. Well, I don't know. It depends what you want. If Rogue wins, they tie with SK. And then if K Corp Mad wins, it's a four-way tie. Chat, is, is there, if it's a four-way tie, is there games? If Rogue, if Rogue wins, Mad Koi is, is in? What? No. Wait, really? But if Rogue wins, Mad locks? Red Bull gives you wings. Yes, okay. Look at the spreadsheet. Yo, I'm gonna be honest, my guy. I've seen the spreadsheet. It doesn't make sense to me. No Nintendo, you know what I'm saying? Okay, explain. Explain to me, chat. Explain. Explain it to me. So... Uh Um So, with that win from Giant X, SK and Rogue do not lock with a win. They... Wait. Oh, no. SK's... Wait. No. If SK wins, they're in. Okay? If they lose, they might still get a tiebreaker. If Rogue wins, they're not in. But they get a tiebreaker minimum. Okay? So if Rogue wins this game, we're guaranteed a tiebreaker. There's a very high likelihood of tiebreakers. There is a 60% chance of tiebreakers. Where's K Corp? So, 
Yeah, I, 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 I can do the math. I can do the math. The math is whoever wins is still in and whoever loses is out. It's not that hard, okay? Just win and f just fucking win. Just shut up and win. That's all that matters. All that matters is you need to fucking win, okay? It's not fucking rocket science. Motherfucker, it's competition. We don't need no stats. Just win or get permabend. Yeah, just kill the Nexus, bro. It ain't that deep. Alright, what is this link? We lost the bomb. We lost the bomb. Yeah, we did. Bro, I yeah. told you, bro. We lost the man for what? Guys, I don't allow this. Can I talk to the head referee? Yeah, but then we might lose second one. <laughs> <laughs> True. What would you change in K Corp? Uh, <laughs> what would I change in K Corp? I don't know. I have my own opinion. But I don't know. People have their own opinions. Welcome back to the LEC. Patrick, thank you for my opinion. What would I change in K Corp? Um. That's the highlight they're showing? I don't know. You're gonna get mad if I tell you. Yeah, I mean, this game we, or at least I got kinda AD diffed, but it's really good that my top side played so well, so we just win, so I'm really happy. All right, before we dive straight into the game, I just want your first thoughts. That was a do or die. You've been in so many of these situations, Patrick. How uh, do you handle it, and then how do you feel once you succeed? I think it's just. I would change the whole roster. It was really good. I think. I would change we're really everyone. Happy with the draft and, uh, I would. Re yeah, scrap kind of that paper and go again. This kind of style. I, I don't want any so lingering was, was anything. Just full send a new roster. But obviously, it's very hard to do that, okay? That's a very cop out answer because obviously, what are they going to do? Have 10 pl players under contract? So they probably won't do much till the end of the year. Unless they want to do a miracle uh, world's run. Yeah, even Bo, even Bo. I'm play. sorry, everyone's yeah, this gone. Guy is dangerous. He's playing real well, so I think we just everyone's gone. We hope to make him play like a champ that he's not comfortable I with. would want... Absolutely. And I don't know, it's really easy characters. if it's the end of the year. Because if it's the end of the year, you just put in Kalist and Linkas and then... Disappears. When you go into then the you're fine. And the draft is completed, but, what was uh, the yeah. for you guys? I don't know. It must be so difficult for you as a virus in mobile Everyone's a big fan of Bo, but to be honest... If Bo, I mean, like, I, I know Bo is good, and, but like, I would, uh, I would scrap the Bo project like, personally. And uh, if someone else wants like to do the Bo project, so go ahead. But I've already seen Vitality do it, like and K Corp do it now. Bit, uh, I, I, as much as I think he's a good player, I just don't want to go down right, that so road. Your thoughts in general, I would just go down a new road. What are your thoughts on the current AD carry meta and why is Varus like such a pretty much blind peekable AD carry all across the world pretty much? What would your roster look like if you could build I it? My roster would be mm, I just think Varus uh, is this guy, this guy. Him, him, and I, think that's uh, I would try and pick up Nemesis. Pick him. And I, like, for the uh, I would try and buy Varus out Irrelevant just, uh, if they have money. Soon and and like, in support. I would probably. Now, Patrick, of course, congratulations! A 3-0 weekend. You made mm, it into the playoffs. I don't know. Are there any areas of improvement that you guys are Maybe still see if Sven wants to play. Like a pretty good weekend, Support. There were a few flops over if he's completely weekend. sold on going back to AD carry, they bailed us out. then I would maybe check out Mercer, see how he's doing, uh, see what Mercer's up to, and, then maybe and if Mercer's uh, not down, I would import. Maybe. I mean, not that much but if I'm importing support and, in and I can't get irrelevant, I would probably have to import top so as well. I think we need, like, just more so I would maybe check out Thanatos. Well, about stage confidence, so let's say irrelevant, SK here. don't sell irrelevant. Really I would do Thanatos. Check if he wants to come to Europe. Time, so he got it and and he then um, he of the game, so I would check out the Korean support. Bout, I think, is pretty good. Jay's performance in the top lane. Now, of course, moving forward uh, into the best of scenarios. How do you see this Maybe going effort if he wants to come to Europe. That's coming up, you know, you talked about the virus and the smolder, but do you see any significant change on that matter? That my roster would look a bit weird. 
Well, new patch is, I mean, I reckless. Saw the I mean, reckless is good, but uh, I don't think I would want to go down the so reckless. I don't like having Maybe, yeah. I mean, I these names, you know. I don't like the idea of having like a bow or a reckless. I feel like it's it's no. I'm not going down that road. It might just be boring, to be honest. I just feel like having these uh, names with a lot like, of uh, public like weight behind it, like but not a lot of like there, actual proof of really long, you know, no performance, anyone, it's like, not worth the uh, risk. Because you're going based on sentiment and not on like facts. All right, perfect. Then it will be better meta for you too. So like for uh, example, uh, reckless roll swapped. Congratulations on to he didn't do great in the LCK Academy. He didn't do great at all. Bose come to Europe, hasn't really found much success. And maybe individually he's good. You have Nemesis though? Yeah, but Nemesis hasn't been in pro play for a while. And the last time he was, he was really successful. So what, what's, what's Nemesis got to do anything? If anything, the Nemesis has low expectations. It's like Bwipo when he came back from being on the bench for Team Liquid. Did anyone? I don't think uh, people sat there almost like Whippo needs to perform. G2, He's the best. Which was a surprise to some, not a surprise to G2 fans. Can be two teams <laughs> in the LEC, Carmine Core and G2. <laughs> it's very strange. They're, they're two and two versus G2, like two wins out of two games. They're two wins out of two games against Carmine Core, and then they're zero and sixteen. I think. <laughs> I don't know. I'll, when I say that, I mean we'll I think you need rookies and you need experienced players, right? And I wouldn't personally sign a player who has a huge. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Look, that's my opinion. If, if you think you should do something else, do something else. Someone ask me what my opinion is. That's my opinion. Come as no surprise. Callista, Varus, obviously both high priority, and with Varus taken away, Callista then naturally becomes a higher priority. The question is, will Smolder be locked in for extra kick, or will he instead go for something like the Zeri, which is also played a bunch? So you hate Reckless? No, I don't hate Reckless. I'm actually gonna have an interview with Reckless next week. He's gonna come over to my apartment, and we're gonna do an interview with Reckless. He's back in Europe. I'm gonna talk about his time in LCKCL. So I don't hate Reckless at all. It's gonna be on stream as well. So that's a content coming up. So if you sit there and say you hate Reckless, no, it's not true. I have I have no hatred towards any player, and my opinion of them doesn't mean I dislike them as a person, or I would avoid content with them. Just the way I see things. That's all. Draven Renata, damn. I was actually quite smart. Yeah. <laughs> so that one. That's a good one. Um, but yeah, X-Kick hasn't played it this split, but was known for it when he was in the LFL. I feel like all of our AD carries were known for Draven. Who do you hate? <laughs> <laughs> Who do I hate? Yeah, well. Like <laughs> challenger, and then when you're at challenger, then you play other things. Uh, one day. It's either that or Ezreal. Those are the two champs. Maybe people will know one day. Will we see? Well, Rel is obviously taken off the board. Vi is taken off the board. Kalista Blitz. Oh, board. Jesus. Rogue is. Uh, oh, Blitzcrank. Rogue is full sending butter. These low mobility champions does make a lot of sense. Can often pair. Nah, I don't hate any players. With the Kalista, a lot of pick potential. First game for Zoelis this split. We'll see how he does on it. As we Amy. now move into potentially mid lane. Tilly, of course, still up and available. Vi is up. Ari, her. Actually, is Jarvan good here for Rogue if they drop jungle and just pick Ari? Or Karma, yeah. Karma depresses me. This is a champ that I think. Actually, chat, I'm kind of I'm kind of bored of Karma. She's very versatile. She doesn't have the craziest amount of damage, but her poke damage. I'm kind of bored of Karma, chat. Mantra Q Merchant, that's what she's called. She's a very solid mid lane pick that just pretty much always guarantees you mid lane. Pick. Mantra Q Merchant. So deciding they want to pick jungle instead does mean now that they get to ban out junglers and Rogue gets to ban out mid laners, but the mid lane pool is slightly harder to pinch, I think. Talia, Ari, you hate how much you love the shy? I do love the shy. Bans, that is true. I think I would consider a Nico. Yeah, Nico uh, makes sense as well. Nico oh, there's the Jarvan ban. Yeah, I think Jarvan was pretty good against Draven Renata. Nico is a really good champion. Ari is very early game. Larson has to play something. Uh, they may even consider a way. A way. A way. Deliver it like that. Uh, but yeah, Talia, Nico would be my bans if I'm on Rogue because I think that they complement. Yeah, Karma is just non-interactive. Offer you a little bit more scaling. Zhao, your hair looks lovely today. Yes, it, exactly. Um, uh, bans. Uh, I don't know. They're banning Jax. Really good into Zinzao. I mean, to be honest, what's good against Karma? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Maybe he's a little bit cautious because of how squishy this champion is. Maybe you want something a little tanky. Narben. 
then your mid jungle isn't the strongest, but it does I have no idea what Finn's playing. Line. I so guess he's playing Aatrox or something. Come through from Rogue does suggest that they're thinking about something like a Cassante top or something relatively safe, maybe even a um, Aatrox yeah. for Finn. He did talk about how he performs better. I don't know. Like to be honest, Sejuani is good for Rogue, maybe, but. Marcoon Sejuani has been a bit disgusting. Oh, Kha'Zix against their champs is pretty good. I know it's a hover, but Kha'Zix is good against Sinzao. But no one's picked it yet. It's pretty hard to play a champion pro play. Ooh, is Marcoon gonna go? Oh, actually, Belvet's kind of not, not bad. Poppy's trash. Yeah, Marcoon Diego is his one trick. I'm gonna stop talking about what they're hoving. Gragas top. I'd be surprised if they put Gragas jungle and then... I mean, they could have picked this because of the flexibility it provides. You can still play Gragas mid, and perhaps they're saying, well, if SK give us a really good Karma top angle, we'll just put the Karma into the I top. I just can't angle. see Larson playing Gragas mid. I'm not saying that yeah, you can't true. play it. I just Gragas top, I Karma mid, resident sleeper man. What is this? They picked the most volatile bot in the game, and we're playing Karma Gwagash, man. It makes sense, but it's bowing. All right, chat. Ads are gonna run. If you wanna vote, ads you can use your tail on a Twitch Prime. You don't have to sub the channel if you don't want to. Ads are gonna run before the draft, uh, after the draft, after the draft, but before the game, you know the drill. All right, what happens this game? So if Rogue win, they are guaranteed a tiebreaker, and Mad Lions is locked. If SK win, they're through to the next but, uh, round and rogue are the out they're gone playoffs, and then there's one the spot eight. left between sk mad and kc but they they're destiny not really in their control at this point no but i mean if they're guaranteed a tiebreaker they just have to win the tiebreaker that's so the current stakes chat their control, they're medium wear to lock in in their control but they can at least make sure they have at least one more game to play we'll see if Rogue are able to win this of course they did beat G2 on Saturday. explain it in football terms time we uh they have been struggling to beat anyone else in the league SK off to a strong start in winter have struggled in spring to really find that same form has felt like um players not quite they the same it's like Liverpool versus Barcelona of the book we're opening here, you know when they were down process. goals and they were playing at home Seven. And they had to score three goals. If they score three goals like they did, then they don't actually win, but they guarantee another game. Bloodshed in the bot lane should be the name of the game. Scaling mid lane mages and some high damage junglers. Oh, four goals. Yeah, four goals. So Rogue needs to score like four goals. That's their position right now. They're not out, but they need to score four goals. That's the, that's the situation, chat, okay? Who can be the carry that their team needs today? It's 45 love. Is that easy? For tennis, 45 love. And they have to win the point. They're 10 seconds behind. And they're... They're on a... Oh, 40 love. They're 10 seconds behind, first place. And there's five laps left. And they're on fresh softs. Has really struggled to have the same impact as they need to push. They need to go hammer time. They didn't even need to flash that hook deceptively long. Just the tip. That's this skin. Yeah, I mean, iRobot did get some of its animations changed since it was. Uh, I was convinced this skin was competitively bad. It was, and then they got some of its animation changes changed. Oh. Uh, same with like Steel Tempest Lux, I think it was. All right, Draven lost yeah, flash on the invade. A bit hard to see. Did Heretics lose? Yes, they did. Uh -huh. Yeah. All the Blitzcrank skins. Explain it in F1 terms. I just did. I said Ammer time, when, fresh when softs, five laps really left, ten second gap. Yeah, yeah. And then when the opponents are playing them, it's like four inches longer than I thought it no, would be. I totally or you could just remove yeah, your appendix. Really that true. seems to win you races. Same thing where like I watch a pro play a champ and they do all this damage, and then I play that champ and I don't do that damage. Yeah. And it just I feel like that they're playing it's a different the game. Surface. It, you're right, that makes sense. Ten percent increased damage. It's Why like is Finn flashing an only fence? An only fence thing. They have different spells. It's the same thing as like loser's key, right? It's mm -hmm. all just mm -hmm. big conspiracy. Uh, 100%. Yeah, it makes sense. But yeah, X-Kick burning his flash really makes it hard for him and Dos to be the aggressors in this bot lane. You say that, they are pushing. <laughs> <laughs> now explain Without it with rat noises. All right, shut up. However, comp wasn't auto-attacking. So I think Rogo accepting the push 
And like then, you kind of have to because it's Renata, right? Yeah. Like Blitzcrank only has his hook, and once he uses it, he's not a champion at <laughs> level one. <laughs> so basically, all you have is the threat of a hook. Yeah. And uh, so why is it better comp? Level two, which really doesn't um, get that much yeah, better. I think Rogue's comp's way better. Knock up as well. But everything's decided by bot. But uh, I really so like Gregas Karma to play with volatile lanes. Lane fin, it's boring, but it's trades, strong. But it's really just two tanks slapping away at each other. You expect Finn to have a bit of prior just because he's got slightly stronger wave play than the Cassante. Slightly better sustain as well with the Drunken Rage. Oh yeah. Uh, passive giving you a bit of extra... Explain conditions for each team. Top is a dead lane, mid is a pushing lane, jungles for pathing right bot, everything matters in bot 3v3. Nothing else matters. Pushing it on, uh, bot 3v3 determines the game. If yeah, whoever has bot push yeah, gets yeah, strikes, whoever contests yeah. bot push is and fighting, whoever wins the fight wins uh, the game. And there's no such thing as scaling or comeback potential. Okay, if Draven gets ahead, GG. If Kalista gets ahead, open. And you can help gather at the minions. That just helps you. Absolute Armageddon. Molten Fisher will often get just the the casters a little bit. Why are my glasses perma dirty? Dying. So then you crushing more the casters. So all we're waiting for here is to see when Draven dies, because it could be right now. Oh, Marcoon ganking bot lane. Oh, here we go. Nope. That's uh, Renata Q lights, saved the fight. Draven should have died there if yeah, Blitzcrank so just w ran at him and flashed over the Q. You do W E, you do E E Q E. You do E E first, not. Well, you could. You I mean, it's I'd, all the same. I'd Q E first and then I'd E. I'll be honest. All right. Well, the uh, point is that's how you clear waves on play for those that cared. <laughs> Why does that sound like a good <laughs> TikTok where you just like on, listening to my friends Steve? talking in leak terms? You result. like join a conversation and you're like, yeah, I use E, but then he Q E'd my E, so I had the R his W. But then, because he W'd my E, I, uh, I, 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 I Q'd his R. And you're like, huh? I was critical of Rogue this whole season. Yes. Good first one from Markun. Yes. Kind of manable to die that. In the G2 game, in this game, he is ganking like a madman. And he finds first blood for Rogue. Finds the play in mid. Forces the flash out from Niski. Why the fuck are there Eintracht now, Spandau fans chanting? Bro, your team's not even here. Shut up. I told you guys it was easy to miss. I love the fact that he throws a thumbs up at that one. <laughs> yep, I missed. My bad. I missed on purpose, Niski. It was about sending a message. I didn't need to. I just wanted to show you that I could. The, 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 the message I sent was, my hands aren't that good. <laughs> like, <laughs> Obviously, Larson very skilled at the game, but uh, I'm not he sure. He did the cajol. I never played Karma on stage. Oh, I did actually. Upset. I will never forget this. Enemy team picked something, and then Upset said, I said, I think Azir or Orianna or something, and Upset said, nah, Karma's good here, just shield me. And then my coach said, okay, pick Karma. And I had to play Karma. I was like, huh? What the fuck? Am I a robot? <laughs> I'll never forget that in, <laughs> in a competitive game. And that was anyway, my first ever Karma really game in Pro Play and we won. Has gone back and got himself that tier. We'll stack up the Seraph. So at least looking for the lands it. Riot. Dos has a flash, but can we get an explanation about that? Wants to use it, doesn't expend it. Comp gets his first kill of the game. That hitbox. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> I want to get a replay of that if we can get it. Because was it I old was Karma? Dos, no, it was, I which means old hit. Karma? How old do you think but, I am? Uh, I think also it looks deceptively long because Zoelis got moved back yeah. as well. Oh uh, no, we lost actually. I'll never forget. Okay, then I said I'm never playing enough. Karma again. Two kills now for Rogue. They found it in bot lane. They find it in mid. In a really good spot in this early game. Isma going to steal away the... Uh, Krugs? The Krugs. That's the word I was looking for. In the bot lane. But there is no bot lane to gank. SK not really finding much off the back of this. A small gold lead starting to mount in favor of comp. About a thousand gold ahead. Across the board, SK. Extra kick does have 126 stacks on the Draven. Wait, See it on his when you start playing range, League, uh, maybe oh, nice. season e three, there four. To bounce back, irrelevant. As the grubs were secured, Isma now going to make his way towards this dragon. No one died between Kalista Draven yet, so the game ain't over yet. Top lane. But when they die, towards the Cassante, Larson has moved out of mid. GGVP. I will say I am a little surprised. Very rarely do we see Larson roam. Yep. But he gets back in time. To get Very the rarely do we see Larson roam. What the hell? Yeah, I looking for Why gotta sell him like that? Why I gotta sell him out like that? Exposed and caught. This red buff to spawn. Obviously, Isma can come out, but Larson's gonna get the push in mid because Nisky's reset. Finn has the push in top because he TP back into the lane. So, Markoon knows that he has the support of his teammates. 
does begin. There's the red buff stolen away. Isma level six has been able to farm up a little bit more than Markun, but still, Markun will be very happy with that red buff steal. And for anyone wondering about the Blitzpank hook and why sometimes it can seem like it's missing, but it actually oh, it's oi, oi, oi. I want to introduce you to a wonderful concept called lolly popping, which is where on a lot of the skill shots in the game, what will happen, uh, just demonstrate it here, is the skill shot will come in like this, Vedius, and you yeah. think it's only going to hit the point, but actually what it does is it hits an AoE around the point. When did lolly you pops. get these... Graphics enabled. Uh, you know, I asked Dapper. <laughs> he was like, yeah, of course we can. Just for your lollipopping <laughs> point, Betty. That medic. <laughs> I may have worn a mask of your face because of pretending to be an analyst. But yeah, a lot of the uh, hook skill shots in the game will have these little lollipops at the end, so it checks in an AoE around where the end of the projectile is to see if it That was the most obnoxious arrow I've ever seen. That wasn't oh, obnoxious arrow. <laughs> <laughs> but it's look at the, these are the minions that you want to kill, Betty, and then if you kill them, they blow up. <laughs> that's, that's how way you should use his abilities. <laughs> You're making the fans really happy Woo! with that one. Good job. <laughs> this is a very serious game, Medic. <laughs> oh, it's best invading without buffs. Markun, nice dodge by Markun. Oh, and he stole it. Gets it instead, and now Isma Just ult on him, no? Yeah. Oh my lands. god. Zo Eli. Zo Elise. Oh, what? He got the bailout. What? He's out there. Uh-oh. 870 gold. Well, 07 Rogue, maybe. What? How did they not win that fight? Very nice response there from SK. Isman looked like he was in some dire straits. How did they not win that fight, bro? What? Execute picks up a kill. He cashes in. And hopefully in the replay we can see how much gold he was actually able to get off that. He was about 150 sacks. We're going to say 300 gold off. So Isma looks like he's getting collapsed on here. Nice flash. Really great hook from Zoli. The ultimate buys huge. time. And then as you rightly said, the bailout gives him enough time for the execute to come in. Jesus. Oh, actually, but it's it completely the in. No, they have Kalista ult the and so Zoelis flash. flash the wall, how much gold how is how is Blitzcrank dying? Plus it's a shit ton so of damage from Blitzcrank or from Draven, I guess. He's though. Gonna be happy with that one. Yeah, it's 2.5 times the amount of stacks you have extra gold. So, claps coming in mm. from the coaching staff. Swiffer not overjoyed as of yet. He's been in this position before. Now, Roy, can you as well, find yeah. a way to turn this game around? Yeah, Hawaii damage was pretty good. The Draven being as strong as he is is scary. Okay, well, the game the is really... Pretty much exactly the amount of gold that he earned in that last fight. Really hard so now for... Uh, well, well, not really hard for Rogue, but it's getting a bit difficult. Contest these dragon spawns in a minute and a half. They've got enough time to go and contest the Drake if they want. Comp and Zoe Lee's hovering around the mid lane. Niski has his... This guy says, can you help me with my algebra homework? With the way John can mow his lawn in three hours. Julie can mow it in two. How long will it take them to mow the lawn if they work together? In this lane, they'll wait for it to push in. They even go the safe way. Bro, back. I don't know how big's the lawn. In the tribush to catch them out. How big's the Plus lawn? Six has that hostile takeover. Wave is going to push, and Compton's already really should be able to farm it relatively safely, safely underneath their turret. Isma has his eyes on the bot side of the map right now. Takes the kick and dos. We're able to get that. Push if it in. takes John three, three hours and it takes Julie Finn two hours, okay. So. But I think Finn is aware. He's going to look to. That means she can mow base. half the yep, lawn in one that. hour. <laughs> so relevant space gonna be denied and John can mow half the lawn in 1.5 hours. So it's two and a half oh hours. God. No flash. He will have the bailout here, but will it be enough? Hostile takeover comes in and Markun dodges over it. Exa just a little greedy in his positioning and Zoelis punishes him for it. Now the collapse is gonna start from SK. Isma behind the wall here is Markun. On the Draven, good heartbreaker across. Isma goes in, Crescent Guard, there's the TP. In oh, the nice knock. Oh, Rogue's the turning the game. SK just Does Zoelis die here? But is Kalista ult just bugged? I don't get it. Does he just ref does it? Does Kalista ult go through that? Does it save him? Once you see the Isma collapse, SK looks very scary in that position, but they've lost a major damage dealer. So they just turn their attention to the team. If he Kalista ult that ult, does he survive? Because it forced the backline to immediately retreat, leaving Isma isolated to allow for Rogue to secure that kill. If it weren't for Niski's burst, it would have been another two kills. Can you R the R or not? Contested, but they end up getting one back. If the you can R the R, dead even, the then that was reportable. If you can't, then fine. SK want to secure that for themselves. Can the hook connect? Whoa, Ooh, these hooks from Zoelis have been really close. good. 
Well, you can't RDR? Is the okay. Is now on this Viego. Two, zero, one. Well then, Dragon it's fine. Will be given up. Kalista the can save ult, then it's fine. Once again, but especially when you have a comp that can pick out and isolate an individual member, it's so much easier for a Viego to get resets, and that's where he really thrives. After he gets his first reset, oh, yeah. steals away Chad, a how spell, am I wrong about saying it's two and a half up. hours? He, he basically just has... Julie can lo mow the lawn, the lawn in two hours, which means she can mow half the lawn in one hour. difficult for SK unless they can kill off Markun early or... Unless they and can avoid uh, being displaced and caught out by Rogue. Isma coming across towards his red buff. Markun stole the last one. He's got his own, and Isma repays the favor by smiting that away. Hits him with the Mad Lions logo. Oh, so they can finish Play at the same time. Top lane. No Bro, I don't know, man. Now. Just fucking Reptiles. mow the lawn. Who in cares? Time. No one's sitting there with a stopwatch anyway. This question's so useless. Just fucking do it. You'll notice that... Uh, Everyone if you've already mowed the lawn and it took you three hours and it took you two hours, just fucking do it faster then, idiot. That's the answer. It's just the, the answer isn't how long to take. The answer is how fucking quick can you make it happen, you idiot. Both compositions very similar in terms of how they play. A very aggressive bot side of the map. You ain't gonna copy past at the exact timing. Yeah. Fucking push that lo that moan lore. Complete degeneracy. A bit more versatility in terms of what Huey can provide, just because Ooh, of the sheer number of skills that he has. No plate. Uh, in contrast to the Karma, who just provides that valuable sheeting. Can these shielding motherfuckers? Rather, and uh, the poke that's going to keep coming out from those Mantra Qs. And the junglers, high damage threats with tanks in the top side. So both comps very what similar yapping, in terms man. of their approach. Ultimately, their execution will slightly vary, though. When I don't fucking come to the LCS and start screaming, Gen G! Yo, chill out, man. Fights. Obviously, you know, Markun, if he's given enough time, can slowly whistle away the Cassante, but with Koenig, Rukun, Finn and Larson aren't going to be doing too much damage to that top lane tank. They have been caught out here. Well, see how Why much not? Markun can do. Irrelevant gets up towards the wall. No flash. Has the all-out path maker. Tries to all oh. out wonder how it's killed <laughs> oh, by Mark wonder. Kuhn just in time. So Dash I've Finn. seen now how the Cassante will die, and the answer is well, Mark Kuhn will just kill him. Well, so the advantage is, yeah, the. Oh, calm. Oh, they were thinking of a dive oh. there. No. Oh, it's Gregor, so it's Wunder. Well <laughs> True. But the, the advantage oh, that's quick. Oh, he missed fear. Yo, Larson, cook him a bit. Oh, he missed that too. Oh, oh Larson might have to flash though. Oh my god, so sad that he has to flash. Niski, why didn't he? He could have maybe. You think Larson could have played that more aggro? And like flashed over the wall into the Hui? And tried to blast him up a bit? I mean, Niski's dead. So I guess it works out in Markoon is cracking heads this game. What happened to Markoon? Remember, chat, if Rogue win this, it's a guaranteed time wake up. Why not? You know you have the tempo advantage. Three members bot side. Ride that. You do. Melt for it. Six grubs. The more grubs you have, the more might spawn out of the Rift Herald. You could look for an extra charge or ride it in, but yeah, I think you the, just, the Herald was charged exactly. by itself. You just want to push this wave in. Larson can then reset after he secures that. And then just let the Herald... And I think SK is... is wait, is the tiebreaker between Rogue and SK? Is that what it, what it is? Well, dependent. Nice damage. Overall, great play from Rogue. And a really good punish. Niski needed to base, I think. I mean, I don't think Missy could have. Oh no, there's no second round tower. Robin, so there's no the head to head actually. going to be dropped there regardless. Um, it depends, I guess then. But just a great awareness from Rogue of how they can convert. No, there is head to head. Sorry, there's no, uh, there's no best of best of two. What the fuck's called? Lead. 2K is their advantage. Your mods pinned Tom the message. Already working on what looks to be either the crypt bloom message. or the void staff. I can't staff. see it. It just says I hype train is closed. Uh, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. I like crypt bloom. What is a hype train? Oh, view all. Oh yeah, there we go. Huge healing burst as well throughout the fight. So it depends what you want, right? Yeah, I, I totally agree. Okay, yeah, I got we'll it. See which one he decides to go for. So at least flash hook. Niski flashes it. That's a flash gone though for yep. Niski. Control Chat, is there a chance the of K Corp versus Mad Lions tiebreaker? Markoon building a lot of damage. Ultimately, Rogue are playing this map quite well. That would go hard. They're taking a lot of control where they can, cross mapping. They have their eyes on this Adder Tower in top lane. Did you watch the F1 yesterday? No, I didn't. We expect Dragon to be the next point of contention. Rogue right now don't look like they want to contest it. But SK. All right, what do we got? Top tier, to top tier one. They're hovering around to try and protect Niski in the event of a dive. He does have the TP. And it's all about the pings into the mid lane control. Look at this, Exekick saying, "We need to get mid. We need to push this wave so we can move into the bot." River 
Drake up in 10 seconds. The last thing Freeman has 170 Freeman seconds, not that much, but still enough. Markoon gonna gain access into the river. Maybe mm. they can catch a I can see here. why Markoon's bot side, because Drake is up, but it's really it's weird that Kalista's yeah, pushing top, trying to get top tier one. Jungle's it. here, support's here, now Kalista has to run down. It's strange to me that Rogue decided they don't want to fight it when it put It's so weird, no? Now Kalista's point. going back top Maybe to get top tier one, and Kalista should have been either bot or mid. Clomp. Actually stayed top, then yeah. moved into the river. And like, what is Comp doing, or what is Rogue doing? Like, Kalista either so needs to be pushing to tier stay? two, that's the call. Uh, Mid push, case, and Karma moves down, and they can test River. In favor of the dragon. And that's it. It's way, two calls. It's not Kalista pushes top, maybe gets top tier one, runs down River, decides not to, goes back up, misses local gold, and then takes their red. That's not the play. Credit to them, they've consistently put threat on this one. Oh, what? Great hook there. Yeah, out. The there was a ward there. It looked blind because we toggled the fog of war, but there was a ward there spotting Isma. And uh, Rogue able to get the hook, force the flash, as you say. Larson almost. Actually, if I was playing Rogue, Blitz this game, I would just blind hook everywhere. Before, so obviously and then at least if I hit one and everyone goes, Whoa, how did he do that? He just likes fiendish things. I look like a, a, a beast. Uh, there it is. Comp stopped on his base, the whirling death. Nice stacks as they have 217. That execution range, pretty high. Mm -hmm. But two okay. items on Markoon as well, Titanic Hydra and the Kraken Slayer. It's going to be one of the key damage threats. Yeah, Being like a fraud. The no, Seraphs, no. has the Rod of Ages at five stacks. Baron up in a minute and a half, and Rogue investing most of their time in getting top side presence. I, mean, I want someone so to do the Ronaldo. You would expect at this point Is it the Ronaldo where he like kicks the ball and then looks so away as he does, does it? Who really does that? Moving bot, saying like, hey, we want this last out of tower, and SK is like, oh, we want the top out of tower. I'm a little confused as to why Rogue right now are trying to like contest That's the Ronaldino. Yeah, well then hook and then look away at the same for. time. Baron is spawning in a minute's time. Look back at your so screen, you're dead. <laughs> for that, but I'd be very surprised <laughs> if they just wanted to try and rush this. They have mid control. Now we look at the mini map and you can see, okay, now they're moving more towards the bot side of the map. Comp and Zoelis getting that push. Irrelevant has to recognize that he's on the weak side, and this is very much what I expected. Uh, Larson moving to top because he knows he's safe, he's on karma. Now Kalista's uh, bot. Okay, we got bot tier one. Fight. Nice. Wait, who are we cheering for, Chad? He's moving down to the river. He's now going to move his pressure. Who are we cheering for? So that he can catch that wave, keep things pushing. Finn just going to give away his farm, kind of as you expect, to make sure that Comp can get it. Should take over to Yeah, level hell yeah, 11. let's go rogue. There it is. And SK, in an ideal world, now they want to be pressuring that top tower, but they're very behind in tempo right now because bases have already Draven come still no so IE. Making his way back out onto the map wow, Draven's rich. How is, is these items harder, like Especially this? Kalista must be a lot of gold, right? Recurpo, Berserker's Blade versus Essence Reaver, BF Swords with Serrated Dirk, Pickaxe. So ultimately, advantage gain for Rogue. Surely she has a big up. item in base, right? Oh, but Jesus Christ. This isn't the objective you want. You're now thinking about Dragon once again because it's Soul Point. So SK, I don't expect them to invest too much vision here. They're mainly clearing out their jungle. They want to make sure that they sweep through their bot side jungle for any potential flank wards. Gragas as a flanker can be terrifying. So you want to make sure that you've cleared everything out. We see on the minimap. Let me just highlight it for you one second. Wait, you can use the arrow, man. Right, hang on, hang arrow. on, hang on. No, I've got to bring right. this up. And then, so you can see these wards right here. Um, <laughs> The worst these way of demonstrating wards. <laughs> these I hate this arrow. Wards <laughs> <laughs> coming in from Rogue. <laughs> That's what you've got to be cautious of if you're SK. Isma not actually going to sweep those out. Oh, they're going to start oh. Baron off. Okay, yeah, I respect this the from Rogue. King, Titanic Hydra and the Kraken Slayer. Thing coming across as well. The control ward goes down. Irrelevant now is going to try and check it, but he doesn't have a ward. He's hooked in, and this is all they really wanted wow. out of it. Pull the Cassante in. One pop. One Keep in. going, Baron. Come on, Rogue. Keep not it up. Not going to connect as Markoon still on the Baron. Finn on the front line. Still has the explosive cast. Markoon. Pops a heartbreaker there to get out of the Cassante and now with 3,000 Put them away. What about the Zinzao? What about the Zinzao? Nice. Wow. Just go top, go top, go top, go top. Are they blind? Are they, bl are they blind? 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 Why did no one go top? Now they're pinging top. Yo, why did they just, just, just exit top and get top tier 2 and someone catches mid like Finn? Oh my god, now they're way too late. Yo, they should be thinking about this shit. Look how good top wave is. Yo, they need for the thousand biddies to it's long. He loses his life. SK quick to try and respond, but... Finn on the front line trying to disengage and irrelevant caught completely unaware. It's Rogue looking to keep their playoffs hope alive. 
SK could lock the it's okay though. They could have taken a top tier too, and then base. Not lock them out, but it definitely makes that race that much scarier. Importantly, a win doesn't lock road into playoffs. It does. Damn, the road fans are going breaker. crazy today. However, All the road fans are out in force. So. Guaranteed, if other results go their way with a win, if they lose, they are out. All and right, no Drake up in the, twenty. Uh, at least three win threshold that we are going to have for those tie Rogue is looking good right now. Love yep. that Baron call. Great decision from Markoon. I guess they decided at two items we can kill this super fast. Mm -hmm. and I mean, they it's just Kraken's like Ginsu's Blade of the Ruin yeah. thing, right? Like, I do love this Viego build. I think it has so much potential damage. So next we have Fnatic versus Mad Lions. Koi, Mad Lions, Koi, who are struggling in the bottom of the stand. And Fnatic still fighting for that top spot with Heretics losing earlier today. I'm sure they'll be looking very hungrily at that 7 and 2 scoreline. Markoon, star Markoon starting up. The dragon will be able to get it. Irrelevant still just stepping forward here. Comp They're full sending it. They're irrelevant continues to chase forward. Pathmaker irrelevant, you good? Oh no fuck! Irrelevant says I'll kill him myself. Uh, Fate's call will bring or Zoelis maybe you'll just die. Just sprinted at them. And uh, here comes Gragas. Yeah, I've seen more effective sprints on a school sports day. The continuation of Rogue. Like, SK were just all at odds and ends. They were all over the place after Irrelevant tried to chase down Comp and Rogue very happily accepted the the free gift of the kills there. I mean, poor coordination from SK to force that fight. They, it looked desperate. Irrelevant just sprinting at the AD carry. Already. And uh, Rogue just, they shut him down and they collapse on the fight. They're going to unlock this base. Yeah, this game's completely GG. What do you mean, my region? What's wrong with my region? These teams are the same skill levels. That's not that bad. That's not do bad. That's not that bad. you need to invest that much, SK? Because now you're going to lose double inhibitors off it. Maybe you could have. Yeah, Rogue's comp was way better, I think, and way easier as well. So, Rogue just entirely break open the base. There's way easier. Four minutes on the Baron for them. They have super minions pushing in bot and, and mid, and they they done a very good job of capitalizing on their enemies' mistakes. Just and play mid top well and close it out. But this this is really a mistake from SK in my mind. I mean, you see the idea. I guess credit to Larson. Look at Larson yeah. on the back line. Kind of the unsung hero in this fight. They're trying to run. Is Larson just dropping Larson mantra cues on their heads? Not. I will deny you access. G2 unbroke rogue. Yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah, the oh, that's how that works. Call that a fight. It was more just systematic destruction on the side of rogue, tearing them apart. You can see. <laughs> this chat is so funny sometimes. Freddy enthralled. Actually, a lot of times. You guys are quite funny. Good job, chat. Baby versus hydrogen bomb memes. No. You haven't seen them. That, that that's a good example of a coffee baby versus a hydrogen bomb. There, the explosive cast. Quite a lot of work for. Uh, Poor Rogue. They are now 10,000 gold ahead or nine. They can push in this top lane. Baron buff has fallen off them. They have two and a half minutes before the Chat, Baron if you think about it, we've got a pretty good on their way in like and mid lane. Yeah, they're looking to try and get the no, push never mind, in this way me. right here from this angle. Uh, <laughs> try and get some pressure up from over here. Yeah, and then what they really want to do, Betty, is uh, they take this tower and they just, uh, oh, wait, you've moved the thing. Take the tower and just goes, boom. Yeah, you know, wait, wait, there's another one we can add fun. on to that. Well, here and we are. Wait, do we have more? Yeah, here we are. This, wait. <laughs> <laughs> tower dies. Okay. They're playing 4-1. Obviously, and they're Viego speed pushing. In mid lane to try and force SK away they're from trying to hook in though, that's a bit whiskey. Nice Holy moly, that karma damage. Larson. Karma can base for Rebanons and TP in at any time. Why are they Kalista ulting? It's more what? just to force SK back. Marcoon takes the tower. Super minions in the bot lane. Now Maybe misclick. Dealt with. Super minions in the mid lane. About to Let's have to wait for top push. Markoon they need to wait for the next top wave. Can just use it as a wave. They should be getting the top wave in their base here. Take their base, take their wave. still looking for damage on DOS. Execute and Irrelevant dealing with the supers in mid. Markoon now clearing out the wave. Rogue will likely join him as this next wave crashes oh, they miss Mantra towards Q. that tower. No face call for them. A little while makes it a tiny bit trickier, but when you're 9,000 gold ahead, things aren't really too difficult. Ooh, big hook. The hook they got the Zinul. Oh my god! This motherfucker Finn is bowling! The displacement from Rose Comp is absolutely devastating. Markoon was hit with the hostile takeover, but this takeover not working as intended. They don't need to base here. They can just keep the pressure up. Look at all these super minions and the poke. They're still very healthy on the side of Rogue. TP to the minions here to try and make them invulnerable so that they can tank those super minions a little bit longer from Irrelevant. It does oh, Zoelis, his Blitzcrank's been pretty good. The God from Zoelis this game, he has not missed. Him and Maradona have Wait, a thing common. It's Golden Hand. Did Zoelis Zoelis become a uh, knight? Descent, SK packing. They do still have a chance at playoffs, but it's likely they Swiffer will have to is play molding through. Oh, we missed that one. Rogue 
Keeping their destiny oh, their fiend. Wow, oh, SK just got bullied. All right, that means that there's a guaranteed tiebreaker today. At least one. Guaranteed tiebreaker today. 27-minute victory. Markun having a great performance. No, Finn. No, you did not just do that. Sorry. Can we get a victory? Markun having a great. It's a loss from me. Wrap it up. Performance in the top. Wrap it up. They bring themselves That's a loss for me. And they make that bottom of the table. I don't care that you won the game. That's a loss. Fanatic. And MBK Wrap it up. going to be coming up next. Yep. And that game is going to be crucial for both the top and the bottom of the standings. MBK with the win obviously will make them way into playoffs. Fnatic looking to lock up that top spot for themselves. But for this game, you can vote for your key player of the game at LEC on X. Markoon, Comp, and Zoelise. Zoelise has struggled, I think, this year. But this game really showed his pedigree. We're going to go to a short break. We'll be back with Markoon and Fnatic right. on the desk. A break, and then Fnatic versus Mad. If Fnatic wins, they get first place in the league locked in. If Fnatic loses, well, they ain't gonna lose. I think Lance didn't play as well so far. At the same time, I think they are playing better than we were playing last bit. So I would say that we should be the favorites. Chat, I'm gonna go put my Fnatic jersey on. Chat, I'm gonna go put my frenetic jersey on, one sec. We've been missing a bit of confidence because we lost a lot of games in a really bad style. So I think this win can help us to get some confidence back. I don't care about that Oriel, I don't care! Because Super's unleashed, it's fire again! Mad finally get a bit of a charge in this split and won't be defeated today. It's like do or die. If we use play as we know, we will win. And if we don't win, it's something ice again that we can learn at least. In playoffs, we are still able to win it all. So I'm really confident that we can turn it around. Mazak wants to try and disengage, but he already used the offensive flex back. Oh. It's still humanoid, baby! He played better than me in our series. So I would like to show him who's the better player. Using Katarina's cook. Kindred cautiously cooked Kit Kat cup cup. Kindred cautiously cooked Kit Kat cup cake. Even the biggest champ needs a break. Care freely using uh, Kindred cautiously cooked Kit Kat cup cake. Oh, it doesn't even matter. I'll, I'm ready. Red Bull gives you wings. Welcome everyone to the Kia Tilt Proof Challenge. We're here to see if four gamers can stand up to the test. Well, they oh! Dios mío de mi vida. Watch LCK lane mates. Yeah, I'm, I'm only going to watch LCK lane mates in the morning for the LCK frogs. Are you high? No. Your region is so sad. You only need three wins for playoffs and Cajal still missed it. Uh, now, you see, the thing is, back in my days, you needed eight wins for playoffs. Okay? And even then, you would still miss it. I had eight wins, and I missed it. I set the record for most wins not to make playoffs in spring. And then I broke it in summer with one more win not to make playoffs. Seven and then eight. Okay, so don't say I'm not a record holder. Because that record is going to last forever now that they change the league system. I'm the OG record setter. Yo, Fresk, listen, buddy. We got we to gotta chop off the sides a bit here. Listen. Listen. You're doing great, but we need to chop the sides off. 
or we need to mess this up a bit get it a bit messy stick it up a bit or like i don't know put it to the side you know maybe maybe middle parting or some shit. what do you mean says me Nah, I can't really get that haircut. I think my hair is too long. Match of the week is Fnatic versus Mad, presented by Uber Eats, is it? Oh, hell yeah. Wait, match of the week. Hell yeah. Is Razorg like smoking the Zaza or what is that? Or is that Chef's Kiss? Damn, that's the best AD in the world right there. Hell yeah! And then there's Supa next to him. Stay mad. Jun, my goat. Check the Reddit. Oh, what's on the Reddit? Cut. Add this emote, please. I'm begging. Nissi getting the push here in the mid lane has gone back and got him praying. Okay, okay, yeah, sure, you can have it. So at least looking for the hook and lands it on DOS. DOS has a flash, but I don't really think he. You have an air up sponsorship? I don't actually. But to be honest, I really like the air up product. And if they would sponsor me, I'd fucking 100% take it. Actual good product. Welcome back to LEC, where Rogue's victory against SK have locked them. At what is this? Me and the boys when Pedro returns from England. I'm Jeannie, joined by Marcoon Risotto and, and the Moths. Break this one down. Just Can so you shut the fuck up? Things, first of all, congratulations. Uh, much. Another win under your belt. That's quite a few back to back. Yeah, it took some time for us, but we got there eventually. <laughs> I mean, I'm sweating right now because we got that <laughs> bed going on with some surf storming, and not just the surf storming itself, but the juice of the it. The juice of the surf storming. Do you want to explain that for anyone well, who missed yeah, it last time? I think it's time? pickled herring or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's like Swedish pickled herring. You put it in the in the ground for a few years and then you pick it up later. It's okay, yeah. Delicious. What's a herring, chat? Is that a dog exactly? or a deer? I don't know. I don't know. But I at least one of the reasons why I might be losing this bet is Macoon, because honestly, mate, you've been playing phenomenal in your volleyball game. And this it's one a fish. As well. Why did it take so long okay. to click for you on this rogue roster? Because it seems like Wait, what do you mean you put the fish in the ground? As well, coming into the year. Yeah, what is he gonna make yeah, a plant? I thought about this a lot as well, because these these past few games I feel a lot more in my groove and I've made some changes to my routine as well, like uh, before it's coming spring, which has also helped me, but I feel like it's finally starting to click. It has to rot. Like Wait, so you put you catch the, game, the fish, you put it in the ground, you let it rot and then you eat it. Like it just allows you to do everything way easier, right? And I think it's showing at this point. When we're looking at you guys, oh, why, as a why, why don't he's welcome that I'm here. why don't oh, you just eat it when it, you caught it? Day. Why do you have to let it <laughs> rot? That was gonna be my question. Do you think it has anything to do with? Who came up with that idea? What motherfucker sat there and was like, I'm gonna let it rot? I guess maybe they accidentally let it rot and they were like, actually, you know what? This mold tastes kind of good. It, this mold tastes kind of good. I do on the broadcast as well. You know, you gotta be the bully victim so they get confidence. All right, well, with that as well, you guys have that win. And as I said, at least a tiebreaker under your belt. But the standings in general coming it's into It's not spring, mold, it's rot. Oh, my bad, sorry. As a team after winter? Oh, my bad, sorry. I'm mistaken the sick with the puke. My bad. We really had a Shut up. set of games on stage, and it really took some time for us to kind of figure out what our issues were even, because I feel like we were just going on stage, and we were just kind of ignorant to our surroundings we didn't really realize what kind of mistakes we we're making and it took a lot of time for us to figure out what kind of direction we needed i think we found a part of that at least to yeah. some degree you got three wins right yeah so yeah i guess a third of the way there <laughs> 
congratulations. But KC is currently at the bottom, but also with this win particularly that you've had against SK, that also means that SK is going to have to play a tiebreaker. So there's quite a lot of different moving elements that we need to keep track of here. Oh, absolutely. But uh, you at least guaranteed a tiebreaker. There will be a tiebreaker. There's still uh, so many scenarios in terms of where we're going to be going. We will be updating people. Why is Fnatic second? Because, yeah, well, absolutely. they're going to finish first, so don't worry about it. into the match of the week. Because what exactly is on the line? We have Fnatic that is going to be locking themselves into that first spot if they do win. So let's head over to our casters, Dagdan Dracos, to break this one down. We weren't just doing, doing anything weird. Doing no. anything weird. We were doing normal Fine. stuff yeah. up here. Don't worry about it. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we're getting into game, Fnatic versus Mad Lions. Quite before we get in, I have to say, while there is a lot of I intensity in the fan bases, before it came to us, but w during break, what? the Fnatic and Mad Lions Koi fans are so yeah. wholesome. It was you amazing. You guys are like yeah. shouting at each other. I know now you have to like <laughs> yell at each other and like stuff. I just got to say it was super, super wholesome. Love to see it. Fantastic stuff there. Love between the what respective was fan bases. And while there is a lot of love, and it is our match of the week delivered by Uber Eats, uh, you know, I think the Mad Lions Koi fans, they might need a little <laughs> bit more than love on this particular one if they want to lock it in. All right, let's get into draft. That spot is Giant Dex locked? We'll yeah, Giant Rome Dex is locked. Up and down for both of these teams this week. Oh, yeah, Mirren's gone for the head shave. Nico Smoldervaris, uh, Oriana Kalistavai. Ooh, Talia first pick. Now, Senna, Zeri are AD trades. Rel's a really good 1 2 on red side. Fnatic could play Lucian Nami, but I would I, I would only really do that. I don't really like Lucian Nami. There's Zeri. I guess they're going to go Zeri Rel. Nautilus is really good. Kaisa Nautilus has been really good for Fnatic as well. They could go Kaisa Nautilus. You know, I had an interview with Supa. Uh, Who is drafting? About how he still feels like the team is playing really well and behind the scenes drafting? improving really rapidly despite maybe not being Because Fnatic was playing a lot of Kai'Sa and Nolt and, and then they got banned against them. Times. But as we jump into the draft, you see pretty standard priority bans. Talia going to be the first pick here. On the opposite side, the Zeri plus the Rel as no one takes himself a brief Noah's asleep. to breathe. To He's himself. doing the faker reboot. For what is going to be a Kai'Sa game, and we'll see what build he wants to go for. Skein Pirata Somali. <laughs> that <laughs> sign says that Skein's a Fnatic Somali pirate. Very successfully what? Face what? And it may happen once again. What is that meme? Yeah, curious to see. I mean, it does feel like you probably go for <laughs> What the fuck does board. that mean? To see already from him, but uh, yeah, I was about to say for jungle, I want to see something a bit more. Ooh, Volibear so flex. Mm. Volibear fits that perfectly. So looking to see Fnatic once again play through that. I mean, they have to match mid here, Matt. Maybe Karma. And, <clears throat> sorry for Jun. He wants to try and round himself out in that pairing with Noah and try and play up into what is going to be that strong pairing in the mid duo. Big debate. I do always get nervous for the opposing team when Razor gets Ari. The, the bull bear. This is a man. Yeah, okay. Large and in charge in the early game. I feel like they, I think uh, that it's safe to say. Ari now coming in. They have a weak well. mid jungle. Okay, so Ari to Leah, a, a matchup that I'm a bit divided Unless on. they're putting that the support. To limit Ari's and they play. In the G2 Fnatic game, when they were the ones to pull out the Poppy, etc. Some kind of like, I don't know, Lee Sin. shut this pick down with only the Talia. We've seen Ari's, you know, you build Merc Treads. You can dash into the minefield and get away. The Twitch Prime to Kadril. Really Hell yeah, look at that sign. Now the side, the oh yeah, the zoom in on it. Curious what Mirwan's going to go to. Yep. He's actually going to something really advantageous with this red side last pick. If they My guy, thanks for the Twitch Prime to Kadril sign. Hell much, yeah. Much better when he has one of these niche counter Oh picks. damn, they yeah, properly zoomed so in on that shit, didn't they? Yeah, I agree. He uh, definitely feels significantly more confident in that regard. But I also think, like, I want to see something here for Ayoya. I think the rel is... Paid well, promo. To see go down to the oh, Zinza Ben. And then you try and take something that's a little I'm bit more... I'm surprised they didn't... Actually, Jax, was it El Yoya playing Jax all the time, chat? Here, I, think a lot of what we've seen I guess it doesn't matter. Is a huge of that I thought they would jungle, maybe so play Jax jungle, but I think in their comp it's pretty bad. Try and make that a little bit better for yourself. Is Mad already locked? Yeah, Mad's locked in playoffs now because Rogue won. Renata, Nautilus Ben. They need a melee value. support, and Leona and Nautilus are down. And Alistar is so trash against Renata. From a utility spell like Hostile Takeover, but with the range support already locked in, with Kaisa being honestly incredibly oh, no, low no, range yeah. early on, uh, you're pretty much set. Wait, Mad isn't locked, really? The bottom side. That is oh, Leona, shit. however. <laughs> and while she rarely shows her face, someone told me play, Mad was locked on the wind. My bad. Counters her, and that item is Merc Treads. Um, she's. Does a ton of damage early on. 
There they are locked. Ah, oh, this chat's driving me crazy, man. All right, they're probably going to last big win here into Volibear, Leona, Cassante. All right, chat. Ads are going to run. If you want to avoid ads, you can use a tier one on Twitch Prime. You don't have to watch. Actually, no, you don't need ads, chat. You don't need ads. You're fine. You've watched enough ads. No ads needed. Fox champ, no ads. All right, listen up, motherfuckers. Matt is locked into top eight. Matt is in because they win the head-to-head. -head against SK and Rogue. Oh, he picked Udyr. What the fuck? Wait, I think Matt just lost. Where's their damage? Where's their damage? What the fuck? They needed Gwen, I think. Where the damage at, bro? What the hell? Need to see how well Mirwan can perform on the Udyr here. I don't think this top lane matchup is going to be super crucial early on. Instead, Rob, we've already talked about it. Is the Fnatic movie posters just keep coming in? Respect. Um, bot lane going to be hype. Yeah, I think the big thing here for Madeline's Koi is that the Udyr guarantees them another pushing lane, right? So in the early stages, you got guaranteed push bot, pretty much guaranteed push on top. And it means that it's a little bit more difficult for Razork to really try and invade and you get You missed the poster? What poster? The, early plays. So I think specifically it'll the be Twitch a, Prime Takedo poster? Yeah, I saw it. Is, so he's not trying to like pull off any funky maneuvers. But with, you know, the fourth wave crash into reset for Mirren, I think he'll be able to get a nice advantage here against the Xante. You play for Demolish Prox and, and then it's all focused on bot lane. Like how well can Oyoya do to try and disrupt the attention? That Fnatic want to try and put down here. Oh, yeah, the cameraman oh, loves that sign. Like yeah, Twitch Prime Kato. Zoom in more. Yo, lift it up, lift it up. <laughs> uh, Yo! I paid you for that shit, man. Come on. Take a look at the overall picks in a brief moment here. But I think that ultimately, both sides, decent tools to play around the bottom lane. Certainly I'm more kidding. I didn't. Tools for Fnatic. I do get concerned if they or did I? Behind. Nah, I'm kidding. I would never. Or would are. I? Nah, I'm Time kidding. I couldn't. Or could I? Into the game. All right, uh, what do we got? The Fnatic versus Mad Lions Koi. Yo, 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 hold that shit up. Hold that shit up, man. Fans. Yo, Pete, grab that shit. Ready? I see you. It's a bait. And the thing that you guys have to understand is that we just needed to test you to make sure that everybody was ready. That's right. We needed to make sure you knew who you were. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Fanatic fans, dementia patients, handshake. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, the, the issue with... That guy's got a giant X poster in a Mads Lions t-shirt. Yo, for fucking it caught it, caught. Yo, what the hell? Imposter is found. Vote him off. Vote him off. Opportunity to actually take first place here if they end up winning this. Um, I think they've had a phenomenal split. It's been really, really working well, and a huge amount of it has been like falling back towards the veterans, right? But Razork looking kind of clean though. This roster as well. He's been stepping up massively. Razork looking kind of clean. It's been really, really cool. Like playing for those side lane picks, catching people off guard, being willing to rotate around the map. It really feels. Who's comps better? I like Fnatic's comp better, but I worry that Fnatic is too heavy AP and Udyr becomes unkillable. If that's the case, then it's a bit fucked, innit? But if it's not the case, then it's gonna be all right, innit? No, 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 no. Chad, I got some chocolate. Chocolate. See that there? Chocolate. Winter in the best way possible, spring. Yeah. Dangerously close to the worst way. But have to no, see fuck now. it, doesn't. Noah's age, age is coming. coming. I respect Wait. that you did not put his face that sounds kind of weird. Squirrel. That would have been... What? That would have been rude. I like it. Yeah, oh, what the poster with the poster meta? It evolves. And the thing is that we're going to have to keep track of the poster meta. I'm going to be honest. Bot lane meta? Interesting. <coughs> poster meta? Most compelling thing <laughs> I have seen thus far. So here we are, onto the rift. Level ones, pretty calm, pretty controlled. Fan bases unleashed, excited. It's a good uh, contrast. I'm still curious to see exactly how MDK want to try and approach this. Because I, as I say, I think you got an easy one of, hey, we want to try and make sure we can get pushed top, get pushed AD apart, Kaisa? Like, put more attention Yeah, of course, AD Kaisa. And just make sure we're able to scale relatively well into a mid game. Um, 
but it's when we get to the mid game that's where I've seen the mistakes too often from Madeline's Koi, and especially when you into com composition like this. Phoenix damage there the uh, scares me a little so bit. It's so easy for them to roam around, pick you off if you overextend the side lane. You can get yourself caught out. So uh, it's gonna have to be a clean performance here from Madeline K or MDK if they hope to take this one down. Definitely true. And while it's easy to focus on the MDK, who wins lane? Udyr Kasante. Udyr wins lane, gets pushed and gets plates. But he can't really hard punish the Udyr, the the the, the, the Kasante. And it's not like this week has been fantastic. Matt probably wins bot because the they have the best AD in the room. No, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, Matt wins wrong, bot SK early. Harder, but Fnatic also so, Matt will have two now push Fnatic sides. For a bit of an Fnatic should have mid push. Not gonna quite find the Clear is quite the similar. Volibear wins on Yuan though. Let's just keep my eyes on the Volibear here. He will get pinged out there. So didn't start blue buff. Wasn't sure if he knew that the ward had gone down, but just gets caught on the edge of it. So at least the moment. Badlands Koi have full information on where the Volley Bear is starting. And it will be both junglers starting to make their way down towards this bottom side. Because, I as I said, I think for Super Navro, you want to try and continue to put the pressure on towards Jun and Noah. That's kind of the downside of Leone, is you are all or nothing. So if you can't find those windows to go in, well, Super Navro will just get to chip away at your turrets and make the most of them. Yeah. And again, mentioned earlier, uh, you know, obviously an oversimplification, but Leone doesn't have any knockups. And as a result, Merc Treads are incredibly. Wow, they're effective. almost so getting a plate early on bot. Uh, much shorter and pro overall. People aren't going to hesitate to rush that. Humanoid's you know, got mid push, like I said, but I don't know if he can juggle mid push to sides early. As well as the long range non Not much they can do early. Like solar flare. But also, as you highlighted, Rob, she goes in really well. She goes out. Not so well. <laughs> really not so well, right? And Level 3 gank from Yo Yo. Uh, he has face rush and it procs. Oh my god, he got charmed on the back end of it. Don't flash, Humanoid, don't flash. Just push. Yeah. Oh my god, that was unlucky. Nah. It's okay, just TV back. That was unlucky, that was unlucky. It happens. Unlucky. Get some the early dark seal for himself. Get to get a little bit more control over this wave. But smart from Humanoid not to There's the Udyr proxying. For Skyway, I know Yoya would have been able to follow too easy, so oh. just accepts it. Ooh. Ooh, oh. Can't catch the best AD in the league like that. Gets a dash over the wall as the tether is still there. Does not bring Jun along with him. Razork here. All right, we got the ward. Moving through the brushes. Very powerful. And the thing about the Volibear, we've just seen, it just takes over. Clear speed so good, early trading so good. Bot but crab in our favor because bot needs the base. The not bad, actually, that Razork gets a crab. Find the first assist at the very least as Razork... I'm fucking the warm to the cozy fire. On to at least a one yeah, there you go. For now. Nice shot by Humanoid. Humanoid should still have mid push. It's not the end of the world. should be able to move up here. I'm gonna try and contest. I'm surprised Oscar is doing pretty well. Obviously, the problem that Oscar has right now is um, Udyr crashed away based on a proxy and ran back. So that means Top is slow pushing into Udyr and he has base advantage. So if Rel hovered, then it'll be annoying for Oscar to crash the wave. But looks like they're not doing anything Top really mad. So he's fine. He can take some of the extra time he didn't use on the Skull of Crabs to maybe clear out his Krogs and then make his way to boss side. Good opportunity there. As we see once again, a little parkour comes out from Super and he's able to just walk out to safety. Early threat hasn't been there yet for Fnatic in the bottom lane. All right, early advantages Wee. still going to the side of MDK. He can really get the better of a lot of these trades, however. This guy connecting the charm a bit too late, but will at least proc the Electric Q. So now, what is the next play? What is the next opportunity? Was uh, Mirwan doing what he can to slow push this way forward? Will most likely get the TP out from Oscar. Why is Zeri back in the meta? I can't imagine that he will use that for anyone other than himself, though. And Oscar still wants um, to stay. I don't actually remember what happens, but uh, I think the well, items are good for her. Stick it out a little bit longer in I think this she one, did get buffed, or especially other ADs around her got nerfed, Razor but she got buffed. Support for Scali could charm this time around, and Humanoid really can't trade back there. Nice little okay from the Ramus. Ayo is coming in from the bottom side here, though. <coughs> will be spotted, so Humanoid has to back away. But means Void Group's going to be able to go across the Razork. If I'm Noah and Jun, though, that's where I'm really starting to get worried. All right, so first three grubs for Raptors. Not bad. Razork's XP right now is really good. He's up half a level. A tricky thing. Kai's has forced a base on his cannon wave because the Volibear's top. They're scared of a cross map. Have, depending on where they can get pressure. Volibear's position Volibear on the map was announced. Leverage it too much for themselves. Wow, right now, top is actually point. chilling pretty yeah, hard. So I've seen this matchup go a drink. lot worse for Kasante. Well. But it doesn't look to too bad at all. Map, but he's not going to be here in time to get the Drake. That said, Supa 
also getting the play. Man, Talon and Squire just getting so many little advantages. Yeah, and that's kind of what I was talking about is like, I think Ryzar kind of needs to play either through mid a little bit more or have, or actually just like all in on the bot side. Maybe now that you've hit the level six, you can get Humanoid to join in, make things a little bit easier. But as long as you continue to have Oyoya pressure in this bottom side of the map, it's impossible for Jun to actually go Early game is okay. Lost Drake, bot isn't that far behind, is top is even. Mid made a mistake, but it's lane. okay. So really, this is where I want to see... Game is fine. ...the ante a little bit, like, get your shove mid and immediately start to transition bot lane. You can already see, like, Jun and game Razor is all right. up together now, get the vision control that they need in River to enable Humanoid to lean into this bottom side. Definitely good heads of play. Oscar as well doing... Really solidly in the 1v1, at least to try and get pressure on some of these trades. Here comes a bot collapse. Udyr, they have flash on the everyone. To back no ward in Tribush, though. And get that reset. So a lot of gold just sitting in Mirwan's pocket. Once oh, he is finally able to recall, that guy should be dead. Run. Oh, he queued it. No way. Doesn't go for a he queued and flashed away poorly. at the same time. Wow, that was insane by Alvaro. And that's the play kind of fizzling. Bot prior was there, and yeah, this is the moment Jesus, where Jesus, that guy should have died there. Gone, you'd get the Drake, but it is so. MDK earlier plays paying dividends. Yeah, it will be a one-two punch though, because it's not going to be just the one time Humanoid comes down here. You used essentially not anything on Fnatic to get that job done, but you burned the flash in Alvaro. Now, when you use the wall, the next time Alvaro just gets stuck on one side of it and he's going to fall. So this is going to be a case. Of, you know, in a minute it's cage all versus buy. Make your way back down here and do the exact same play once more. So I want to see what Alyoya has to respond with because I yeah, think he's going to take him the fuck out. To try and punish humanoid to punish bot side because if you can't get that play with humanoid involved, just need to win this in its first place. Difficult, more difficult to actually set up that play for Fnatic. Top is in a really good state. Mid's going to get a good base off now. Maybe Merc treads first base here would be really good for Marek just to play a bit more up in the lane. For the side of Fnatic, in this case, you highlighted Jungle's pathing bot, flash. level 6. They should have big mid to bot pressure now, and bots should be able to start pushing back. And I Although think the game is the okay then, but the problem is, I think Razork wants to play for Grubbies. Yeah, I think it's kind of just a response to what we've seen in the map, because oftentimes you just, you won't see you here go for the tier, okay, but another plate. in this specific case, where you're just constantly pressing or and looking for demolish procs like this, I actually like the adaptation where even though it's a little bit late, it's just Yo, about mods, having as much you, management can we cleanse the chat a bit knowing some people are being are weird. a lot of resources into that bottom side, so Mirren kind of just gets to farm turret plates for free. And good to be able to Mirren got some plates, but it doesn't matter, 200 gold, it doesn't matter. Uh, for us in the LEC, so does Razor awesome clear back up and they push and move up, or do they just play for bot the champs and like look for early dive or some shit? I think they're gonna backtrack because he's only at level seven. And then look for grubbies. As long as bot is safe, I don't mind this play. Push back from Oscar, pull back as well, instant all out. Ghost proc down both sides. What's happening here? And nothing's gonna happen here. Waiting for the Q3. Mirwan trying to size up. Guys, we have no AD. Guys, our AD just based. Can we run? Pull back good under Razor. Ulti now coming in. That's a magnetic storm. Should look for a bit more damage. They have bailouts, guys. Oh my god. For a moment longer, Frescawi. Finding the initial kill. Resets now coming in. Okay, thank god he died. There, Razor able to get the return kill, but the charm back is now coming in. But do they have the damage? Red buff ticking. Nice sides there for Frescawi. Doesn't have the oh my oh, gosh! Oh, 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 oh. Why didn't Ari flash auto attack there? He would kill him. Flash auto, but he doesn't want to risk it. He doesn't want to risk dying under tower. Instead, happy to just have the pressure and very likely Too risky. the tower plate. Very good call from Madeline's Koi. They'll attack Fnatic before they make it down to the bottom side of the map. They find the three v three with the roam. Perfect timing from Alvaro. Why are they and doing that? Kai's has in base. They still come out on top now. Fnatic. I want to try and turn around. Oh. Flash in. Nice, that's a kill. That's a kill, that's a big kill for Humanoid. Dragon's up in one minute. Alvaro just having no flash comes back to bite him, but unfortunately wasn't able to escape. Now Fnatic, they do spot out Mirwin. Volleyball is on top side. Maybe they just go for Grubbies, fuck Drake. Alright, surely it's not Mountain Drake, right? If if Mad run out bot. But Supa is here. They swap top. Why did they swap top? They don't have a wave. This mad swap is trash. And Oscar has TP advantage. What are they doing? So they're swapping for grubs. Why? I mean, Fnatic should just drop and play for bot plates. They have no TP on Udyr. Kaisa can milk bot tower. Yo, milk that shit. Can we come all the way down here? Just, just let them swap. It does nothing. 
um, and with that early rotation as well, they're able to get numbers advantage here for the Void Grub. So it will be then a split. They secure, the they secure three, Grubbies, but, but it gives Fnatic Drake set up and a plate to Kaisa. That's fine. Especially for Noah, who's going to be happy to pick up some of the gold off this turret plate in the bot side yeah, as well. That's interesting. You effectively traded one plate thus far for the Grubs. Denied six grub buff, which I oh. certainly do like. But if they're in time to contest the Drake, that's going to be the big thing because they conceded all bot side control. Maybe we can get it down in time. Top, so you don't have the nah. here. So Why did Oscar TP top? top? Get this and get out. Get this and get out. Get this and get out. Out. Ult over the wall. Run. Everyone, run, 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 run. Ult out. Everyone, ult. Just run, 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 run. If you get out, it's good. If you get out, it's good. All you have to do is get out. Just please, just survive, man. Like, what are we doing? TPing top, man. What are we doing? Taking two out in the process. The fall up died. One more dash available for Fresco. And they're both the dead. About to collapse. Noah and Jun doing everything oh, nice to dodge. defend the tower. Fresco goes a little bit too soon though. He doesn't need to make that play. Noah now trying to back away. Ultra shock laser goes in. Noah getting chipped down. Crashed down. Not quite there. Cleanse all the out to safety. Yeah, but dead. MDK That's crazy. still playing damn clean. Oscar it's crazy that we TP top end. Really? It is not going to go in his favor. MDK with a massive play. Beautiful punish from Madlines Koi. The second they see Oscar in and having TP back to the top side, they're like, we can Come on, man. We, we just got to beat this, this team and we're first. That engage was picture perfect to set up for your team. Definitely was. Oscar we had such good map set up. Here, but it is not going to make the difference in the overall gold lead. I mean, maybe it's fine if Oscar Still TP's top, if if Humanoid and Noah just run earlier and, exactly and let Razork finish it with Smite. Back, maybe, but... Up into playoffs. And against a team like Fnatic, this is exactly the lead that you want to come into your mid game with. No oh, oh, shit! That hurt a little bit. Oh, hell no. Nah. Yo, down, what? Realize the Ari is 4 0 3 and go, and, ah, and I see. And this thing. Yeah, there's and that, what the, is that thing. The nine yeah. I'm going to be honest, it's... It, it, there's a lot of things you could hover there. We could just circle that whole, <laughs> that <laughs> whole thing. Yeah, just this is a problem. Just this. Uh, this yeah, thing. is just, that? Yeah, 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 there yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Found it. <laughs> uh, sorry, go. Good, good, good in that. Problem. <laughs> Don't try. It won't let you. It wants you to draw circles exclusively, Jun. Jun's dead on the tower. Why are we clearing waves on the tower? Here, We're losing top tier one. Tower. We're losing mid tier one. Mama, ma, 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 Mia. Is also getting the top tower. How did this go so wrong? Mad's compass, no damage. But if Ari and Zeri have four million gold, then I guess the they'll do damage. Well, that was the problem was that because Noah had gotten chunked, they were able to immediately collapse onto mid lane. They get the numbers advantage, and now they push on through. Yoya exiting into that top side as well means he's here to protect Mira and from any volley bears that might show up. Oscar and should be able to clear the wave though, so it won't quite be top terror, but still, Madline's Koi playing this map perfectly right now. 3k advantage. Harold's up in 10. Do we fight it? Just full right. send? You know what? Man fuck it. Man who believes Just fucking animals. fight. Still not fight Harold. We'll fuck fight it. More about the, the pressure of the PvE. But you're not the way No up. bot tier 1? Yeah, fuck it. He cancels this recall. It's pretty big. Ward? Ooh. Feels bad. Shield the Daybreak. Not gonna connect there. Supa walking forward. Finally takes mid lane tower. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just fight. The Just fight. Three overall. They're dropping it. Okay. MDK, Are we losing bot tier too? Oh, hold up. To to get that tower, so Can we TP bot? Or some shit? Pushed up to top end, you're pretty happy no, we're good, we're good, we're good. Definitely. Unfortunately, you had to give it up, but of course, three guys make this a little bit faster. First guy's not going to be able to grab this tower on this wave, but can chip away at it. And you can see already Alvaro waiting in the Fnatic red side jungle. We're good, we're good, we're and good. This is where Madeline's Koi, I don't know so if we're going to be able to use this Herald to get anything, but uh, Razork, Razork, Razork. So you can see what is this Ari damage, man? Right now because of how much MDK control and with the amount of money are... Oh, Humo is actually maybe dead. If, if Mirwin just takes the tower. I'm surprised Mirwin didn't ghost earlier and try and play for the tower. Humo kills him. Oh, big shot in the head. I think Mirwin easily could win that with ghost. Humor he just got hit by the W. I mean, he should have just died. He should have died. But, but he... God, I don't even know how he did it. And that's a huge win for Fnatic, because if Mirren had got the kill, gets top terror, and you lose control of your bot side jungle with dragon spawning, that's like the game... Kind They're of chanting Mirren. He died, huh? With that little bit of extra... Alright, that's a kill. Marek needs more time, but he's got a lot of XP right now. Yoink their red. Well, Jun greedy base. Oi, 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 oi. 30 seconds on Drake. Yeah. 
Maybe. Listen, boys, this might sound crazy, but let's play for mid top into the crate and use that herald up here when they overgroup. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Can we get some top push? Maybe we cross map this Drake. They're not crossing, the but why not? Why can't we? They have rail flash, a, a police man. Please, can we? Go? Oh my god! I think the mistake here was Ryzark going for red buff. I think he should have reset and actually tried to get out onto the map again, so that he can try and push in mid. But how? How do we fight this then? We just drop it the for nothing. I really think we could have kept some top push here. That means that Mirren gets to push boss. You're going to get dragon here. Supers managed to shove in mid, and there's not really a massive threat anywhere on the map for Fnatic to really trade if you go for dragon. And even the Madlands Koi, they're faking the dragon. They're going to go for humanoid. He's no flash. Humanoid caught on the side. A bit of vengeance after the last play. Mirren should have enough damage to finish this off, and if he doesn't, Super more than certainly will. Alvaro going to take the kill. Now MDK. Control what are we doing? Straight to dragon if they want. Yo! First, they want to push that vision line forward. Great. Call out, great collapse overloading the side of the map. Yeah, and it was just playing off of the assumptions Fnatic had made. You assume the dragon is going to be where Madeline's Koi go for next, but they're kind of like, here, look, let's be real. An ocean soul isn't really our win condition here, but for scale, we can cause. Razork Thundering Smash goes in. Noah. Nah. Nah, so lucky. What the fuck? Harold Mid, push that shit. Hell yeah, push that shit. Ari Nold. Now John? the Herald charging, spinning, 360-ing. It's a little bit confusing now as the Leona finally going to get into the midst of the fight. Hostile takeover is Where's there. Mike? Where's Mike Knight? Where's Mike Knight? Down. MDK still trying to take over. Supa still standing, crucially. That is one. Kill that Zewi. Kill that. Oh my god, he's the best AD in the league. Supa still alive. It's not even a bailout. He's just immortal. It's a quadra for the Zeri. Mirwan still stepping forward. Humanoid's got no business being here. Mad Lions coil. Lions upon prey, it's a penta for Supa! What a fight! A penta per split is needed for Supa, and he claims it in what is going to be one of the most pivotal games for Mad Lions Koi of the split. An incredible fight from MDK. That was impressive. We, we have to watch it again. And this is where Supa, like, is in a great position. He's continuing to push on forward, but the big thing you have to keep an eye on is watch it the bailout. Nah, there is OP. For the second that it goes down, but he actually messes up ever so slightly, so that then Supa is able to flash forward, get the reset onto the Leona, and from that point forward, you just can't touch him. He's getting so many dashes in the back line, and MDK are just able to set up perfectly. Cajal, where's my team jersey? Cat the spare. Yo, man, we could have had first place. Wait, if Fnatic lose this, where do they finish? Third or second? Stepping too far forward. Humanoid throws two backwards, keeps his team alive to fight another day. It's only 19 minutes into the game. Baron's not even up yet, but this gold lead feels insurmountable. This is if G2 win third. I this mean, is the MDK they told us about. This is the MDK they said, hey, we're playing scrims, we're looking great. They didn't show it on stage as much, but today they are showing it. This is the MDK from winter. They can't this get exactly first if, if G2 win, to if G2 loses, because uh, Fnatic lost to Mad. Uh, no, Fnatic lost uh, to Heretic, sorry. In the mid -game, not on side lanes, not get so they would be second. But every single time so they're going to finish third if G2 play, win. MDK have shot them down where they stand. Excellent. Performance thus far. The Ari, I was initially a little bit skeptical. How well for us, Gally, we're gonna be, it's gonna be able to do, but that clean Oh, but Heretics lost to G2. Oh, going, I see. Getting collapsed on. Uh, Yo-Yo and Fresh Gally starting that snowball, getting the ball rolling there. In a relatively quiet game from the rest of the map for Fnatic. Man, it's Oscar nice really hasn't been in any fight. Really giving them the advantage on boss side I guess he was in that last fight, find. but that but boss fight lost hit. the game. Uh, that pentakill don't matter, but that boss fight, that boss fight lost the game. They need sustained damage. It does make sense. You have to kill the Udir. But MDK for now are just running the rift. I'm worried for my region at MSI mark. Hysterics, what do you mean you're worried for LEC? Your OCE, okay, who doesn't win anything, and you were an LPL caster who got cleared by LCK. What do you mean you're worried about being an LEC caster? We just get cleared by everyone too. There's nothing new, buddy. Nothing new. Looks like they'll just about get out of there in time. You can see the Weaver's wall, though. Humanoid anticipates the collapse on the side lane. Look, AD items. No, I'm not looking. And MDK, all it takes is one more <laughs> pick that they've found multiple times hell? already on the side lane. One member on Fnatic sticking around for one extra wave, one extra cannon minion. That pick will be enough for MDK he has to a move pink to Baron. 
and they can start knocking down the last of these remaining towers. I mean, they've already got five. Yeah. And for MDK, it's just about controlling this jungle on the top side. As long as you get those waves in your favor, and you can try and bait out a, a TP from us gurning in. MSI was run by the LPL. Advantages on the side lanes, like especially if Mirren doesn't quite has his. That's why MDK are starting to the But we got one. We got one. And that's sort of matters. Teleports out of Fnatic, so they can get control on the map. Sustain damage isn't incredibly high. You can see this is taking a bit of time. Frescali also not committing to the objective. That's one more than an eight. I think recognize that this is happening and instead just go for tier two. Yeah, tier two bots the only play. Out. Mirwin can try to contest, and the rest of the side of MDK now retreating, but they're going to knock a tier two down of their own. Exactly, and this is why I like the call from MDK. It's like, hey, we can go for both. Wave was already there in topside, so you get to threat in the tier two, and you still got the TP on Mirwin to try and come in if anything does go a little bit awry. So tier three, oh, oh my God. Full committing for the play. Humanoid's already used all of his CC. John tries to slow down the solar flare. Man, Marek has been getting called way too Zuba much this game. Legendary. The tower will fall. Humanoid's the getting perma called. Well. It's well, a Junior. master class. Mirwin's chasing for the members of Fnatic. They're not going to get a chance to recall either. Where was this mid game? The entire split MDK with what happened to Rogue? What happened to Mad? In the mid lane. Pressure on the top what happened to Giant X? The they were they always this good or we were always this bad? Like, what happened? Down the big purple worm. They're already into Fnatic's base. This is incredible. I mean, Aaron chasing both Razor and Oscar in and back, so they can't reset. Numbers advantage for MDK. Two inhibitors Mama. down. Mad Lions Koi. My region this sucks. This is incredible. This is the stuff I want to see Take from the squad leading into back playoffs. to 2019. This is, if it had been shaky, if it had been messy, we would have been doubting so much and we weren't what the team could do coming into best of streets. If they were even able Mama. to make it. Now, My it feels like an inevitability, but Fnatic is not going to go quietly. Mirwin. A kill! Phoenix, still a bear, still a ram. We'll, uh, we'll walk away. <laughs> well, well, okay. <laughs> you tried. You there tried. was a solid effort. Gonna yeah. leave it go all it, behind and join the LCK. I don't think, I don't think you're, killing, I don't think you're killing the bear. <laughs> Mama! <laughs> and I gotta say, 16 out of 16 KP for Elio this game. I think the first kill in yeah. mid lane, the credit there belongs to Frescali. It was where he needs to be, but it was really Frescali who set that up, but... He has been everywhere that the team has needed him to be. And you can what see some good bars, the, the score lines of his What are some good bars? Zero deaths on Supa. Zero deaths on Frescali. Immaculate performance. Yeah. And I mean, as you say, setting up so much of this, like the flash in to get the CC, flashing over walls, flashing over um, the reverse cry control, the control may come in, but Fnatic trying to poke out Mirwin. They've already got control on bot side. This is going to be so difficult to try and keep off of your turret here. You still got 45 seconds left on this barn buff. Guy Splitter, Supa does get locked up though, but immediately cleanses out to safety. The hostile takeover buying all the space the Zeri needs. Lightning! Where Cry is Oscar TP? Oscar! Oscar! A killer instinct. More like an instinct of desperation. Kills now coming through. Frescawi God, like I expected a close match. I was ready for Fnatic to slaughter. I was not ready for this level of dominance for Mad Lions Koi. What a clean way. To end the regular season. Super now going in for just a little bit extra. The charm gonna connect. They don't have the damage to kill off Oscar, but they'll take their time on this one. They know they've done well. They've earned their moment of glory. And they've earned their spot in playoffs. Madlands Koi will take Fuck it to my life. What is Super happening, man? Super space. Alright chat, if G2 so lose, then I can still get second, so it it's G2 versus Vitae. Yo, it's upset it so weekend or what? Well like okay, let's see if G2 gets first. If not, let's see if K Corp can get into the... Wait chat. Chat. There's one spot left, right? But I won't be There's one spot left for playoffs. Wait. About who's the most There's supportive. one spot left, it'd be and it's Weirdo between these three. If K Corp wins, <laughs> and that's what people remember. When it's a three-way tie, right? For now, we're head to a quick break. And then who plays who? How many games is there going to be? Like, like I know if I know if they lose, it's Rogue versus SK for the final spot. But if they go 3-6, what do they do? They do SK versus Rogue, Rogue versus KC, and KC versus SK. They have to play... Wait, how do they do that? Wait, what? Do they have to do, they have to do their own single round robin together? 
How many games did they play? Ninth versus tenth. And then they play against eighth. Oh, I see. Who's who's technically eighth? Who's eighth? In your terms. Rogue. Oh, no, SK. Rogue or SK. So it's SK KC. Winner plays Rouge. Winner goes in. Yo, KC ain't got a chance, man. Are you kidding? They have to win three best of ones. Bro, they can't even win three across the whole split. They ain't winning three best of ones, right? It's gonna be a miracle run, right? How do you say miracle in French? Anglais. No, I put English. Fuck. Miracle. Miracle. Red Bull gives What's you a miracle? Wings. Un miracle. How do you say... How do you say this in French? Ce n'est pas possible. Is that how you say it? Ce n'est pas possible. I don't know. Let's go. I'm here for the K Corp Miracle Run. I'm here for it. I bet 200 pounds on Fnatic. Yo, Hannah the banana. Yo, Hannah the banana. You put 200 pounds on Fnatic. I don't know where you... I thought they weren't frauds, my region. Yo, that's cooked, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Check the G2 tweet. What did G2 say? I don't see that tweet. I don't see that tweet. Okay. <laughs> okay. What? Nah, bro. That is a trash tweet. They couldn't even use their the, the right logo. Aren't you blocked by them? Blocked by who? By G2? Oh, yeah. No way. I remember that. No, they unblocked me. If Vitality wins, Fnatic is first. Wait, you're not right. No, wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? If Vitality... No, they're not. Are they? Wait. Seriously? Wait, there's a three-way tie then. And Fnatic beat G2. G2 beat Eretics. And Eretics beat Fnatic. So how do they decide? Oh no, and, and Vitality's in there too. And Vitality beat Fnatic. But, but, wait, so who the fuck gets first place? Wait, so you're telling me... Okay. Hold up, let me pause. You're telling me that my region is about to have a four-way first tie for first and a four-way first tie uh, place for last. So there's two teams in the... What are you on about? We have eight teams tied for first and last. Are you fucking high? Welcome back to the LEC. I'm standing here with two victorious Yo. players. What is my region doing? If Vitality wins, Fnatic is first. Heretics is second. Vit is third. And G2 is fourth. Wait, really? It's not. Okay, please elaborate. 
No, Probably Vita no, second. So she put you on dog champ right duty? Click, right click and, and you had just abuse the Renata champion. Not even like skilling this pentakill. Wait. Right click. IQ. <laughs> he, he, he chat, uh, why are you all trolling? Like plays, right why are you all trolling me, okay. chat? Now, of course, congratulations. You guys had luck prior to this game, but of course you wanted this to This game's going to be a banger, though, chat. Beat Fanatic. You also, if Fanatic Vitality's beat not bad. You, would lock first. you kind of, for now... I just feel like Vitality at them. times are just Please fucking dumb as hell. That game because you lock in the Zeri, very confident on the champion. Use the sheet. personally from the ERLs, this kind of champ is how your bread and butter. How do you feel? I'm first of all, I need to... I step up after my EU Master Performance 30. I need to tell my coach that I can play 30, no? Uh -huh. This time I get level 6. Um. Yes, Pentagil, easy. But I, s I will say that was a really good draft because most likely Noah really liked 30. When he's out of this champion, he doesn't impact that much in, in the game, early game. So it was a good pick. So it was also a take Teams with the higher head to head score get the higher seed. Very oh, I see. Wait, let me think. Being, so, know, Fnatic beat G2. So, very vocal on the fact that there are no rookies. You make it on this stage, you gotta step the heck up and play. So, Fnatic gets one point. About what Heretics about his as an beat Fnatic. I just agree with him. He's the best so ADC in the Heretics league. gets one point. And just time G2. Beat and heretics. I'm just waiting for him to prove it. To so G2 it gets one point. And Vitality would have beaten G2 so because we got here. I just want him to get hate so, from everyone and like so everyone bash him then in Twitter. That's where I get the fun. You know what? Heretics and Vitality. Who won? You. Who won? He's one of the best Vitality uh, won. So Vitality gets two points. Of, uh, being happy about Fnatic now, of course, beat you about Vitality, right? They did. So Fnatic gets one point. So Fnatic gets one point. So that means Fnatic that would be first. And Vit would be second. Honestly, and I've then it would leave us with G2 and like Heretics. So then G2 would be third and Heretics would be fourth. I feel like I'm going to get a lot from, like, as a team, we're going to learn so much and it's going to be right. so much more useful than it has been previously for me, or those are my expectations at, at least. So we really need to make it to MSI. And once we make it, so I feel like if Vit wins, Fnatic first. Yeah, I know that. I'm just trying to figure out the numbers. The best teams so Fnatic first, Vit second, G2 third, Heretics fourth, if Vitality win. Absolutely right. Super coming over to you. And if Welcome Vitality to lose, it's G2 first, Heretic second, Fnatic third, oh, and Vitality fourth. Said, guys. You have something to say to him? Or... They were saying, you're, like, you're the best. That's fair enough. However, they said you're the best. I think X Interesting. you were the best, Alyoya, as you get here, player of the game. Lots of signs over there for you guys. Super, I'm gonna come. For last minute to you, are you anticipating getting into that development status for potential internationals at the end of the split? I mean, my objective is to try to try to be the best this year. I think I can do it. Obviously, I respect a lot my my rivals. No, my wait. Gumaris how does the group stage work, chat? Who I plays against who? I forgot. Together. Last time, I can't remember I what happened. I it was mean, like mega scuffed. Well, here's to see you playing against Guma. I swear, Yusuf LEC Piper. is like so complicated. Making playoffs, guys. That was an amazing what? Victory. I swear, the group stage the last time, I didn't get it. They drew something, but then I didn't get it. My man's three steps ahead. He's like, First against right, fourth, second against third. Playoffs. No, it's not. Therefore, we've already made MSI. I respect <laughs> that. <laughs> I do also love the shock at Oyo as he points the screen goes, your damage. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was impressive. Yeah, it was. Can't say that. I just wish we could all have that level okay. of Okay. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. mean? Like... You get you qualify to high school. You're like, I'm a doctor already. Yeah. We win clash. I'm going to worlds. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I like that. I like that level of confidence when you could back it up. Like, you did all right. So important game. Makes a lot of sense. Big game. I will say one or two people in his pool of potential rivals domestically, at least, might have something to say about him considering himself the best. And oh wow, conveniently, two of them are in this game. That is Hans Hama and Carzi. Two players were naturally going to be. Senna, Vi, Virus, Draven, Nico, Renata. Uh, G2 Kalista, no. G2 Kalista on Grump. Solo Q, he's aggressive, snowball -y. piloted frequently by people like T1. Very large. G2 Kalista, what is Vitality playing Kalista? <laughs> Why do I feel like they're going to play something really psychotic? Come at me. Eventually, I'm going to kill somewhere. you. <laughs> eventually, I will alt and kill you. So you come bot or you die eventually. Instead Oriana's good. Really Kalista, powerful champ. Oriana Rel. Allowing Team Vitality to secure. Incredibly high priority. Oriana. 
Curious if they take the Zins out here as well. Actually, gonna go with the Rel. Okay, I was like, you can take Vitality a Fence. Really strong mid jungle here if you want to, and then you always leave the opportunity. Ahead. Wait, Look, maybe the Rel goes in the opposite side, but maybe they want to secure the fan bases the are out to today. That you end up with a, uh, All right, Kalista not. It will be a Mickey Classic. That is probably gonna try and come through here for Mickey X. So um, they could full force spot. The Zins out taken, or just not giving that opportunity across because Ori Zins out. Ori, yeah. Strong. You got the Rel that wants to go bot into that Nautilus if it comes through. Ari Lee Sin. Yike Lee Sin, though, it's hit or miss. And Kalista, Ari Lee Sin is a trap. Poppy on three is mega. So it must be Ari Nolt, right? So might suffer a bit more early on just in terms of what Oriana can do in those early trades. Clockwork wind up Oriana passive. Just incredibly good. But as we get later into the game, potentially more room for Oriana to play make as there's not that Unless G2's cooking some shit. Wow, G2 are tryharding. They know if they win, they get first. If they lose, they get fourth. So again, G2 Esports started to bring this out more and more Wait. where it is the, hey, we're going to play for the strong If it's first jungle, versus fourth they did get denied by and G2 Fnatic lose, that means it's G2 Fnatic in the first round. What the hell? Curious to see if they want to try and continue this style here it's with not. Vitality, but no. Actually going to go towards the J, so it is still keeping the hover of the rel open, or sorry, the flexibility. Oh no, because they'll be third, of yeah, of course. Open. Uh, and I think you can get fourth. Yeah, you're right. Away, like the yeah, you right. You right. Stuff, and just make things impossible for uh, honestly. Wow, Jace on three. They're gonna ban. Uh, go, hey, what would Broken Blade paint Jace? He would play Gragas. Yeah, for sure, Gragas. And remember that G2 mm. have been playing some pretty shaky early games. Some of that is. I don't actually know. Maybe he would play Rexi into it as well or some shit. Regardless of the bot lane matchup, not always going to do a lot early on. But the fact that they've gone for close to here means we'll see a relative change in pace. Early on, much more about Hansama and Mickey X almost guaranteed. I think your mid lane point is a good one. I, I, you know, without the Talia here, without the immediate reliable lockdown of something like a Poppy just standing on top I of I think Rek'Sai is, is what he would pick, or room for, I mean, like, I like BB would like slam a Malphite, even like a especially if they pick Senna here. I wonder if they ban. Oh, they Senna's banned. What am I saying? I will say, though, yeah, what I could you ban then to force them to have a bad AD? She has two of the best abilities in the game. Zaya, Rakan, Kaisa could be a good ban. Or no ban. That works. <laughs> oh wait, they went north. What am I saying? It was red side band time. <laughs> yeah, north band was good. Kalista north was good. <laughs> I mean, Kalista north is not the. Like, I can see why they banned north, but. They banned Brown. They want Alistar. They want Alistar for sure. Clark more. Okay. Okay. Eh. Now, why well, like one of those a lot more than the hmm. other? And it's not the cute dragon. Yeah, Zyra Khan is annoying. Void monster, but that'll do. That's a Vistayan. It's like a half bird person. Zyra Khan covers off some top so. picks. That's what happens if they take Kalista Rakan here? A lot of the pick on the side. What happens if they take, a take away Rakan from, from Zaya? The world, the Flash, Viega, Maybe they just do like Rakan Rek'Sai. Nah, Rek'Sai. I don't know. I don't like Rek'Sai here. The Vitality are not going to be focusing on the bottom side of the map. Just giving him those tools to keep himself standing. Yeah, I'm kind of curious. Maybe we're just going to look at like... Renata, the problem is you can't take Rakan on four because they'll just play the Sanjo. Um, They're gonna play Zach. Yeah. Look, a lot of this is gonna be a case of throwing it at long range as Vitality go for the engage after getting what seems like a little bit of poke down. Um, is Mickey cooking something? For BB in the top side, not gonna go towards the wreck side. Is <laughs> what their usual blind pick that we start to see creep up us. No, Leona. Oh, actually gonna go for the engage. So I, I thought they'd go for the Renata and just try and play for. Surprised they didn't take the Warcana away. Yeah, curious here. I think you can still put Rel in the bot lane then if you want to, and open up Daglas to go for a different kind of pick here. What is the option? The sheer amount of long range engage with this. Uh, I think it's Hilly Rakan, man. Rakan Rel is so strong, but if you really want to win lane, you can play like. I don't know, Zaya. Alistar is okay as well, I guess. Alright, chat, ads are going to run. If you want to avoid ads, you can use your tier 1 or Twitch Prime to support the channel. You don't have to sub if you don't want to, but if you sub, you won't get ads for an entire month. Holy fuck, Kajal. Yeah, I love ads. Yeah, I think it's definitely one I'm where sorry, I hate doing this. I'm sorry. In the lane, the whole idea is with the Zenith Blade, you can match wherever the Rakan decides to go. So as EW's in, he's in a plate, he can't return to the uh, AD carry because you're just able to lock him up in place. Um, or you just follow along. Bum, so bum, I think that's where you're going to be looking to see G2 Esports put a lot of pressure down on that bot side in the early stages. But as you get into more the open wide game, Rakan gets so much value from the ultimate that he has an opportunity to... I say it's scale, but you know, it's all relative on well, how well you play, yeah. so... And I feel like when 
you're in your final games of the split. All right, come on, Vitality. Let's get it. You can. You want something that's gonna feel comfortable. You have the chance to do something real funny right now. Like if you're gonna play anything to make your life something real funny, Recon Rel is the option. It's so easy to always go in at the top side at the same time. Either of you can play off the other ones. Engage. Recon has so much mobility. We saw. I think a big reason the GX have done as well as they have is the combination of Ignore and Peach together. I expect to see the same from Daglas and Hillisang. But that is the task. And Lost hand. all my points Obviously, on Fennec. Recon can also fall behind. Things can fall That's apart. Rough. And G2 are an aggressive bot link. We're going to try to push those leads. The other side of the map, though, I am nervous for Broken Blade of Zach into Jace. Especially with the changes to the to the JC. Where yeah. you just you root and then knock back. Like oftentimes you can try. I think you have enough time to interrupt the slingshot. I'll have to double check on that. So I think you might still get knocked up, then do it. It's a bit of a weird interaction. But uh, we'll see how it goes through. But either way, G2 launch themselves into a game where they can potentially look to steal away that top spot. And Vitality looking to try and put themselves ever further up the standings with a win over the big bad. And look, this game is I don't know, man. Important when G2's backs are against the wall this year, win, it's always fine. You know why? Because they'll just bring out their Zac merchant. And our top four will be G2, Team Heretics, Fnatic, and Vitality. That will push Fnatic out of top two. Top two crucial because you get to pick your opponent. Uh, oh, you no, we're losing. Table, oh, Zac. But the same is true for G2 if Vitality wins. Zac. Okay. Because of our tiebreaker rules, it would be Fnatic finishing first, Vitality second, G2 third, Team Heretics fourth. So, basically, G2 will go from fighting for first place to salty out of top Fnatic two fan. Salty. if they lose You're here salty against Vitality. And Fnatic, of course, <laughs> big Vitality fans right now with love <laughs> to be sitting at top man. two. Shut up. Um, and, you know, obviously, G2 win. They're in. They take Team Heretics with them, so shout out to the 2019 G2 homies over there. And with this setup that G2 has, it feels very much like they're going back to what has been their bread and butter and functioned well for them, right? Aggressive bot lane, engage for Mickey, strong mid jungle, and BB on something that's a little bit funky, but can like <laughs> do well if he wants to leave side lane and actually like come down to interact with the bot lane. It's funny that you say that way, but you're right. Like, I, I think the more I think about this team, it's like, okay, give Hans Han and Mickey something. Incredibly strong jungle mid. All right, so I mean, both matchup pretty good for Kalista Leona and Torinot to work on. Mid matchup's good for uh, just Vitality. Like Oriana can push Ari. Like, like, Top matchup, <laughs> Jace can push, but yeah, Zach after a few levels and uh, some armor items, it's gonna be annoying as hell. Not that hard. He just repeat a pick to be able to play it twice. But as expected early on, Jace gonna do well in this matchup. Maybe with a few more levels under his belt and some armor. Jesus, Korean Jace a bit more comfortable but you can see yike clearing away from top side holy Being fuck korean jace be pretty miserable and photon's very likely to grab uh, a plate here if no one supports yeah, but it I doesn't matter he, though Zach uh, presses w and he just out heals Douglas just to try and get some early vision which i think he's about to go for now actually just a transitional gank it looks like but Douglas. Oh, flash, caps. what a flash from caps Not good sure prediction predi i would have to slow it down to figure out if it was a prediction or if it was just reaction, but either way, well played. Sees that that's really the only angle that the gank can work. Flashes back, but of course now... Well played. Uh, something that can be capitalized on. Daglas' summoner spell is significantly less important than Caps's. But it also means that Video can't be capitalized on. One of the things we see often with the Viego and Anari is flash, charm, your Oriana, set up them for Yuck to come in, or at least you burn a flash onto Video, and then you just rinse and repeat, right? But getting that early oh, he flash can't get those Caps makes this laning phase significantly safer for Video. And realistically, that's all you want here for Vitality. If and the Jace like, is say, smashing Photon this lane, though. be able to push, and then you can actually just put some pressure down onto Karzy and Illisang and make sure they're going to be safe here. G2 taking control of bot lane though. Again with the Callisto lane, you kind of expect oh, that early mm -hmm. on. Broken Blade doing okay, but Photon very likely. Oh, he lost his passive, passive early. Here. Does get it. Unstable matter. We'll come back to life. I don't think Photon can push for anything else there, but already getting that down means if there is ever pressure or attention topside from Daglas, the dive is so much simpler to execute. Yeah, I mean, Korean Jace. Uh, well, yeah. I'm just going to take the reset, though. Spend the extra little bit of gold that he's picked up and try and make his way back towards top side. Daglas spotting Yike. A huge amount of this is again Daglas. So G2 sure lost a lot of pressure through mid right now. With mid or so Vito should be able to push quite safely. G2 want to try and focus on. G2's main strength is obviously through bot. CC. Cars, can pull back on the feathers, but doesn't quite have three on the lineup. That's the Ignite. Okay, they used Ignite to try and contest the push. Very positive health trade for the side of Vitality, mm. but a sum in favor of G2. 
Yeah, I think a lot of that was just trying so to I think Vitality will start gets... to get bot push now. They invested a combat sum for it. They need to get a base off on Karzy. Yeah, VTO is running this lane right now. Ari just gets out range so hard. Oh, Caps is being so greedy also these days. To burn a pot. <laughs> yeah. I think it's safe to say or think VTO like can just base as well. Kind of or we can fast push. <laughs> Looks like he's uh -oh. fast pushing. No, he's too basing early on the wave. Mark. Root now oh, they're flashing in at a bad time, but they, they have Syra Khan. He should maybe be able to dash out. No. Change to see what's good there. Holy fuck, yike. Jesus. Takes Rakan to dance around and look cool, which is respectable. But big advantage to the G2 bottom lane. E E W into the bush. Oh, BB might be in trouble here. Oh, he got the thing. But BB is in actual trouble now. He needs Yike to run top quick. Photon is smashing him. Now Douglas though, knowing, hey look, you're gonna have to reset again, Yike to come up topside. I've got some time to do these void grubs, but Yike may even forego more of his camps. May just look immediately topside. I was saying level three roam. Setup here is a bit risky because Daglas isn't too far off. They really need to be able to burst Photon down. He already queued uh, for Unlucky timing. Uh, Rel can be here in time, maybe if he runs. Oh my god, Photon smashing them. Holy fuck, Photon. He's just 1v2ing them, basically. What? 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 Korean Jason. Well, gonna be more oh, Fatio! Oh, that was a solo kill. That is a generous assist, League of Legends. And got out. Hilly got the assist got the with the fucking shield. To escape away from Mickey. I thought he was as good as dead. So three quick kills for Vitality. Top and mid have just gone massively in favor of them. Certainly have. And I think the only frustrating thing of your Vitality is two of those kills. So are like two solo lanes doing really well now. In terms of early gold, maybe get even further ahead. Photon. But though. Jace didn't get the kills. That's kind of true. Broken Blade wildly far behind, needs that passive back. Luckily held on to Flash to make Yo, G2 it. Yo, G2 fans, are you sweating a bit? Don't respect. <laughs> I think Photon 1v2 is what about When he judges that Q, I think he kills both of them. Really well played there. Blue Sway chews out in full force. This Vitality have to get the 2v2. And then in the mid lane, as you say, the... Uh, oh, that's a frustrating Ike. But I think You're so mean to G2 fans. Call. Because it's because G2 fans bully me. When I joined Fennec, they're bullying me, man. You're not nice. Trade, out of spells. My mum said, if you, if you don't have anything nice to say, on, don't say it. Plans. But if they don't say something nice, then fuck them. I'm kidding, she didn't say that last part. I made that last part. Oh, another kill. Another kill. Another kill. Kill, kill, la la. La 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 Chad, what's going on? If Vitality win this game, we have a four-way tie for first, and we had a four-way tie for tenth. Or, well, six. Or seventh order, the What is going on? Everywhere that he's needed to be. We'll get a pause to talk about ah, Daglas. We've had a lot of questions. Ah, if Vitality wins, Fnatic well, gets first, so the they use the pause hack. Like, hey, time to talk about Daglas. It wasn't Kinda then. Kinda smart. It's not 100% time now, but yet another Kinda good smart. game under his belt. At least a good early game. Perfect positioning to be there on the top side. Nice follow-up play. Yes, maybe he could have crashed down in instead of out. That would have been nice, but thus Chat, far, if you do the ASCII spam, you're going to get fucking rolled. Be careful. Vitality, which was bot lane. Uh, is now no longer a problem. That's a lead for Zaya. Yeah, I think there's been a multiple different activities essentially that have happened between the junglers, right? I think Yike is trying to. If play you get ASCII spam, you're gonna get instantly permabanned from the to chat. Try and punish I uh, Vitality. So you're looking bot side, right? He doesn't go to top lane like you expect, or his top side jungle. He immediately goes bot, gets the kill there. He then tries to forego his caps again and then catch the timing onto Photon, but just doesn't quite get the kill. And there's just not quite enough CC to set up a BB to finish that off before Daglitz can get up to top side. So you I betrayed us at yes, Worlds. Are you guys still mad about that Worlds well thing? Come on, on man. Come on, man. And definitely Come on, just man. shadowing laners who have been outplaying, right? Vichu has actually got a solo kill mid lane. Uh, Photon had it. Anyone could have been there top Don't lane take Photon. it so personally, okay? In the Listen. Right spot. But so is Sometimes love is a powerful emotion. Point. Makes so you do saying, crazy things. Stepping in, just trying to threaten Cassidy. I'm just sorry. So much of the jungle mid Would I do it again? Yeah, of course. Yo. What the fuck? 
Trying to set up for more of these early games. Oh, VTO. VTO. Hex flash forward. Oh, oh, they missed the charm as well. The oh, the yo, Capsi, you ain't got no mana. You got no mana. <laughs> Wait, G2 is going to lose. Oh, my God. Feels good to have a Korean top Wait, is G2 really going to... Wait, true. I thought... Man, Just everyone was telling me this is the year G2 wins, like, more Dagger. international Dagger. games. Motherfucker, they're third if they lose this. <laughs> We're not praising Daglas anymore. This is highly suspect. You can't play Rel and also take the kills. <laughs> Still, though, I think it's the fact that they're shutting down some of these plays, right? 1k gold lead mid... No, or, sorry, jungle, 900 in the mid lane, but... Yike tries to interrupt the shockwave with his own ult, but he's still in a horrible spot. And then here, Caps, he's just out of mana. No charges left. No hope to try and get out. There's no one else on the, on the map. Well. Did they miss? I mean, they must have miscalculated base timings or something, or thought that they had a window that just wasn't there, but that was sloppy. I mean, most of their team is in base. Broken Blade just got back to top lane. It is almost impossible for you to have man advantage in that circumstance. I think it's more panic, to be honest, from G2. Don't forget that after the tiebreakers, there's the playoff draw. Here we go, yeah, Mickey goes in, but Karzy, he's fine. Karzy's having a fine time. Han Sama boots too. Is oh, Hilly, that was clean. Yo, Vitality is just... Daglas is running it. Are obliterating G2 Daglas is, is running this game. Live in pretty. Knowing they're essentially guaranteed at this point, top two. Is Daglas just the canyon of Europe? Like, what is this? Well, he is running this game. On a spree. And the Fnatic fans in the corner are getting louder and louder as a result. They are very happy with the way that this one is going. Vitality, this has been great. And that time, Daglas, perfect setup, gives the, the third kill over to Karzy. Another turret bait going to go across as well. And what's the response here? Diego was just clearing out his jungle on the bot side. He's not going to be able to try and put any threat in towards the mid lane. And then the Vitality kind of just get to do it all without anything really happening from response from G2. And this is on the way to being the worst individual week we've seen from G2 all year. Wait, did I mean, G2 go 0 3 this week? Uh, you know, Mark No, when was the final game? Shutting down that small, they're not giving it the chance to scale, even if that game did get certainly messy at a certain uh, at a couple points. But now the commitment onto VTO. G2 trying to push it back. The pullback on the caps under tower is He's going to live. VTO still oh, taking the black. Nice the pull from Yak. They desperately need this kill. One, two. And Viego will secure it. G2 biting back. Just about able to get the kill. Good hold on the solar flare from Mickey to make sure that he'd be able to get that lock up long enough for Yike to come through. And it was just a nice timing. As you said, Daglas runs anything, it's the Realm map, Merchant Association. Set, so <laughs> able to do it. Broken Blade, that might have been a bit step too far. Yes, but Mickey is here. Thundering blow, the knockback there. Mickey can follow up, but Yike a little bit too far away. Bro, shut the fuck Doesn't up. Be able to push any further. We'll just be the wave crashed on top side, but here comes Karzy and Hilly caps in the brush. If he gets spotted, this is going to be bad. He's got no man. I think got no room to make a play, and he's already forced to reset. Or, sorry, cancel his How reset is that timer. funny? Excuse that me. is funny. We'll give six How can you not think that's though? funny? Because you can see Photon, he's going to be able to reset. TP back up into top side. You're trying to interrupt Hilly. Nice interrupt <laughs> on the caps. Stop? <laughs> and again, Bro, you need to call an Uber. He's going to go again. G2, stay down to the map. He's not <laughs> Won't be able to get it. There's not enough range on the the gleaming yeah. quill. Yep. Bro, why didn't he go again? They go pushing top side with the TP back from Photon. They pushed in mid. That's six grubs now for a Vitality and a minute until Dragon. But might have taken a little bit of time. G2. I don't think they want to try and contest, but they are in the area. Well, Cap's already TP to the bottom. Nah, G2 can't contest this. No shot. Still oh, has they are contesting TP, this. Mickey. So this they have Kalisto. Really I guess they can't overcommit here, Vitality. Unless Vitality overcommit. Fate's call now forced out. He pulled back to safety behind oh, what? Sama, but the quickness comes in from Yeah, no flash, Charm, but I don't know if they have enough range. Leona. No, they don't. That Crazy that they didn't just do grubbies. I feel Hilly. like they should have finished the last grub, personally. I agree. And I think yeah, they, they should have taken the six, but five Hilly is fine. There, oh, this is going to hurt. Oh, hang on, cops. Shockwave. Detail Force is ult. The out before the next play. Might just be trying to get for the kill. Command attack. Oi, BTO. Get the extra movement speed and step back. Well, Ari has no TP, and she's low, and Drake's up in 20. So, as much as Oriana ult is down, I think this is actually a doomsday scenario for G2. Because Ari can't base and get back to bot side in time. Unless they can... Nah, they can't really do that. I think this is where Vitaly had their win, and they can play for a minute's time. But instead, they're trying to capitalize too heavily, too quickly. And it's actually giving opportunities for G2 to kind of... Crazy, if they win this, if they, if they win this Vitaly Fnite's first... Uh, you were pretty close to getting everything uh, you wanted in that exchange, where you 
basically get Caps' TP for free because Hillisang cancels that recall so many times. If it had completed... Uh, Fnatic's first. Spot, Sorry. And he would have had that TP available. Sorry, did I say G2? Could have gotten all six grubs. Five is... Don't get me wrong, it's plenty. It's not like you Heretics six, is first. But as well as getting Wait, the Fates what? call, you feel like that just sets you up for the next fight. You, t you talked about it. And this dragon... His cooldowns are still going to be gone, but now Hill is saying, hopefully we'll have the quickness in time. If Vitality have the setup, Caps first on the wave in bot lane, and Hill is saying, now this chat is so dumb. Too far forward. Damage now on the Photon. Big wave there. Maybe Mickey he's dead here. VTO has TP though, but he needs to back up a lot if he wants to TP in here. Nah, he's dead. The Eclipse There's no one flash. The Ignite ticking. The Jace will fall. Broken Blade. Getting a bit of vengeance on the top side. Chat, Fnatic is first if they win this, this uh, Vitality. They're being punished here by G2. Vitality tried to do too much. G2 get back out of the map. Shockwave once more. Caps finally forced to dash out to safety. Stop question mark being. It's rush. true. Takes away so much of G2's playmaking. Vitality, three members committed into the mid lane. Five drop buff. They're going to shred through this tower so quickly. Yike off to the side. But with Daglas and Hillisang here to cover with Karzi having cleanse and ulti available, there is no getting onto this Zaya. And they can lean into bot side as well. Caps is too low, has no TP. So the immediate force onto bot lane means that they should be true. able to maybe with the next wave get the tower. But actually, don't hate saying, the player, hate the, the game. Cut. Just as before he reset. So we'll just be Dragon instead. But at least Vitality is starting to get a little bit more control again on the map. Vitality Sorry, I'm trying to make a meme good. chat. I'm trying to be funny. Every in the game. I haven't First been I haven't been funny for a while. Five grubs, two dragons. Yes, a 2k gold lead. Not insurmountable, certainly. The good news for G2 is they finally have an avenue to get something back for themselves. And the Herald. This is like funny, but it's not that funny, this meme. Tower. Like, I'm making a really funny meme, but it's not that funny. So much more difficult with okay, they trade Herald for bot tier 1. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Even though they got first tower mid, it's okay not to fight. So just get more gold. Oriana's gonna be 1k up now. It it's so good. To use this now G2 because how do you try and force you haven't been funny for 28 years. Oh shit, I'm 28. Why did you remind me that, you Healy, fucking rat? Force mid wave, shove it into the tier two. Healy leaves, groups with Daglas, they get top tier uh, one with Photon, right? You yeah. establish a bunch of vision on top side. No real wave state for G2 to take a terror. So unless they completely abandon the top side of the map and lean in with caps on this bot side to use the Rift Herald there, maybe they can get a terror. But one bot lane terror going down in trade for a top lane terror and 16. use of Rift Herald is still a big win for Vitality. So G2, I think this is why they're trying to set top side here. Look to get the pick as Vitality are starting to move up towards Photon top side. Oh, I, I found out how to make a funny chat there. When they skip a step. This Herald can be incredibly impactful, but you're right. If we enter just a normal game state, as there we it go. Is I right made now, it funny so enough. Heavily vitality favored. It's it's like a consolation prize. It's like half a turret's health bar. Not gonna do anything. You look 45. G2, Thanks, man. You, again, you can see with his mid lane tier one down, it's so hard for them to step far forward. And Callista's wave clear against. All right. Zaya so right the way now, the game's so going, slower. Vitality have mid and bot push. Yeah, Orianna on the side lane so isn't that strong and is very vulnerable. So G2 have a really easy way to punish this Orianna if they can collapse bot. The so problem is, if he clears the wave and Vitality controls top and takes to top tier one, you can't wave, really trade um, evenly because Orianna plays safe, has shallow, shallow vision, and she clears the wave. So Vitality are always going to lean mid to top and never cover the Orianna. So Orianna is almost like self sufficient here with some ward spot side, and she's just clearing out waves and taking blue, and she's a TP bot. I think the safer option for Vitality, IMO, maybe is Orianna catching this bot wave, basing, the and then swapping with Jace, and then Jace taking over bot. No, no MR on this guy, and Orianna gets cover, and then she's safer. So I would love so Vitality hard. swapping the lanes around. I mean, credit to Vito as well. He's just been getting aggressive on caps consistently. They but it's hard because Ari is slow pushing that wave. Push with more than like so Orianna needs to stay till it crashes. I mean, any piece of and you'll see Orianna's they playing mega safe. Certainly would finish the job. Ooh, Still here they go. Get to off. Trying to get Mickey Slash. He's dead actually, maybe Mickey. Nice no, he's gonna flash. Flash keeps Mickey safe for now. Harrowed pass shows that Yike is on the way. I really think Orianna needs to base and take over top and Jace needs to swap. I hate this Orianna on bot. Sure I hate this. It's just dead lane. As, as much as Jace would be weak so side, slow, I feel like again, they would put Ari top, vitality, right? and then Jace he's would just have perma bot push in isolation, and he can good death. You know that Mickey has to reset. Cool. Now slip into but the Orianna can't push bot. And do the exact same thing. Photon gonna start hard she the can only like push and then roam. They're leaning towards that top side as Vitality, but not actually going to go for it again. I think you're missing opportunities here where you could actually try and contest onto the top side. And if anything, she can dead. die. Trying to catch Caps, but Caps spots them. Smart uses the Scryer Bloom behind him, anticipating a potential play here. 
Okay, they're giving her some shallow vision again. Well, Drake's up soon. But in order to really press them in the mid game, you have to be so diligent around. Uh, I really think Vitality could have taken Otherwise, top tier one by now. To, I think what every team falls back it's to, okay though. They will eventually have to fight us at the fourth. If G2 lose, Rob, what's the top three? I'm gonna say this one more time. If G2 lose, okay, so the, the standings are fanatic. Or at least get an even Heretics, G2, no, no. Fnatic, Vitality, map, Heretics, uh, no, no, no. So Fnatic, Vitality, G2, Heretics. G2 classic, to try and That's the top picks. four if uh, Vitality wins. And you're going to say, say, but why, Kajal? Heretics beat Fnatic. Why are they below them? Oh, but but Fnatic beat G2 and G2 has lost to Vitality. This is it. That's how it works because... I, I can explain it afterwards. Because G2 have only won once against those three teams, and it's Heretics. They lost to Vitality and G2. Uh, and Vi uh, Heretics, sorry, and Vitality. Whereas Fnatic beat Vitality and G2, but they lost to Heretics. So they have a two-win lead score over G2, right? Same thing for Vitality. Vitality beat Heretics and G2, but they lost to Fnatic. They have a two-win lead score. G2 only has one. Heretics beat Fnatic, but they lost to G2 and Vitality. So they only have a one lead score. So what happens? is Fnatic and Vitality get paired together above and Heretics G2 get paired together. Fnatic beat Vitality so they're first and G2 beat Heretics so they're third. I'm done. There you go. That's it. Especially one with Locket, with Flash, you know, Gardney if he's able to get back to the rest of his team. And so that opportunity doesn't really present itself. They're they're not in a I think there should probably be tiebreakers, but that's how they've made it work. Harold will finally get used. Better than expected. Essentially allows G2 to cheat tempo. And they're already there to cover a potential dragon play, so not Stop bad. saying my streamer is Tom wide time. Not giving up too much. Yeah, Vitality and Recess. Daglis and Karzy So what's happened? Base, so G2 Somehow G2 have taken top tier one with Herald. And Hilly, that was close. But now G2 get to try and set up for those picks. VTO gets bot away, but VTO, like, I swear, this Orianna has been in a dead lane for, like, five minutes, and she's so strong. I hate this shit. Push that wave out and force somebody to respond. Control of the try belongs to G2. Oh, Mickey, I don't know if you want to hit that. That would have been bold. I think that Zenith Blade might have been the death of him. A broken blade in the area means there could have been some follow-up. G2 missed their chance, though. Now it's Vitality. You have made control. They're going to be able to push in. You see Hansama drifting across to try and accept that wave of the Tier 2. So you missed your chance in Caps. Nice sidestep from Caps. Could have been over-calculation there from Hillisang as well as Yike lays down the Harrow. If Vitio groups here, they lose bot wave. Faith in their ability not to give the 50-50. Charm connecting a bit of poke on the Vitality. Need to get that bot wave. Nice. Okay, Vitality are playing well. This man is not happy Hilly, with don't fight. Hilly, Hilly, Hilly. Oh my god, he just... Oh my god, they missed the charm. Hilly, man, you baited him. Oh my god. Yeah, greedy goose. Now Vitio dies too. <laughs> Leveraged beautifully by G2. And it would have been so easy for Vitality to back away, go mid, collect the wave, shove what the, the hell? tier 2, and force G2 out of this bottom side. But because Crazy Hilly, man. To, Crazy. Just completely like, sold this jungle mid and then dashed away like he was never there. Look at him. G2 find that window of opportunity to get the pick. And now video completely isolated. Sets up another kill for G2. Yeah, and that's the scratch the back of your head moment where you realize, hey... Enemy oh, <laughs> you, he said it! He said the thing! He, he said, it's fine. <laughs> Bit of a tricky one. Again, Pro player classic. Means, but that play is big Absolute classic. You get monster into by your teammate in a stage game, and you say, it's fine. It ain't fine, but you just say it is. Any less confident charm not connecting from caps. Vitality with the vision control. Yo, how oh, long is this Orianna gonna be in a dead lane, man? Man, I, I, what, Rob? He can't help himself. <laughs> I love Hilla saying uh, so much, but some. Uh, he can't help it! There he's no, it. Stop it. Stop it. He loves fighting! It's in his bones! It's like Connor McGregor in trash talk, he just has to do it! Okay, we're teeping the Orianna out of this. Goes, he finds the two out of this dead lane. Now Hilly's gonna call for Baron, isn't he? Don't go Baron, 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 don't go Baron. Thank fuck for that. Ooh, now this looks good, Hilly. You can look for an angle here. Oh, there it is! There it is, Hilly! I knew you could do it, baby! 
And he just keeps going. This time it works out for them at tier 2 tower. Ooh, that shock blast was close. Now it's a good Baron angle, yeah. Are they confident enough to just force this? It's 30 seconds on Yike. I think the most important thing about this Ari is obviously the Viego death, but it's the fact that Ari has no... And they have no TPs, actually, yeah. He's done. Wait, hold up! Yo! Your voice is desync to your cam? Yeah, refresh the stream then. And I'll never get tired of it. I'll just say it again. Hillisang, he goes in. He knows what he's about. He's not going to get flustered by a single play. You got to respect the confidence. 60% of the time, it works all of the time. Every it's time, baby. Go in, and this is perfect, right? Because Hitty actually has a great angle here. Gets Yike and Caps on the backside after Daglas with a great engage. I thought the jig might have been up as video got spotted as they tried to set up for that depth rush, but it doesn't matter. Vitality able to make it work, and you can just see how happy the coaching staff is behind them. I can't... The gestures were happy. The face wasn't happy there <laughs> from Pat. We'll, we'll ask him later if that was a happy. Drake's two minutes. Before, okay? He's behind, yeah. Yeah, a lot of throws this particular season. Okay, Carsey, we're fine. Going for the engage. VTO yeah. pro side Flash it's okay. We overstepped. Oh, Rogue get that guy's passive. Passive going down. Rogue should just die here. The question is, Vitality, do they want to keep this fight going or be happy with the single pick? G2 looking for the angle, trying to take one Baron buff away, maybe two, and just delay the push here. But now that BB's down, it's going to make it that much harder to defend. Watch Caps. Caps is off in the flank. They haven't spotted him just yet and they're trying to send photon down to bot side you'll still be good four before and hilly is even trying to find the flank his own he has ultimate he's stepping back to the rest of his team Hansama off to the side oh hans is dead here maybe Hansama still on the touch caps untouched with the tp now coming in oh my god this positioning is so yeah, weird oh photon back is there photon doing good damage to jace just tearing through g2 is he dead here photon they're trying to bring it back caps one more oh photon Double kill for the Jace. Daglas wants to finish off the Ari, but he knows he doesn't have enough in the tank. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, the push already coming through. Karzi still alive. It's a chaotic fight, but it is still the push in favor of Vitality. Daglas is keeping Caps engaged, and it means that at least Karzi and Hilly. No, they're gonna, they're gonna get 50 to seconds on Drake, they get bot there too. To Everyone's gonna well. base. So even though the fight looked a little bit funky, it's still only Photon going down for Hans and Mickey. And you're getting so much more for Vitality. Nice attempt from G2, but Vitality's responded well. They certainly have. Thunderdome being prepared as well. 30 seconds until the Cloud Drake, it'll be yeah, sold. Yeah, the into you. They have Zack figured out. What do you mean they have Zack figured out? What does that even mean? You can see here, what does that even mean? Is to come into the top the TV to turned off, Chad. Why didn't no one say anything? The problem is, you just don't really have the control there that you really need to go. Karzi is totally fine to stand behind his front line and go for this. And with Photon TPing in, the numbers advantage starts to come through where they can actually set up properly for it. The kill on top side. Oh, we got another fight. We're back They're to just Dragon raw engaging. Oh, Vitio. Zonia. It's the charm follow up there. They don't yeah, quite have fine, the angle. Let's bounce coming from Brokeway, but he's so damn squishy. I come to the side, cannot do anything. Feathers have flown. Pull back. Cars, he could be vulnerable, but they're just too far ahead in the fight. Vitality again, playing it so cleanly. BTO stops the Kalista was not really there. The setup onto the Drake is theirs. Hillisang moments away from the ultimate now coming back. Yike burning, ticking, wants desperately to get the reset, but he can't do it. Caps now, three stacks left on the dash, but he's only going to be able to run back to base. The Q it's over. The shattering strike from Daglas. Wait. Shattering hopes of Fnatic actually finishes the first in the LEC. Down. What? Fnatic elated. Fnatic will be in sole possession of first place. After this win from Vitality, one last desperate stand. G2, can they bring it back? The answer is hell no. VTO eyes on the Nexus. He's not interested in playing for kills. He turns his attention. Wait, Chad, I can't save my meme. In the final moments from Vitality. Oh, now I can save it then. Top two, they lock Fnatic in alongside them, pushing down G2 and Team Heretic. And what an incredible performance to do with. Daglas getting control of that bot side, making sure in good shape. Photon has been an incredibly strong performer for Vitality so consistently on the Jace showing wow. up again. G2, man. What happened? That, Fnatic and Vitality are our top two, with G2 shifting right the way down to third. Fnatic first place, yeah, G2 third place. They got the plays on top side. Balin, yeah, a little bit iffy, kind of as expected given the. I'm the in Fnatic for spring split. To lead. Took over your key player of the game at. We see on X Photon, Daglas, Hillisang. Are your options all very good options? I'm not going to try to sway you anyway, but what I will say, as we see the final bow here. Wait, chat, I need to edit my meme. In the regular season. Yo, chat, I fucked up my meme. I fucked it up. Just Ooh. confirmed it. And now we can head to a quick break. No, I took I took like 20 minutes to make that and I fucked it up. No! <laughs>
how? How do I change the color of the text? Yo. Now my meme. Wow. This is amazing. Yeah. I mean I had a break so. Uh, do you want to try? I'll be right back. Do I want to try. <laughs> no, man. Even the biggest champ needs a break. Wow, Vidi. Okay, I tweeted now. What are, no, 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 no. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, keep it. It was so good. This is better. Cajal makes the meme and then he cancels it. Shut up. Where did it go now? I swear on Grump I tweeted that shit. Why am, I, why am I so bad at tweeting? What happened to me? Am I washed? Her? Okay, it worked. It worked. Chat. Grandpa made a meme, chat. Grandpa made a meme. Grandpa made a meme, and it's funny. Look at that. Wait, so this means Heretics finishes fourth. But, Marek, what's, what is this humanoid tweet? He tweeted... I am third place in LEC. You all suck. Thanks for the free low. The fuck? Uh, what is he on about there? Chat, the comments in my tweets are good. You're saying it's a funny meme. You're saying I'm funny. Really? Now the big question is, chat, is K-Corp out or are they in? Is K Corp out or uh, what is this? Is K Corp out or are they in? Wait, there is actually a Reddit thread with VTO being number one on Reddit. What is this? What did VTO do? And unfortunately, that mid lane champ is 10 times better than ours right now. Thank you. I'm gonna. Like, look at this guy! This is a pro player, by the way. Are you seeing this? Like, imagine the ego this guy has to have <laughs> as a pro player to do this. It's disturbing <laughs> behavior, you know? Like, I understand if he's smurfing out his mind and people are making him. But look at this guy, right? Like, tell me this is, like, him trying to win, you know? Crazy. Thank you so you much. You know what the crime. funniest Welcome thing of this team. whole game I is, Chad? Enjoy your stay, man. Really appreciate this. The funniest thing is, Jackie loves there. Fault. And he's the one that's supposed to be negative gaming. <laughs> that's the funny part. <laughs> If you know the Jackie Love lore, it gets even better. <laughs> uh, what a good one. You're streaming in 720p, little pup. No, I'm not. Chat, you know the region is fucked when Noah tweets, like players, like for example, Noah tweeted. Ha ha ha, we were mega shit. We got first place, lol. <laughs> Fuck sakes, man. Why can't we have like the Gen GT one? You're like, oh my god, these super teams. Welcome back to the LEC. Super Hello, insane everyone. teams. We are joined with Douglas from Vitality. Congratulations. Nope. Everyone's just on a clown ass. Against G2. Something we touched upon today was that the LEC, anything can happen. So you guys won against G2. How does that feel? 
and it feels great to will this is kind of awkward tweet now g2 the, that's kind of awkward thing. i think we are in in form that we are preparing for players. Can we change it? And Yo, Fnatic, can we, uh, Fnatic, I don't know if you're in the chat, but can you tweet in our last game? G2 gameplay That's when it matters and place. then just put their logo there? Yeah, I completely agree. I think you guys have been scaling up, especially since last split to now. It's been an insane amount of improvement. I've been really impressed can you do that? with the way the team's go. Like, can you do that? Can you fucking together, flame them back? The point. It's been really or should I do it? Yeah, particularly when we're looking at this game, uh, we're looking at G2, a team I'll that give you five minutes. isn't the greatest when it comes to that early game. Scroll down. And the composition that you picked, the place out that you went for, it felt like that was something that you were G2 looking to survive have to, secure first. to then be able to No one wants like first in this league. <laughs> well, I think uh, our preparation against the True. was really good. I think our coach Carter and Pat did a really good job before and we had a really good plan for the like first for the early game mm -hmm. and I think it just today I think G2 made some mistakes that we punished mm. so that's what put us yeah some the lead. Sorry to cut you off. Something I've noticed you guys do on Vitality, right? Whenever your backs are against the wall, it feels like you will just draft five comfort lanes. You have Photon on his Jace. You have Hilly on his Rakan. I think he has something like a 60% win rate. It's most played champion by far. Your rel, of course, is synonymous with Rel by now. Um, is this something you come into the day with, you know, we're going to concede lane prior. We're going to concede, you know... Look uh, at the standings, little bro. To make sure we have... Let me have a look at the standings. And that's going to bring us over the finish line. Is that something that actively... The standings haven't been updated yet, but Fnatic's first. I think that is definitely one thing that yeah. we are looking forward to. For You're today, washed. Our plan was it's uh, over. That You're done. To, like, remove okay, thanks for that. Comfort zone. Thank you for that. Enemy spot lane. So then yeah, no, I appreciate that link. Thank you. Mm. I think we did that, and we put ourselves in a really good spot. Yeah, looking at particularly how you were approaching the ball, and it was also the mid lane that felt a little bit heavy on the focus. Particularly, we have a bureau they would like to show you from the gank on Caps. I felt like there was a lot of pressure on there as well. Could you talk us through the thought process here? Well, I think uh, chat. Where's the my region like mode? Enemy Ari worth level one. So that meant that Viego should be behind her, level 3. But in game, we knew we hard stomp to V2. So we just hard force this play. Mm. So using the info of the knowing the ward was placed down and knowing that you could pull this off because of the 2v2 uh, was the decision making there. All right, it seems like you guys are playing a lot better 2v2. Can you tell me about your improvement? Because I feel like a lot of uh, play people were down on you, like especially in the last split. But it feels like in recent games, You've really stepped up, no? Um, would you say so? I have like worse and better games. Yeah. But I think it's all about the confidence. Like game by game, I'm getting more confident and I'm playing more aggressive. Out. Chat, can you believe that today we had a four way tie for 10th and a four way tie for first? Playoffs. Looking forward to see you guys in the BO3 series. Uh, we're going to be heading over to our casters because we have KC going up against BDS. A lot of stakes on the line here, so Drake House and Dagda, please do break this one down. All right, everybody home. It's class. It's so cool. I'm gonna make this very clear. BDS Chat, I'm going to keep making it look like our region sucks with these tweets. I'm going to keep tweeting this so that when we get to MSI, everyone, no one is disappointed. Whereas if they win, everyone is super happy. It's really smart. This is crazy good what I'm doing for the region. I'm saving the region's mental. Okay, it's been a rough few years. I'm setting them up for success here. It's called reverse copium. Reverse hopium. The head -to -head victory. We're so, already disappointed. So I'm to see yeah, but as am I. If BDS you can't be more disappointed. Can you? You fuck. Can you SK. stop putting that picture in the comments of every tweet? So way we get a tie can you fucking questions. stop that? It's you again, the fucking cat guy. I want to. That I picture say, needs to go away. To. I don't know why. Maybe it's self-destructive, but I just want more League of Legends. Casey, three back-to-back -back games to try to cement themselves in the playoffs. I can't think of a better story. Or a better way to end the week, I mean, especially with this fan or this group of Carmine Corp fans. Because the thing is, it doesn't really change. All right, if K Corp wins, three-way tie. If K Corp loses, 
Still Rogue vs. SK, sixth game tiebreaker. SK, who would then have to play two tiebreakers yeah. to make their way out. But we'll focus one game at a time. Again, reminder, one tiebreaker regardless, two tiebreakers if you You know what? Win. I just want Carmine Corp to win for the memes. Of this game, and I'm sure the AD will cover it as well. For now, though, Varus, Oriana, Zinzao, Bandaway, Callista, Karma, and Rumble to follow in the debate here. For Casey, what do they want to lock at first? A lot of people with this first pick buy. A lot of people with the first pick AD carry. Who's vulnerable to buy? It's a tough call. I think it'll be buy. I think, uh, although, to be fair, Thinking back to last year, Bo was not an exceptional boy, so uh, definitely went a little over aggressive and didn't have a way back out. Yeah. So we'll have to see, especially with the slight improvement. The last the time Fnatic was first place in a regular season was 2018. That was 2046 days ago. You make sure that you're going to be fine there. And then it's a question of what does Shea want to try and take into the jungle, or are you just an RE priority team? Do you really want to just go back towards that comfort for Nuke? RE, right, not a bad option into the buy. Yes, there is the point click CC of the vibe, but you can kind of dash away in the duration of it. Give yourself some space to work with. Maokai would be a very defensive pick. Lee Sin would be more fun. But Rel has looked really good. Uh, honestly, this entire week especially. It was a bit shaky, I think, in the earlier weeks of spring. But this week, the teams have tried to close out their season. A lot more confidence on the engages. And Casey not abating. I think the Talia makes a lot of sense. Obviously, this is a reliable level 6 duo. Really hard for Team BDS to pick anything in the mid lane that is not incredibly vulnerable to the Talia and Vi combo. All right, Vi, Talia, Smolder. Jesus, K Corp needs that win. Look at Upset. Blue. Blue, blue, blue. All right, we're done, thank fuck. I think the Nico, as you say, works well. You've already got a lot of your damage coming through in this area, so you've just being able to enable her is more your your big opportunity. Plus, Realist, you know that Adam is going to take some variant of AD damage in the top lane, whether it's an Aatrox, an Olaf, or an Ectin, whatever along those lines it might be. So, we'll have to see, though, how aggressive you can play here as BDS. All right, you know what? You got the I don't care about game quality. I just want Jesus to take the wheel and have fun with it. Run away with it. Go crazy. Go on, give us a banger. I don't want K Corp to get stomped, but I don't want BDS to get stomped. Just turn into the fattest shit fest you can fucking conjure up. That's all I want. Has more levels, maybe ignite. You can't put down a lot of kill pressure, but Casey waiting on that support pick, trying to get as much information as they can before they decide what they want Targamus to bring out. The Volibear taken, the Renekton taken from Cabo, not wanting to have any more reliable CC to set up either the Talia or the Vi. They, there's a question here for BDS though, is like, how greedy do you go in the bot lane? Like, do you go for Zeri Lulu, knowing you're against Smolder and you're like, hey, you can go for it? I, I'm kind of with your wincing face on this one, yeah. Dracos, which is, I think, take engage, take some sort of um, roaming support here for Labrov that can get him buffed, maybe even throw the, t the rel down to him, but just get something that can play more aggressive on the map. The last time Fnatic made first place was 2,000 days ago. Cajal's been, been in Fnatic. I think Lulu is a champion that can be very strong. For I'm, 60 I'm days. Fan, uh, as you may have noticed, Rob, That's what like I'm saying. Output floor. Like no matter what you do in the lane phase, that's they do what something. I'm saying. Lulu is not one of those champions. If you fall behind, if you're not able to push an advantage, uh, it'll be that's what I'm saying. Any champion very likely to be able to push their advantage against Smolder early on. So we'll see. BDS, do they want to save their counter pick for Cabo? Where's Yamato? Wanna, what do you mean, sorry, where's yeah, Yamato? Adam, or do they want? Are they going to pick Nautilus? I think he could just take the Aatrox Ooh, here. Ooh, really with Shio Lee Sin. Incredibly strong. We actually see a high priority now to K, but yeah, they are actually going to give the Relic. Alistar, not bad for Carmine Corp, but I don't know if Targamas can play Alistar. Jungle here again. Good lock up, good setup here for the Lee Sin, which is all he really wants. And then it becomes a question mark of what does Adam want to try and bring Oh, Brawl, I hate that. I guess Rakan Bam saves it a bit. Yeah, Lulu's. good. They could play Renata, though. Need to be careful of Zeri Renata. Only blocks the damage output essentially reliably of the Zeri. Pop Blossom still going to be a threat from Nuke no matter what they do. Yes, you can um, take the Tangle Barbs out of the equation, the Blooming Burst, but it's, you know, still something that has to be respected. We'll see how well Targum is compiled. Cabo Shard, Jace. Jace on the top side for Cabo Shard, certainly a bold call, but we've seen two good Jace games so far. I mean, they could go Rel support, they could go Renata. I'm not Rel support, sorry. What am I saying? They have Rel releasing. of course they're playing Rel support. 
We could go Malphite. Nah, no, Malphite's pretty is, shit. Kind of what does Adam play into Jace? Olaf seems a like bit tricky. Cabo, so we can get a wave crash What's Adam's champ? Okay, he's an Olaf. Okay. Okay, chat. Will K Corp make it? You can sub to avoid ads, but you won't get ads right now, so that's pretty good. But you can sub to avoid them if you want to support the stream. What is that, man? We're getting worse. It's getting worse. Pre six, you know, Adam's still gonna have ghosts, so it's just hard to get away from the Olaf. Yes, you have the thundering blow, the Jace hammer form E. Is it enough to keep Adam away? But at the same time, as we saw against SK, part of the reason they are in this tiebreaker scenario now, couldn't close against Adam's Olaf. We'll see if Casey do it a little different. You can hear the passion of the Casey fans in our studio here in Berlin. Ale coming. But if we want to bring them back. In the playoffs, this is one of three wins. They it's will crazy. Heretics could have been first place if they just won. They didn't win. Fnatic could have taken first place if they just won. They didn't win. G2 could have been first place if they won first place. If they win, they didn't win. No one wanted first place. Alright. I actually thought that was going to be so massively big brain from BDS for a second. So you can see already this ward that's been placed on this top side here. This is coming through from Carmine Corp because essentially they know, hey, we want to make sure Olaf isn't hiding in the jungle. We want to make sure Cabo Shard is able to get some vision control on this top side so we can hop in and out of these bushes and get that wave push that he needs. A BDS in response, I thought they were going Watch to go the stream in 1080p. Motherfucker, I'm watching it in 1440p. I'm 400 pixels above your requirement. I am that tall to ride the ride. Than taking E for the follow up, and Labrov not being the one to set up for the play, BDS is gonna back away instead. Without BDS shoes on, I am that tall, bitch. You're, you're shoe checking me there on the right, uh, bro. Even without the shoes, I'm tall enough, pussy. I'm caught off guard. That is the first skin I have seen where Lee Sin very noticeably has hair, and this is throwing me off. He has a big, majestic ponytail, and it is messing with my brain. <laughs> Yeah, we took it all off of Mirwin and gave it to Lee Sin. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna Mirwin. Locks mm. for love, Mirwin. Good on you. Had to donate. He looks great. Yeah, he does. Good shaved head. Upset again. Oh, God. Smolder stuff. Smolder. Not good early. Scale's good. Needs to CS. Needs to hit enemy champions with a bill. Oh, nice but trade. In this case, if Lebrov's just gonna walk in and eat a bunch of free Well, I don't have to tell you about the comps because you can see one team has Smolder, so their scaling is almost cool infinite. But BDS's comp, Rel, Nico, Olaf. Oh, hang on. Ooh, flash committed now. That is a lot of damage. Doesn't have level two, doesn't have the unbreakable upset, not gonna be too effective, but Targum is forced to flash out. Well, not damage, but I guess engage. On the second engage there. Okay, so it's about to say a sick, lot of engage. Essentially, you can play for sides with your solo laners and just let upset free farm in mid. He'll eventually get control because he just one shots the wave and you get to stack. That's perfect for you. That's not a big win though for Targumus, who I might have to hold off. Oh, nice Q flash, uh, E flash by Nuke. Oh, Saken. Blood for BDS, well played by Nuke and Shale. Just about able to clip him on the backside with that auto attack as well. Sets him up perfectly, and now this is starting to be alarm bells ringing, right? You've already lost Targumus' flash on that ball. A lot of pressure on K Corp, man. You know, the thing with K Corp is if they win this game, they're 3 6, but then they have to beat SK in a tiebreaker. And then they have to beat Rogue in a tiebreaker. And then they'll make it into top 8. Now, the winning part of the lane, or at least where they have pressure, is top lane. Or Cabo, but that can fade away and Axe connects if Lee Sin is there to follow up. Cabo's advantage can disappear in the blink of an eye. We know scaling is still the name of the game for the side of KC, but falling this far behind early on. Giving so they have to win three best of ones. Give BDS the angle to snowball much faster than initially expected. Bo at least ahead in jungle CS for now. Not going to turn into a goldie though because of the assist. No matter what, there's another game after this though because Rogue and SK need to play the tiebreaker. Top side, Shale has to be even being here. Oh, both. Damage coming in. Relentless force there as well as the denting blows, but now Nuke first on the roam. Bo, Bo has to be careful. Flash out. Now going through Vault Breaker there. He does not want to hit on the Nuke. No flash on Nuke. Man, Bo is cracking skulls. Sonic Wave is there, but Bo is smurfing that shit. KC finding a kill on the top side. They needed to burst that bow immediately, but they weren't able to do so. You had the push for Cabo in that top side and taking it to come across as well. Bo smurfed that fight. Mid lane, but I don't think you're get Full pushed out the Lee Sin. Level advantage from the Lee Sin mid play. And uh, yeah, Nico's coming and she drops the E on him. So what he does, he flashes over it. Holds the Q. 
Shao also not able to follow up on this tiny little sonic wave that goes wide. Ooh. And then Bo able to finish off the kill there. Really nice stuff from Carmine Corp working I thought you hated waves. all the KC yeah, players. What do you mean I hate it? When have I ever said I hated there, them? I don't hate anyone. To fully to that one, relying What's on a pro player? Advantage to get him away from the burst that would come in from Nuke. Makes the play work out for them in the end. In the meantime, upset. Fully committed to his role as a scaler, as is Ice. Double Cole coming out in the bottom lane. But still a 300 goal lead in the mid lane for the side of BDS, but a 300 goal lead for Bo on the opposite side for KC. Potentially something they can play around and look to leverage more. Getting closer to level 6, about to tick over to level 5. Yeah, I think they're not, not going to be able to do too much for Bo at the moment. All right, Bo's dropping Drake. Need to clear your top side out before he can get that. He can clear top or he can clear grubs. Also, like off of also hate is a strong six, word, Chad. I think the flash might just be up before you can really get that uh, opportunity to play towards that as well. So I imagine instead we might actually try and see him. But well, honestly, I was going to... Hey, Kato, you're the best. Memer, yeah, rapper, singer, streamer, caster, analyst, pro player, comment creator. Keep it up. Adam just presses all I mean, you're right about, the, you're the right about rapper. Right. Yeah. So I think it is a case of trying to play the for some sort of timer here on towards Nuke. I didn't add like the, the rapper and the... the he can then use his own ult to help Memer pop in the dono. play for a different side lane. LeBron roaming up, not spotted, but pings are out at least a little bit. Bo will clear out the grubs. Now they know exactly where he is positioned. They were already picking the grubs Ooh, earlier. Second, no flash. They would clear top side into that option. Taken, no flash from the initial play. Sonic Wave connects, but they see Surprise, LeBron didn't full send it. Oh, Bo is just here. going in. Just continues to step in, knowing Targamus is there. Aggressive maneuver for Bo. I'm surprised BDS didn't try to turn onto the vibe. Yo, I want K Corp to win, man. Come on. It's like they're in the Elite Four doing a fucking Nuzlocke. Most of them already gone to Shio, but okay. If either of those skills are connected, that might have been a very different story. Like, let them win the game. Yo, bro, if they win this game, it's, gr it's great. And then they lose the next one. Oh my god, Nuke, what the hell? Oh my god, Saken, man. They're missing everything. Oh my god. Yeah, Cabo just wants to try and go for the chip damage on the terror. Don't want to try and overextend. They know that Adam is reset, so if it really they missed everything. To move down there. No upset. Taking a little bit of damage off Wise, but he'll be fine. He's going to go for the reset as well. Messi, Messi plays on both sides with the mid laners whiffing a lot of stuff, but the kill goes to BDS. I'm set up to be careful here, too. Zeri has ultimate up, which is a nice little bit of burst to kick things off and a lot of movement speed. Upset, <coughs> excuse me, has flash, can't get away, but will opt to stay here. Ice just going to push out the wave and back off. That was a weird one, Rob. Yeah. Did you lose here? I don't know if I want to watch it back. <laughs> I think it was so just BDS say, small like, the lead. Difference was how many of these spells went wide. Seiken, I don't know how I feel about Cabo Shard Jace. I mean, I haven't well. seen his Jace enough to know. That's actually dealing damage in that scenario because Seiken's been forced away by Nuke. It was a, a kind of a comedy of errors, to be perfectly honest. I think the only, <laughs> yeah, the only nice thing for KC in that context is Nuke also kind of whiffed some yeah. spells as well, but ultimately. Um, it's just like that episode. Second has flash. It's like those episodes of Dragon Ball Z. You know, the scary like, thing is BDS has so much playmaking, man. It's crazy. Ready and charge it up and then it aside and exactly. like hits the wall. Yeah. Ooh, Targamus. Man, it must be tough. It must be frustrating to spear a bomb and then win. Oh, big kill Targamus. for Ice. Targamus kind of griefing. Targamus the chance to spear a bomb. Picked off by the side of BDS. His AD carries in base. Except, uh, pretty far in. BDS just caught him. I have no idea what he was doing. Well, I think he just assumed that there was a recall there. I wasn't entirely sure where people were positioned on the map. Bo going to be forced to ult to try to mitigate the upfront. He's dead. CC unraveled. Earth kickback is good. And Bo now Bo's all in mid when his support Pacheo just died. No man's land. It will not matter. However, BDS still so far ahead in the play. KC's. Like what the season fuck? starting to fall apart in front of them. 1K gold lead for BDS. Three kills ahead. I have no idea what he was doing. Nothing here. I'm Brady sorry for saying you hate K-Corp earlier. You know, I wanted your attention because I'm parasocial. Okay. And then when he dies, Bo goes, you know what? That looked like a great idea. Now Targamus goes, let me show you how it's really done, mate. And yep. then goes now Targamus is dead again. And he's going to succeed. Try, yeah. try again. Oh, good God. Back to the grave. It's a complete Fourth cat despair charm, game. I swear. For Casey. This is difficult. I think it is safe to say. Complete cat While despair. While KC fans remain endlessly passionate, endlessly supportive, um, you know, right now it is not panning out in the KC lineup as they get further behind. Bo, now here to clear the vision. 
And this is a, it's a sad sight. You know, you really want in these final games for, for support jungle to be working well. And while Targamus and Bo have often been in the same place, the plays have not really been working out. Yeah, they've been in the same place, just opposite times. Yeah, you know, yeah this chase the pick is that it's even against the Olaf. Mm. But they weren't there at the same time. They were there together at Raptors. Well, this hasn't died yet, I guess. Spirit. They were also united. Smolder 68 stacks. Skills, and that's... Yeah, mean, nothing's looking great for K-Corp right now. That, like, Mid bot has point, flash. Win, you can Top is ungankable for Vi. On your side. Yes, you have to win two more games, but that little sliver of hope starts to grow into something bigger. But when you fumble like this and you make mistakes, when top lane, which has been doing well, you is about to get here, completely maybe? No. deleted, hope starts to fade away. Adam, uh, three winning lanes now. Leveraging the power of that Ragnarok Shale already on the second spawn of Grubs. Ice in the bottom lane, taking plates, making sure that Upset cannot farm comfortably. He can't dive in though, he's playing Zeri. This is just gone from bad to worse for KC. Here comes Mom. But, uh, Zaken? On the way down, trying to knock Ice can live Ice. here. Knockback flashed away from Ice. Oh, Still he didn't hit that Q. Brief moment, threaded volley, shut down oh, if he hit that Q onto upset, he could have dashed forwards for and killed him one for one. Zaken just needed to get in the face of Ice and say, no, I'm having none of, none of this. Needs to get that damage off. Manages to land it perfectly. And then Nuke, he's a minion. But I don't know what else he can do. All right. Here we are, they can fight this, I think. Oh, Bowler. He's gonna die, in. though. Oh, we'll life, but the dragon is gone. oh my Something god, this game is a horror. Casey, the shutdown was good. But, I mean, look at the bottom of your Why are you saying Pedro head. supports my team, it's Cat Despair? Fnatic's first is. place, and I'm not supporting anyone here. Yes, How is that a Cat Despair? Not so hidden scaling component of the stacks, and you can see on his picture, if you look real close, 76 at this moment in time. Also, Damon's gonna beat KT on Saturday or Sunday. Need to up the pace here if he wants to be the reason that KC bring this one back. Yeah, I just I don't know how KC try to bring this back from this position, right? We've seen no linking up between mid jungle. Uh, upset, he hasn't really gotten to a position where he's really scaled to a point where he's threatening. <laughs> and BDS, they've already started. It's true though. Ever since I became a caster, Europe's sorry, international well, success went downhill. Now, what does that tell you? Does that tell you Kyoto is a curse, or does it tell you that Kajal's skill level buffed the region? Ah, oh, that's a good question. That's a good question. Do you believe in curses and the fucking fake data dog shit ghosts, or do you believe in Cajal's fucking skill level buffing the region? Huh? Which one's more real, huh? And which one's more real, huh? Ghosts. BDS slowly pushing their vision line forward. Luckily for Casey, they haven't made it. Chad, ghosts aren't real. What are you on about, though? It's only one answer. You can see the setup. They're ready to collapse, and there's not a lot of counterplay when there's this much CC and an Olaf pack and Ragnarok. Oh, Cabo Shark well, walks 07 in. Cabo. Devastating. Wait, what happened to the kick? Oh, there it is. Well, Shea, Ward hop forward, kick back. Ooh, so, what the hell? Time. Nope. Shea on a killing spree. Knows he's fed, knows he's powerful. Happy to take that one as Adam. Gets the consolation prize of a couple extra plates. Everything now going. Is K Corp the there? Yeah, I, I just feel bad for Cabo Shark. Hello? Like, no like, what are they doing this game? Has been cleared out on that top end, and he needs to try Bo has and been trying to do things, but... Just does fall further and further behind and just becomes irrelevant. Like Where is everyone? Seen, he's a full level behind. He's already massively far, far behind in gold. And at this stage, there's nothing you can do. Adam, I'm pretty sure, especially as he hits level 11, should just be able to kill Cabo. You know Yamato's hitting the gritty in his living room right now. Yeah. I mean, Ooh, I wasn't the problem. He's fucking wide timing in that shit, shit watching, watching this game. He's fucking him. grittying. Phase rush can help. The knockback can help when he doesn't have ulti. But when you start to fall behind against this champion, Adam just takes over. And there was no response. You can see the bow was just sitting in that bot side uh, map or in the bot side brush, hoping that maybe he could make something happen, but Ice back to the right the way off. Labrov and Shea were like, cool, we're just going to keep our own jungle safe. So, KC get nothing. And again, two minutes now until next dragon. You've also got but, uh, the Herald that's about to spawn as well. And KC moving into the area, but maybe with Labrov and Reset, they can pick this up. But this is going to be a really tight timer. Shea clearing out the Raptor camp. We'll likely check this quick Sonic wave in. Yep. Those has been spotted. Lays down the vision and... Olaf has reset. Adam with no TP means man advantage for KC, and it looks like BDS might just give this one up. Upset on the way as well. Meanwhile, Nico split pushing in bottom lane. And uh, LeBrov all the way on the bottom side of the map. 
Maybe once again trying they to got get Herald. Combo as he goes for the wave, Smolder stacks, he has 101. Start for KC, something I don't think that really BDS had to give up. No, I think they could have been in a better position for it, especially if Adam had actually got It's Yamato's fault he put the roster together. The <laughs> what? But now, you're gonna have I think Yamato probably brought Bow and Upset. The, uh, the who are right, probably the two players who you can breaker, forgive the, the most. Stridebreaker, thank you. you. <laughs> for Adam, so I think they probably the locked in Cabo Saken and Targamas without coach opinion. My guess. in that position. I'm with BDS getting first tower as well. We know the Adam Classic. Not to say that, you know. But hindsight is a beautiful thing, chat. It's going to be open full force as well. Although I think he is just going to reset and actually swap with Nuke so he can keep Nuke a little bit more threatening. Well, at least the kick our fans are going. Ooh, ooh, ooh. fans endlessly cheering, trying to these players with hope even as the game starts to look hopeless. Upset. I think he's had a really solid season individually, but in this game, you know, opting for the smolder. The potential of what it could bring is there, but might not have the time to scale up. They just have to watch, just has to wave clear as the rest of the map falls apart around him. So BDS trying to match K is there a game after this game? Yeah, it's Rogue versus SK. BDS Loser is Raus. But how does, how does anyone do anything to this Olaf? He's five levels up against Targamas. <laughs> He just ran past the wall. What the hell? This game is fucking donezo. Nice job by BDS the Raiders. It was second dragon for BDS. So Casey were like, okay, we have Rift Herald. I feel like Carmine and co comms are probably completely silent right now. Here. Something for our solo laners, but BDS just say, cool, we don't mind leaving Dragon at this stage. We get the turnaround play on top side, and we can this still go for Dragon though. anyway. And that's why once they saw Shale here, they're like, oh, crap. We know exactly what BDS are about to do. Great flash from Adam over the wall. Shale lands that Sonic Wave as well, which then sets up nicely to try and follow through. Shale, unfortunate there. Could have gotten Saken, but nice flash from Saken to match the kick flash from Shale. But BDS still come out massively on top. And you can see frustration on the face of the KC coaching staff. It's hard. I mean, there's not a lot of counterplay when an Olaf is this strong. Even when you're moving in a support jungle, it's textbook. It's how you're supposed to do it. If there happens to be an Olaf in the brush, your man advantage suddenly means very little, especially when Olaf is this fed. But that's the thing, right? I think when we came into this game, we're like, cool, how is Bo <laughs> You're all look ill. Everyone's playing PPX. Reset. It had to be playing Reset. Lanes, but it was more lanes playing for Bo. And when everything Reset able to the brain. Capitalize on Nuke having no summoner spells available. That, should be able to back away, yeah. And, not, and also then not being able to get that vision or the push control for Cabal Shard in the top side. BDS were just able to punish really effectively around those points. So I do think, again, it's kind of coming back to, is this the right champion for a player like Bo? Yeah. I, I mean... There's only the one meta, man who can save K Corp now, Chad. Oh he shares the same first letter with God. Quick, and you can call him Gilligan. <laughs> Didn't use flash in the last player of the ball. Just managed to ghost pass. I thought I saw him use it too, but he still had it. So it obviously did not. It's just that you what, bro? You what, bro? You said, huh? It's just a second you see the flick back. The man, miracle run. Just, the the miracle run he's man himself. Here, like, God, Gilius. SK behind the scenes somewhere right now. Gearing up for a tiebreaker. God, Gilius and Morgan top lane. <laughs> Because remember, uh, again, if Casey win, they have to play SK, and then the winner of that plays Rogue. But if, if Casey get knocked out here, if they lose, they're out, and then it's just SK versus Rogue for the final playoff spot. We will always play a tiebreaker. And maybe Henna bot. I think Rogue that team would do well. BDS set up for a potential dive on mid, but looks like they're just going to try and uh, sync up with Nuke in the top side. But I think maybe the question support, then becomes though. like, what, what is this and experiment mid, for Carmen Corp going to be? Because it's been two splits now where we get to see some improvement, but it's clear that it's not a team that's... Is able oh Trimby, to what's up? Yo want. Trimby, what's up? I mean, this close to hitting playoffs, it's kind of heartbreaking that they're not able to just about make it work. Well, and I think that you can't say can yeah, these French fans shut up and then say I'm French in brackets as if you're forgiving yourself. Don't be a dick, man. They're trying to support their team. Let them cheer for their team, man. There's nothing wrong with that, though. If anything, respect that they're cheering when they're 6k down. 
And you do have 10 weeks after this to potentially get that back functioning, right? Which you could improve, but at that stage, it's like, do we want to take that? And you'll never and try walk. And summer, trying it to worlds, but if summer doesn't go well, well then you don't have a huge amount of playtime this year. Yeah, we changed the format slightly. Uh, I mean, placing high in summer is really important regardless of, of championship points, but even then, a uh, Yo, Slab Langton 5 gifted. All right, 6k gold like deficit. Herald is uh, trying to find a lane that's winning so he can do something, but it's struggling right now. So he's just going to pound some minions because he's mad. Silver lining. On many, many clouds, this split has been smolder. And in a lot of our games, especially in the first week before the hotfix, uh, yeah, it was just an inevitable bit win. Oh! Oh, damn! You saw that You saw that pass on Olaf? Damn, motherfucker teleported past him. Hell yeah, get rolled, idiot. Holy fuck, that's the best player the, the, the game so far. From the KC side, they really need to do something, otherwise the game's over. Just force, 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 yeah, force. Ulta. Yeah, full send it. Boom, there it is, there it is, some life. It looks like a good start to think, but Ice ulting, and now he's just gonna try to clean up the fight. Unbreakable, protecting Sake, and upset. Standing behind. Mom up and available. When is it gonna get called in? Ice skating forward. Do they want to step up, or are they happy with what they have so far? Sonic Wave connects. Resonating strike. Will it be there? Unbreakable to block Ice from following up any further. The broad may have over. Yo, KC wins those. Saken is on a killing spree. Can Smolder carry this? Nah, not really. He can get out there. Next game. They tried to get out just before the frat bro showed up, but unfortunately. Oh wait, there is no next game. Oh. Right as he okay, well, next bit then. Nobody wants to get caught in that conversation. Yo, Saken is trying though. Like Saken, <laughs> like okay, Bo is one five, but his dad owns the dealership. He is forcing shit. He is forcing shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but he, like you can see here, right? O Olaf, Brolaf, re uh, setting in the bot side, trying to get up to the top side. Kick flashed away from from bow could have been really nice from Shale, but they do get one. And BDS are trying to buy time where oh, Adam can actually get back into this yeah. fight. I mean, it's the only front line they've got. No one else, else is going in. To move forward. And that's kind of what they do. I don't know. I feel bad, man. Like Cabo Shard was one of the best tops in ERLs. Sakin was one of the best mids. Targa was one of the best supports in, in ERL. Krakop was doing really well. Bo was supposed to be a god. And upsets, upsets. So for them to perform like this is kind of crazy. Like that is bad. Well, you weren't you weren't gonna outrun him, right? Teleport was really the only angle to escape. Ultimately, you end up being a sacrificial lamb. You might have just been able to escape, but the vision comes down. Yeah, he's been slamming an energy drink since like 3 p.m. So he just never ever. You can understand, man. He's always grinding. Passive income. Upset has three tenth place finishes in a row. Yeah, that's the secret. No, he doesn't. Not in a row. That's not the bush you wanted to go. He has got three tenth place finishes though. I would Sigma male. <laughs> He's on his grind set. He's unstoppable. Ah, oh, Bo is they completely let him done, bro. Into his zone, Rob. That's the one rule. Don't let him into his zone. And now they're in the Baron zone. And BDS gonna be very, very happy about this. Still, a lot of members of KC trying to collapse here. Shale is not here. Just to be very clear, no jungler in the vicinity, and we're still going hard on this. Shale coming from behind. KC. See a window of opportunity. Five seconds on both. This is it. Cabo Shard's gonna steal Nash with Jace QE and the K Corp comeback is gonna begin now. Never mind. Reality check. The game's completely fucked and they're gonna lose in the next three minutes. Some nice poke damage. Casey don't have enough damage to finish the kill, sadly. 197 on upset. The timer about to tick over. The stack's about to tick over to 225, but that's a barren buff. And a 7k gold lead on the side of BDS. And a 6 kills Zeri. Who's you just broke Bo when you beat him in a 1v1. Very strong in his own regard as well. And I mean, I did beat him in a 1v1. That's kind of true. <laughs> I did beat him in a Lee Sin and a Yasuo 1v1. That did happen. And everyone's in a red coat. But it like did happen. Here, or maybe you can then unlock Saken to a slight bit. Upset's win rate in the last two and a half years is 842. Very easy for him again to just chase down people. That's why, like... Him just showing up here is causing issues already. All right, TP onto the bottom side. The another fuck? pick onto Bo. If the first jump succeed, uh, there's no way it is, right? Bush has been the death of KC. Is Wait, who what team is on? He's on Vitality, right? Vitality, K Corp, and. BDS. Game Fnatic, control. Huh? 
of the red quadrant of KC's jungle looking to break down the bot lane tier two. Bad Rob, I'm trying to get our window. off the back here. Cabo still trying to push in on top, so numbers advantage once again here for BDS on this bottom side of the map. Shane yeah, Bo is kind of done though. Is BDS gonna link up with him now? I don't even want to shit on Bo for ending this game. To be honest, just doesn't here. matter. Just Karen fucking lose. Lose in peace. Saken doing his best to clear the waves. An uproar from the KC fans. Targamas looks depressed, man. It's horrible. I'm done. You guys can joke and laugh around in the chat, but like, this is fucking depressing. Splits filled with despair. 220 for upset. Close. One more wave should do it. He's walking. His own jungle. It's been heavily Everyone spam XPP. Up, reset it. People are being complete dicks now. You always gotta beat someone when they're down, don't you, chat? You fucking rats. Shut up. But it's not a win the game button. You will still need a fight and opportunity to leverage that advantage or to leverage that strength. <laughs> this chat is ill. Well, mom to college. there's one more game after this. <laughs> he's just so strong. And he's just going to continue to push him. The KCOR fans are still being loud, but that ain't Jiwoo on Smolder. So you ain't stalling this game out, bro. That ain't happening. Again, it's just movement constantly here for BDS. If it was KC Jiwoo, maybe you could stall this game, but it's not. He don't got that Nongshim Red Force in him. KC fans again shouting themselves hoarse, giving it all. Could and seems to be Casey's final day on this stage for 10 weeks. You said it. And for some, it, maybe it's a sign of hope. 10 weeks, you can adjust, you can come back stronger. But for the players in this lineup, it's despair, knowing you have to be so far away the competitive game for so long. That's the thing. For KC, they're trying to spit up the map and see if they can catch people over rotating here for BDS, but BDS, they're not really giving them the opportunity. You'll always see that they're just basically like, they'll push out bot now. Chad, when does Summer Split start and nearly see it? Is it, is it do they get, to play off two is K-Corp now time. So on a four month break? In that top side of the map. Is it four months? They're gonna push out here, they're gonna push out here, and then look to establish all this vision in this quadrant. June, what is and it now? It's March, four, right? Um, well, it's basically April. So April, May, June. There's always the opportunity instead to just try and catch people as it's three months here, yeah. instead but it's the same idea right is just continue this push keep yourself in check and adam yeah he's gonna reset as well so it is gonna be the dragon fight coming through here for soul and for casey the caster has said 10 weeks really side is always so risky because if you lose the fight ice is already shoving in mid and it makes it so hard to actually try and contest yeah. and even if you know bds give up dragon Cool, it's a second dragon for KC, whereas they just crack your base. It's so hard for KC to find a good play. Just a hundred different shades of bad, hundred different shades of trading down, hoping, praying to trade even, to buy more time again for Smolder, to get a few more stacks, a few more waves under your mid laner, is even now, Zaken has a bit of a gold lead over Nuke, not much, but perhaps could make the difference in the fight. Well, here comes their last fight the for wave. three but months. Adam doesn't have TP. Eight, nine K gold lead, soul for BDS. Smolder has two, five, two stacks. Level 15, Nuke's a wolf on the left there. He is a wolf. Bo's trying to mark the flank, but he's going to stop Nuke from entering the... F what? Cabo stole it. Doesn't matter, but... Steel is not enough. The kickback from Jo is clean. It's a triple from Cabo. They look to finish the job right here. It started all right, but BDS not gonna go home empty-handed. But KC will find Oh my God, I would be so depressed exactly if I was KC right now. Nothing to pick up as BDS will trump them in their place and deny them that spot in playoffs. Domination just about from start to finish. One or two tiny glimmers in the early game, but it's just gone from bad to worse. For the second split in the row, KC will finish 2-7. SK and Rogue will play our only tiebreaker, and BDS will end their season 5-4.
A very clean game from BDS again. It's kind of going back to what has been their bread and butter. Get control in the early stages. There's the tweet. Farewell, K Corp. Control into that bottom side as well, and I mean, really, There's really the well tweet. Honestly, Adam Farewell, K Corp. Olaf as always as well. Definitely did. Of course, you can vote for your key player of the game at LVC on X. Cheo, Nuke, or Ice are your options. Commiserations, of course, to KC. And again, key player of the game. Talked about it a moment ago, but make sure you get your votes over there. Farewell. I mean, I'm kind of heartbroken for KC. I think it's been... And they've tried so hard to get everything to work, but unfortunately just hasn't been the case. And now, when they had that glimmer of but hope... Chad. Listen, without the storm, the sunrise never comes because the sun would never shine as bright if the clouds were never so dark. KC, back to the drawing board. Tough split. That's a life lesson for you right there. See who they're drawn against after our tiebreaker. Now we regroup, we recenter an interview with Adam after the break and the tiebreaker ahead. Don't go anywhere. That's a life lesson for you. Welcome everyone to the Kia Tilt Fifth Challenge. We're here to see if four game outs can stand up to the test. Chad. I do think this picture is really funny though. Like, I kind of want to tweet it. There's a really funny picture. I want to tweet it, but it's a stolen meme. It's really funny. It's stolen though. <laughs> it's... I'm so happy that I didn't eat before. It's so funny, but it's stolen. Like, <laughs> that is so funny. Like, that is so good. Oh my god. Oh my god, there you go. That's, that's good. That's a good one. I'm a memer. I like memes. That's a good meme. Gives you wings. Look at BDS's tweeter. <laughs> Bro, K Corp fans. Yo, K Corp fans. Don't flame me for that. It's just a joke. What is this? Uh? What is this? Uh? What the fuck is BDS tweeting? Holy shit. Sir. Oh my god. You know what I think KC should do, actually? It's time for Syncroft, baby. Is it just time for Syncroft? Do you think Syncroft just, like, fucking gives comfort to Sakin and Cabo? I feel like when Syn... Like, this might sound like a stupid take. But when Syncroft is with Sakin and Yamato... Uh, Yamato. Uh, so I was reading chat. When Syncroft's with Sakin and Cabo Shard... They look really comfortable. They look like they're playing at the level that they should be. But without Syncroft, without that voice, maybe they need to like, maybe Sakin and Cabo need to talk more and then that just hurts their performance. Because you cannot sit there, and I'm gonna defend them a bit here, okay, see? Now, I'm not the lawyer, okay? But you cannot sit there and tell me that Cabo, who was 
probably the best ERL top last year. Like his lane phase was great. He was super flexible. Like during summer, he was he was good. During spring, he was crushing. And then Sakin, who was like one of the best ERL mids, who won EU Masters four times, comes to LEC and they play that bad. Like there is for sure something wrong in the comms. 100%. And I think maybe Syncroft, as much as he might be a worse player than Bo, like I, I'm telling you from experience, having someone who is like a friend or someone you can rely on or someone who like helps cover off your weaknesses, even though they're not that good, really buffs the team. No joke. Like some players individually are better. But, um, like, uh, yeah, like it's the smallest of things from like early game plans to, to how to move around the map, to what they're playing for, to, uh, where enemy jungler is, what his pathing is, like trajectory pathing, like things like that. Uh, yeah. People are just choking in ERL. People are just choking, that's all. Yo, leader. Is it time for the return of leader? K Corp leader? Holy fuck. Leader, is it time? Have you been practicing your Azir? Let's have a look at leader's OPGG. If I see a control mage number one in this OPGG. Okay, you've been playing some way. Yo, leader, man. Oh, the Ari. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yo, leader, bruh. Leader, I've been telling you for four years to just play a zero Orianna, man. Just, just, just practice it. Just practice it. That's all you need. Wait, leader, do you want me to open that account on stream or not? Am I allowed to open that account on stream or not? No. Okay, leader sends me a secret account. He's been playing a zero and Orianna. Good job. Good job, leader. And he's been playing lots of mages on his other account. He's got a secret account that's got like a 90% win rate in Master. And he's been playing Oriana Azir on it. Good job. Or you could just be Zekka. Just be the EU Zekka. Like, leader, listen. I don't know if you watch Zekka and the other LCK. But that guy, when he plays Yone, Silas, Akali, Ari, he's one player. When that motherfucker plays Talia, Oriana, Corky. Bro, yeah, he's true. another like, player. Okay, like that's what I'm saying. Ratio, which is like not the most dramatic stuff, but I think um, at least how we are as a team right now and how the his Azir is good though. Perceive like our goal of this year, uh, like we're supposed to have like higher standards, you know. So finishing like five. His Talia is good. Okay, his Talia is on the fence. Like, it's decent, right? But it's not up to our expectations. But yeah. You know what they say, when you make mistakes, you get a chance to learn from them and move on. That's However, true. when you sat down and I said, yay, congratulations, you've locked in. You said, I'm really sad because I kind of kicked out Casey. Yeah, I mean, of course, it had like to be us, you know. This is like the, like, the bad luck in a way, I think. Because, I mean, I really like, like Casey a lot, right? And I think it's, uh, it's a shame that, you know, they're eliminated now. Uh, for the second time, they have players in which you know I care a lot about, and I hope that um, they will stay strong, you know, after after this period, because like they still remain insane players, right? Check PDS tweet, yeah, I saw Absolutely, it. and you've played with them. You have won in the ERLs. With I would them, like a losers interview. Now that might sound really dreary, but I would love uh, a losers in interview. And I'm, I'm gonna with bring a K up the player. draft right here, because. Um, Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna read this. I was taking pictures and I asked you for a picture and you're like, trouble, I can't. I really need to draft. And I'm like, <laughs> it's fine, man. You're gonna pick Olaf anyway. And you did. Yeah. I just wanna I, hear I mean, from, um, like, I was from one of the K Corp players. Uh, today, when I was discussing draft, like with the loser like, interview is fine. Is he gonna play? And there was like two sides that were like 100% sure. It, he goes Jace blind with Malphite or he will just blind pick Gragas. Uh -huh. I, th I think he decided to go for Jace, which uh, I think makes sense because they have Smolder. So I think their uh, game plan was like pretty straightforward from the beginning. They want to put uh, 
JS ahead in the beginning so that he, he can like have a good scaling and make a bridge until Smodo is enabled. Oh, well, that was a pretty good plan right there. Now, something that's also very weird about your draft is that I was expecting that Rel to go jungle. You know what? Sheo is a little bit of a Setsuani slash Rel merchant. He picked the Lee Sin to surprise to all of all us. All right, chat, it's time for the tiebreaker. about Sheo and Bo playing Lee Sin. Yeah, I, I mean, like the thing is, like Sheo likes to meme a lot about um, like uh, Sheo picking Kairi's jungle before Bo does. Um, so obviously, I, I think like the Lee Sin pick was also for the meme, I wouldn't say it's 100% for the draft. I would say it's also mostly f uh, for the Tiebreaker is best of three? No, it's best well. of one. Uh, <laughs> so, but I think he really stepped up today. Um, I think Sheo, like lately, uh, especially this meta, uh, enables him, I think, a lot. Uh, he's trying bum, to like, bum, uh, pull bum, out bum. more of his carry strength, and I bum, think bum. today was a great example of uh, showing his skills. Absolutely, and he did get Kia player of the game as well. So congratulations to him for stepping up and giving us a little bit of more leasing action. Maybe we'll see more. Oh um, man, I hope Kameto's okay, man. The line, like a Graves, like a Kindred. He's he's Chad, struggling. I guess Kameto like, was really solid. sad, right? It was Kameto really sad, or is he just kind of done? Is he like over it? He was mega sad. I feel like at that point you're just kind of done, right? Like I feel like he, he's like shit happens. It's like you see that happen for three months straight. I guess he's just a bit jaded, you know. He's just like whatever. What a big mistake. Okay, thank you very much, Adam, for the interview. Uh, last message to the desk is uh, Niski needs to wake up. Do you guys agree? All right, thank you so much for uh, that insight. Niski, wake up. That is something that we're going to be discussing ahead of the competition because we are looking at Rogue going up against SK. He said but the changes are coming. Into that, I think something we need to really yeah, the problem you have is like, overall has uh, right, the, the reality is, as much as we're all memeing and joking and I posted a funny picture, um, as an actual business, you can't just sign more players. It doesn't work like that. You can't just keep throwing shit at the wall and hope something sticks, you know? You have five players signed. Top what do you do? Do you sign one tighter. or two more and then move up from academy? Who's their academy support? I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm hoping the gameplay is going to continue elevating it going into the best of series. But for now, what a tight lead we have there. Yeah, yeah and with the losses Fleshy. all coming through from Carmine Core, unfortunately, it does mean that yeah, they he's are all right, actually. eliminated. They are not in I remember he plays a lot of Nautilus. Anymore. They are in that 10 spot going 2 and 7. Unfortunately, we didn't see them in playoffs during winter either, so that is a peculiar position to be in. And the fans have been supporting them through thick and thin, and that is something that they should be very proud of. Yeah, absolutely. I think. I don't know. I would. Um, I would. Uh, I would keep Cabo, and I would keep. Uh, I don't know. You. You have to cut somewhere, right? You have to. You have to. You have to keep. You have to keep some of these players. Like you might think, like Cajal, what are you on about? Who do you keep? How can you keep this? How can you keep that? Omega Lul. You have to keep someone. Like you do. You can't just buy five players in the middle of a, se of a year. It doesn't work like that. What are you going to do? Presto, I've got five T1 players. I don't know. I think Cabo is a keep. I would... I don't know. Linkas, I said before, I would just throw in Vladdy. I would throw in Fleshy. And I would maybe... Uh, the problem they have is they can't change upset because their other AD, he's too young to play in the LEC. So they just kind of have to full send that or something. I don't know. I, I, I really don't know how they're going to fix it. I think it's been a bit strange, right? They had such weird... Maybe they could sign one player. Yeah, like, you know, like leader or something or... Which is a big no-no usually. Only to counter pick with Zion Rakan, which just know. gets absolutely blasted early game. Mm -hmm. And then in the game against Vitality, I believe. I think if any player stays, I think upset's probably gonna stay. Drafts I've ever seen. It's probably what Adam was uh, referring to with the wake up. Uh, you just can't do anything, right? You're a, you're a package salesman. You just have to uh, wait to scale up with the rockets. But I think it's completely fake because they drop Niski down to uh, four or five, and there's just no picks left because the mid lane pool's pinched. I think they've absolutely got to change up um, the way they draft because it's not been good enough. Something that they have to improve for this one because at the end of the day it is going to be a BO1. And we've already seen a couple of tricks from Rogue coming out with their game against SK, but particularly their compositions have been. Kameto said they don't want to fuck up the academy team because they want them to win EU Masters. 
I think they finally just woken up with one specific uh, player. And yeah. that specific player has been Marcoon. I thought going into this split, or at least with the meta as I saw he was gearing up, Volibear, these early game junglers that we would see from him would be where he Well, that's really fucked then. Because this rogue roster apparently their EU, EU Masters team's doing well, apparently then. He didn't, but going into this week, he absolutely did. He's been so active, and he's been driving them ahead to put them in comfortable positions for the mid to late game. They're constantly finding these huge Wombo combo engages with the Ori ball delivery on the Volibear with the Flash, uh, finding all these ganks on the Viego. I'm a little worried about how the game goes for the side of SK because uh, Niski, in my opinion, has been really struggling, at least in terms of the early game, getting ganked a bunch, you know, oftentimes he will just die because there's no supporting vision, get caught under tower. There's so many things that go wrong in the mid lane when you have a veteran like Niski who needs to step up. Yeah, and absolutely, and that's the guy you gotta shut down now. That is Isma yep. who also needs to set up to recover the lane. Qualifying to Worlds is more important than EU Masters. Yeah, but you think about this chat. It's like, well, you, need to make you sure could you could fuck the EU Masters team and try and make a miracle run to Worlds, which is very difficult. Or you just band-aid Summer. But we've not seen it recently. And you do like a mid roster, you don't do anything, you come like sixth, maybe best case. But then your EU Masters team wins the EU Masters, right? What would you rather do? Completely flip a run to Worlds and fuck your EU Masters team and end up with lose lose? Or safe bet, do really well at the EU Masters and go even summer and then go really hard next year? Flip, 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 gamba, gamba, gamba. Type one honest interview. Just <laughs> straight calling out Niski. Niski's just, <laughs> he's just. I can't say he's catching strays because I think that the focus is like what needs to change for yeah. SK. But I think that is a lot of pressure for any one player to put on their shoulders. The good news, SK is a SK. Niski's a veteran. You have to hope that he can handle it. Because if not, Rogue against all odds, against all expectations, especially after their first loss at the start of this week's flip, play, flip, flip. are going to be going to playoffs. All right, chat, SK versus Rogue, winner is in, loser is out, and then after this, we've got the draw. And I do think as well in SK, like, Irrelevant has just been strain. I think this guy really needs to, like, he has been so good for so long. He's gotten so much praise, but these last few games just really have not been it for him. He has gone way too far forward, not having the support of the team. Looks like he's on a very different page. Look, BDS so Twitter again. exactly what the game plan is here for SK. As we're already into the draft, Karma taken. The what did BDS Jace do? Pick alongside the Maokai. So this feels to me like they're going back towards, hey, we want significantly more comfort. We want... Ni the plan sera lancé. Dans 23 minutes exactement, le plan sera lancé. Et il y a sleep. Upset. Le prodige qui a mis à genoux la solo queue européenne. Un vaincu en LPL. Raphaël, Krabé, Targamas, un support. Pendant toutes ces années en LFL au Suède, il y a des mois de Cabochard. Sa spécialité, le ping-pong. C'est un sacré roster que tu nous as pondu là. Mais c'est un peu explosif. Oh my god, what the hell? What? What? What the fuck have they been cooking, man? Yeah. I think oh, you can probably go for even the uh, What the hell? Really want, and it's just wave after wave of do not touch us. And I I think Ronaldo's DOS is best champ. I think it has horrible. Last year. <laughs> I think when SK's bot lane really caught everyone's attention was a lot of those um Zeri Renata games from DOS and Exekick. See if they can replicate that with a potentially a Kaisa Renata. Or if that's something that Rogue want to take away. I have not been impressed with Smolder at all since um the hot picks. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely cooked. Have just gotten more comfortable playing against the pick for the most part and the good news for rogue though i like that they have a strong jungle matchup early because very often i feel like we see teams draft a losing jungle matchup and smolder and that feels like a death sentence in the early game this time around all right Marcoon, and we're into our first game of the day is set up for success Zinzao incredibly powerful against a lot of these poke options 
Especially if that is a mid karma, you can play heavily for those early skirmishes. Wow, SK's comp is quite strong already. Whoa, you've got two comps. Wow, these are chat, these are two really obvious comps being drafted here. This feels like blind pick. SK said let's play a poke comp and rogue said let's play a scaling AD comp. Jesus. All they need to round out this comp is what they need like I mean Leona's good. Oh Camille Blind is really crazy. What just Wait, oh, it's Camille support. Oh, it's a Camille flex, actually. That's a bit dangerous. They also have Maokai flex. Oh, they got double flex here. I think Leona blind is the safe bet. Unless you really want to play Renata. I would... Yeah, Jax is okay. What if you picked... What if you picked... Is there a double flex you can do here? I was thinking, like, if you could do Poppy... And a support that flexes top. Like Poppy Hui, for example. And then you have Poppy Karma Hui flex. And that'll be really annoying for them. Actually, no, it wouldn't. Nautilus pretty stock standard. I think it'll be Camille support. I think they end up tossing. I think you're happy to... You could put the Camille top into Cassante. I mean, I think Aatrox is a pretty good last pick. Actually, I think Corky is a really good last pick. No joke. Corky is amazing here. Kai'Sa, Jace, Maokai poke. Package with Camille ult. Corky is insane here. Wow. If they don't see Corky here, it's an insane pick. Did it like T1 that played Camille Corky? Wow, they didn't see it. They went full AD with AP Kaisa. Alright, chat. I'm going to run ads. If you want to avoid ads, you can use your tier 1 on Twitch Prime. Final ads of the night. You don't have to sub if you don't want to. I'll see you guys in a sec. The reason I have to run them is because uh, you won't get ads in the game. Wow, Corky was a crazy pick there, I think. It's crazy. A best of one decides which team is going AFK for three months. True, actually. Yeah, that's why I wasn't sure if Zolis was going to go for something like the Braum to try and like tank up the Melkai ult, tank up some of the poke that can come through from Nixie, Nixie and Exekick. But I think they do just need a guaranteed engage tool, which is where they're a little bit caught out. It was like you want that poke po point and click CC, I should say, from the Nautilus to set you up, but it's not the best of times, into, especially paired with a Smolder and also against the Camille. So SK very much focused on bot side. We're going to have to see if they can try and get that ball rolling, or do they just come to the late game prowess of Rogue? Conversations already amongst the SK members. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Really ba -bum, ba -bum. Turn up the volume a bit. The if you get After this match is the draw, point. yeah. If something goes awry, it's gonna be hard After to this match is the dwell. Need to still be on your toes, ready to do whatever. And it's the story, two very different stories for this team. Yes, they're in the tiebreaker, but Rogue, it's been the surprise rise from nowhere. When they were losing, dun -dun, it was not dun. a surprise to anyone that they were losing. Was Who won draft? Doing much uh, I think moments. SK threw SK the draft a bit. The I think hand. Rogue's draft's better. Have been winning, I would argue, more than half the games that they ended up losing. They have been in incredibly strong commanding positions, and it has been throws that have cost them so dearly, that have put them in this position. So when we talk momentum, Rob, I think it heavily favors Rogue. It has been Rogue stepping up though when the pressure's been off. You think, right? chat, you think K Corp would take Yamato back? Well, they still have a chance, obviously, but it's been like less likely that yeah. they'd be able to make it. Now coming in down to the wire, can they make it work for them up against SK? Or, as you say, can SK find that magic? Can Irrelevant start to play with the team again? Can Exekick and Doss really still. As much as I get that, like ego and pride ball. and stuff like that, I would Either respect way, it. Like, part of me would respect them being all? like. It's gonna be oh my god, BDS are going in. Of these what is this now? BDS have gone again. Regardless of the result, someone's gonna be sad. Course, Work outfit, vacation outfit. What the fuck, bro? They're unleashing. Changes. Percentage of remaining scenarios were not high for Rogue to make it through. They lost the They're mega unleashing. Death sentence, but they surprised everyone beating G2. They beat SK today as well. Keeping their destiny more or less in their own hands. Now one final Whoa, push. fucking hell, it feels like it was personal or something. Gaining the confidence to play on stage the way that so many Rogue fans have been waiting to see since he was first signed to this lineup. The opposite side for SK, they need to just... Check the Giant X Twitter as well. Away, all the failures, all the mistakes. Whoa, everyone's pile dogging onto K-Corp. this one, which probably starts with that double hail of blades. Oh my god. Bottom right-hand side of the screen. Dawson X-Kick, do you highlight it in the draft, Rob? 
They're here to mess people up. They need to get a lead, they need to get it fast, and they need to take over before comp comes online. I'm kind of surprised he can't go for the TP and then the Ignite. BDS? On the oh, you matchup. mean based? I really <laughs> thought they'd actually try and take an Exhaust and just try and take a heal, make sure you're able to survive the laning phase because it's not so much as you're going to get poked out and you get the opportunity to CP back in. It's going to be an all-in, and SK already looking for that right now. Ultra Q, hook shot, wall dive. Doesn't really do anything. Dodge just a chunk. A nice bit of damage onto Larson. Damage that will stick unless Larson wants to burn his TP. So Niski initially it looks bad as he tanks the Soul Flare there from Larson, but... Overall health right, still have to order food. And even able to pick up the ward off the back of the play as well. So we we'll know exactly what's happening. Mark going to try and contest as he comes through. Not going to take the wolf, but Isma. He's going to spot him and just leave. There's no, you have no shot. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's fine. It's fine to leave. I think he's scared of bot so fast push, but I think he can soft away. contest. Wait, Markun has no smite. To Niski right now. He's getting the push out level one. Oh, he covers and goes to Krux. Camille can run maybe. Two. Red will reset. Camille can run. Side, but again, the more they disrupt the Zin early, the less food time so he has late, to try yeah. and get some of these ganks. Maokai was already going to be doing nothing early, so this doesn't hurt What's too wrong bad. with that, though? The Q not hitting, though, actually makes this a little bit slower. Doss going to come in with X-Kick to try and make he'll sure get it, he'll get get this red. So nicely done already Yeah, I think Barcoon did the right Barcoon thing, because what could happen in this disruption right is... Um, interrupt. So should be able to he would lose Raptor's red Krux, mid, and then Maokai would level side, 3 gank uh, dive bot, right? Whereas uh, if he crosses here and takes Krux, Marcoon, it makes Maokai have the back, and so side. bot can't get dove on the stack, right? What did he smite? Maokai he smited smite the wolves. Stages, but maybe a little bit or the Raptor maybe on the loss. Getting run down in lane, he burned through all of his mana in that trade. And we see if he folded. Both mid laners without a pot, both of them using the last one. Ticking up here. It's irrelevant. Good advantage on top side, keeping Finn under his tower. Very close early game. Who Gold do you want to win? Bring Larson in the mid lane slightly. Mm. Here comes Isma. Rogue. Well, this could be where it's either works out well or the game ends know. right now for SK. This is, this is what they were trying to delay. This is the dive that could define their season. Where is it going to go? Doss burning, ticking the ignite already there. He's getting out what to is this dive? Doss might just drop the hook now going in. SK what is bag. that fucking dive? Kong getting first blood, the worst possible outcome. It's they just so have to go in. Camille's wasting. So she has her so passive. She just has to go in and die. And Kong can just hop out over the wall. Really risky play, and especially when Isma. Didn't really get the reset on the uh, the aggression like you would want to. Sets up perfectly for Rogue to turn that one around. And you can't let it phase you. You just have to go to the next one. Smolder's still weaker overall. Sucks to have the gold deficit, but... Smolder has a kill. Rogue's head. gonna make it. But crushing there, and that's part of the reason I think Zoli's took the Ignite. He says, look, I can exhaust you most certainly, but it's not gonna make my Smolder do more damage. If I pack more burst early on, at least maybe I can punish the dive that's coming out. Oh, man. Actually, maybe well, I want SK to win to for Swiffer. Swiffer and Crepo, the boys. Got where well, uh, Raptor's on the opposite side, and they're going to be able to move back into his bot side as his Raptors start to respawn as well. So picking up a lot of these Ooh. camps have already respawned at the higher level as Exic will be able to get the shove in. Walks up, a Cathy and Rain. Isma going to And for irrelevant, Larson. true. Small for irrelevant. Until Nithki picks up these creeps. Bit of a difficult situation. Vision on Marcoon crucial early on. Scryer's Bloom should spot him. No. Just the edge there. Steve Chat, everyone spam XVP. Shut up. Everyone shut up. I like the early itemization coming in from comp. He did TP back to lane, but he gets the Swifties. Just wants to stay out of range of that Camille, make it that much harder to land the hookshot wall dive. Make sure that he can just walk in, walk out on these trades. And you can see SK are playing scared. They don't have perfect information on where Zin is, and they also just know that they're weaker right now. XK has no mana. He hasn't recalled yet. He hasn't spent any of his money, and he's already at a deficit. What are you writing? There is no way you want them to win after this dive. Yeah, they butchered the dive. I mean... Rogue's comp? Chat, actually, random question. Is Kai'Sa doing the LS build? I think Kai'Sa is doing the LS build, right? This is... Gonna be on DOS to try and make this lane be aggressive and have damage because how this is strong is that you build? Want. You just don't have any sort of burst damage versus a smolder. And DOS obviously does have a lot of damage innately to mm. himself because he's the Camille support, but uh, I think I would have preferred a more aggressive build here for Exa Kick. Even if you get the tier, just get well, you got like at what point do you think smolder beats the Kaisa despite her being strong? Yeah, tough. They're Probably four or five items, Range Smolder just so starts to destroy. Early on that you're getting poked out by a lot of incidental damage, like the Riptide, like the Super Scorcher. Kai says a counter. Comp. So Cole gives a bit of extra sustain. Because she can't hit him. A bit of extra gold. Mm. 
Here comes in as well. I see. Muramana, presumably on the horizon alongside. Something like Crit Bloom. And yeah, we'll highlight the build more as it comes to four. Yeah, well. Level six there for Finn. Irrelevant still trying to play on the edge. I think if SK the gets to objectives first, side, Rogue is screwed. Tabby, and now Doss trying to get out of lane. Again, the 2v2. Uh, Maybe at level six it gets easier, but again, Comp and Zoli's already sitting pretty, already sitting comfortable. And it is a dragon, but it's traded for grubs. Uh, you're fine with that as Rogue, though. I mean, realistically, you're not trying to play for any sort of early aggressiveness around this motor. You're more playing to say, hey, we're going to scale well. Cool, let's get some Void Grubs. If we get an opportunity to take a chip at Tower, get a little bit of uh, the place for ourselves, we're in a much better position. So, may even look for an invade on the top side here, actually. I want to see Rogue win, so out. I don't have to see Isma spamming emotes. Just Valid. look at how confident Zoe's and Comp are playing, though. How many times have we just seen a smolder scared under their tower for the first 20 minutes of a game? But this little lead, this little advantage, the Swifties making the trades earlier easier. The rough first item buy for Exekick. This lane is so free right now. You're also playing a poke-heavy composition as SK. Like, if this starts to fall behind, you're just not going to have a fun time. You're going to lose towers. You're going to lose control over objectives. And you're going to have a lot of pressure that come through from Arkun and Larson. Like, playing off. Larson's getting a lot of mid-pressure. Reset from DOS takes him into mid lane. Doesn't want to burn the flash to extend the hookshot wall. I think if he e flash there. Nah, maybe not. Trying to predict the flash from Nisky, but they don't have the burst, the right? Angle. Yeah, I kind of want Rogue to win for a few reasons. One, I think Larson's been playing pretty well this split. Two, Rogue is on an upward swing. They actually don't look too bad. Like, Markoon is like upward swing. Um, and three, I think SK are just worse than last split. Last split, they were not bad, but they're kind of like winter merchants. Here as well, Isma only level five. They don't have a ton of damage, but obviously with the reset coming in from Larson, SK know they're stronger and can at least step up and contest there. Yo, all you rats in the chat, thank you for being here for the for the LEC costumes. Much love, ready. Position that it's in. You little degenerates. So trying to link with Niski, find a kill there. Trying to work with Isma to get something, but they're just not working out. And the fact that you're not having contentions coming through from Rogue means he can't really use this combo of Isma, who will have the ultimate available soon but Niski as well like you kind of have to play for this level six off of Maokai. Push back from a relevant solid positive health trade. Bomb being called. Comp wants to get yeah so in. uh quick thing while there's downtime uh, hopefully this, this week or next week the most favorable we'll have access to replay files from the LCK split, right every single game, but they are and then we can review so we Chovy and stuff like this from the actual spectator POV. So maybe we can game. get Humanoid or Caps over to the apartment with a mic. I'm going to order a second mic. And, and we can start watching Chovy games from his full POV verse like Showmaker and Faker and Zekka. And have Caps or something explain and talk to me about why he's so good and what he's doing that's so good. I think it'll be great content. I think it'll help viewers. I also think it'll help the player like Caps or whatever. Maybe if they're thinking out loud a bit critically with someone next to them. If I'm like, if I quiz them a lot and I really pick their brain about why he's doing small things, maybe it helps them a bit too. So hopefully that'll be fun. Have we spoken to the orcs already? Um, you doing it by yourself would be interesting already. Yeah, but I want the pro player with me. Oh, I like doing it with someone. I think there's nothing better than a pro player. Your coach is enemy. Well, no, I'll be doing it with humanoids, uh, caps, hopefully. Uh, Razork maybe would be awesome. I would love to do it with Irrelevant, like breaking down Kingen, for example, or, or Bin, maybe if we can get LPL files. Stronger. I think they gotta try and pull something cheeky off. Maybe Sven like for an AD carry game. You're not really expecting. Like dive Finn in topside with the three members, get DOS up there. Do but yeah, hopefully that'll right. bang really hard. As long as you continue to play this by the book, realistically, yeah, Zeus and Zoelis have been moving around to try and take care of Larson. Larson playing very safe under his tower to just shove all day. I at least shoved the wave out all day. So you have to make something happen elsewhere. And uh, they're just not really so hopefully that's like in the well works i'm just waiting for like permission to get access to the files and then that would be great content if we could do like one episode a week rogue are the ones who set the trap rogue are the ones who try to catch them in rotation sk pretty confident with the amount of vision they had but we're not ready for that one excellent pick from zoe elise and mark yo vent in the chat yo what's up bro what's up what up kerr you can't try and stay underneath the tower because while well, Smolder's there, you don't know where the Zinzao is. Doss is trying to get back to bot lane. Finn spots the rest of SK 
on the top side of the map, so Dragon could be the call in 30 seconds if they're not just going to kill X-Kick. Larson's grabbing a plate. Meanwhile, on the bottom lane, Smolder's continuing to push in, continuing to stack, might get a plate of his own, and what is another rotation of grubs? Damn, really Larson two plates in Karma vs. Chase. I think it's because uh, Doss's mid gank Larson actually fucked quickly, Niski more than it helped like him. Yes, it's only a 1K Losing Wolfie, flash against Sin Zhao Karma. When Karma has flash, right, the it's impossible for Jace to push. Karma W flash is too OP. Oh. This Camille support has been mega useless. Who was it who played Camille support in the LCK? As you say, was it Keria? Nisma wants to try and get in towards mid lane. Larson I remember it with Corky. But yeah, just to exit oh, it was Delight. Yeah, it was Chovy like Delight, maybe. Like, that shit was so aggressive, man. He was perma trading. Don't feel like the Camille's been trading that much. And now I think she falls off quite quickly. They're there, so like, she goes from a level 1 to 5 mega trader to um, an ult bot in fight that gets one shot and because stopwatch isn't in the game it's even more useless if you're behind oh Zekka delight oh my god what am i saying Zekka I'm saying um, little bro said Chovy delight <laughs> Two drakes to SK, perhaps an avenue to come back here. Maokai all big. Because the old Camille support would go after shock. Sidestep as jungler does body block, so and uh, no opportunity stopwatch for there is early. To make sure so it's actually kind of scaling Another decently. Fall. Again, into the back pocket of comp is gold lead only getting bigger. But now this Camille support doesn't scale. This would be for Rogue if they actually managed to pull this off. Because coming into this weekend, sitting at one win, they beat G2. They beat They're losing the 3v3. Today, like, it's already a horror. Time. I can tell so you this Camille goes right in, gets Nautilus ulted, gets Nisky, absolutely though. one pop. Down here, Rogue. I think this game is already done for SK. We're like, it's, it. it's, o it's over, them. actually. We're getting the win. This We're Kai's is going to take too long to scale. Smolder has lane pressure and 100 stacks, just chilling. And I don't think SK's comp is good with Camille ult. I think if they had Corky on 5 there and put Jace top, they would be pretty strong, though. But I just don't think so Nar can do it in this game. game. What does he do? Just watch so his Maokai ult and Jace poke? And Kai's Ws? <laughs> I, I think SK need like 30 minutes. Now all these mistakes come back the good thing is they have early drakes, but... Right yeah, I think this game is really hard. Oh, Smolder getting first tower? What do you do? Is X oh, oh, he ulted in to defend it. And he can hold it for like two more waves maybe. I think this wave and the next wave he can hold it. Because Sinzao is clearing top. Kind of cut off guard by that one. We're just like, hang on, there has to be something we've missed here, so they back it on up. But Doss now entering into this bot side jungle with you to get some vision down. But <clears throat> there's nothing even here to try and steal. There's no wave to try and go for a dive. The reset gonna come through for Comp and Zoe Lise as well. They're gonna spend their much earned gold, and they're totally fine. You can see. <laughs> Like, look how safe Comp is. He was like, I'm not even going to back a turret with zero wave. I'm going all the way out of here, so there's no hope you can look for a dive. This is brutal. Two plates to six. SK. 1.3 behind the Drakes. I think the big hope here. And while the gold isn't, you know, a death sentence, I think it's really just the continued scaling of the smolder that starts to become a bigger and bigger problem. But it's also so different. Like, we, oh, hang on. Larson. Nice side step on the shark blast. Flash out to safety. Root not quite going to connect onto DOS. It looks like the Herald will reset. How much more do Rogue want to stick around? Finn already aside to the bottom lane. Irrelevant going to respawn. Three members of SK. Taking home in the mid lane. Rogue, a similar story. I have 10k on SK. 10k what? Sort of you better say fucking channel points. You have 10k bucks on SK? Are you high? Doesn't have that tool. The fuck? Why would you put 10k bucks on Rogue SK? Are you fucking fried? Just go to the casino and put red or black. It's the same thing. What are you wave. doing? But this Harold's gonna fall as well. Alti goes in. Nice sidestep. TP coming in. SK looking to bet it all here, hoping this is their opportunity to turn it back around. But oh. SK's got no alt. And Mark Hoon's looking to This is a terrible fight for Rogue. Rogue had to be careful. What happened there? This choke. Wall up there. Irrelevant. Flash up. What happened Rogue in that fight? On Nar. They will at least get the pick back, but they concede the Herald. A kill is nothing though. You needed so much more from SK and Rogue just don't come. Yo, maybe that motherfucker just made 10k dollars on that fight. Wait, you're right. This is smart slow play from Rogue. Nah, there's no way Kai's has basing on one cull stack. Come on, man. Come on, man. We could have a big eye. Ah, hell no. What is that? Yo, yoink a minion, bro. could at least give you something here, but you can see Larson here. You've also got Zoelise coming as well. Larson waiting until he's got Cold. support on the way before he <laughs> steps Camille up Cold. to try to clear that wave. Oh, Larson movement. Willing to give up some tower damage. Yo, I swear, Karma is so fucking OP. So it's unbelievable. 
15 mantra cues in one team fight of five seconds long. Recall started in the brush. Larson, is he going to walk up here? I think he no. He just doesn't need to take any risks as long as he plays really safe. Rogue are so favored. This is slightly risky though for Rogue. I think at this stage you do actually abandon this top side off this next wave. They could set up for a dive. Zinze is in the bottom half of the map, and I think you could have tried to crest check onto Extra mid lane kick. turret, but the wave again just Larson Extra clearing it out. And you have to wonder if SK should just go for the dive anyway, but they don't have perfect information. Chink irrelevant will get traded. Don't risk it. No. <laughs> SK is probably is gonna close. hold on to him for dear life. The gold is so close. <laughs> no, don't <laughs> leave! <laughs> Holding on to a CS lead despite conceding that tower. Has the single kill in his name. Triforce there as well. We've seen Miraculous Gnar Ultimates turn games, but it's a lot to ask of Irrelevant after the week he's had. Struggled in a lot of these games. Of course, this is the time Damn. to turn it on, no doubt. You're putting all your hopes on a single player. A terrible position to be in. Top lane gonna be the focus for Rogue. Harold invested as well. You can see Com starting to lean up towards that top side. Is Finn going to move over to mid to cover there I as well? I had to pin this so chat. Sorry for being a set up. Numbers advantage here on top side for Rogue, and that's why Isma has to flash away from that hook. Knew that would have been a death sentence. Comp wandering down. 141 broke the 125 point. So now much easier. Don't here pog off me, bro. Two. Don't pog off me. Can he drift that shit? Larson, <laughs> feeling confident. Okay, you know that song? Oh, what? Cursante? <laughs> and he doesn't die for that? Are you serious? Gonna wander back into mid lane to get taken out by the tower. Yeah, that song is. No, 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 Tokyo. SK. That's every time I see the Herald, that's what I think of. Step in. They're losing top tier one for Drake, and Here's Nesquik can still TP in. Started to fade away. Can still be a massive threat. They only have three grubbies, so maybe they don't play for top tier two. Group is four. Nesquik will get the top lane tower. SK Does have But I, I don't know. TPing in with your comp is kind of trash. No, you're TPing in with Jace. Just fucking give it. Just soft contest and blast top tier two. SK great game here. state actually. Yo, this is so good for SK. Larson needs to TP top right now, but it's on cooldown for like two seconds. Oh, Smolda. Ooh, they see the TP, they drop the Meow Kai ult. And Wes and Iske TP, Wes and Iske TP. There it is! Yo, this is huge for SK! Yo, plus 10k! Boom! Right there on the shot flash! Nice quick! Holy fuck! Yo, plus 10k! As soon as Ro commit come to the top side, Niski just CPs down. They're able to find the numbers advantage. Rachel really well was played wrong. by SK. They were happy to give the position on the dragon. That was a mega, mega play there. Yo, this Camille, absolute cameraman. Her Q, point camera at top laner. Her W, place a trap camera in the bush to get the shot in the night time. Her E. <laughs> You know, hooks her own teammate so she can stay rest. close to the fight for KP. Mid and bot her ult doesn't do shit. <laughs> Poke is gonna start to hurt here. There's a glimmer of hope for the side of SK. Cageful curse K makes sport betting so easy. XCD business plus 10k. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Though, still ahead of schedule in terms of stacks. 19 minutes in. He's at 163. Well, SK have to play flawless if they want to win this game out against a fully sacked Smolder. Can never let themselves get low. Have to make sure every fight is in their favor. And that's why you need to commit multiple members to mid lane here. The thing is, with comp having push in mid, <laughs> it gets really difficult for Zoe. I milk casual opinions for money. Forth, matching wherever Isma and Dossa are going to be placed. I do the opposite of what he says. To to <laughs> yeah, don't sub to my Twitch. Terror. Don't use your prime. Don't do it. Right the in. As soon as comp is accepting that wave under the tier two, then you've opened up enough space in the map for Dossa and Isma to start to lean into side lanes, create pressure. What do you mean? There. Okay. That's why at the moment, so at least happy what? to just sit here with comp, make sure that they're not getting bullied out of mid lane. And you can even see Marcoon as well, setting up vision. Gets plus two. Hey, plus two. You're plus 10k. I'm plus two. Uh, top side of the river. Relevant, just continuing My mama always here. said, Focus you look after the pennies and the pounds will look the after themselves. You look after the primies. Ooh. Yo, irrelevant. There's the Camille ult. I'm going in, guys. Cameraman went too deep. Double kill for the smolder. That's exactly <laughs> what I was talking about. If you don't get control of mid, it's so easy for Rogue to answer for these side lane plays. The push comes through with the Yo, that emote. What is he at the emote? It's like, what is it you put? You put. Is it just cameraman, the emote? Just cameraman? What a good emote. So even though you have DOS, you're completely desynced. You can't link both the Kaisa and the Melka onto this bot side. Camille POV, cameraman. Beautifully here to turn this one around. 
and I gotta say credit to Larson. He's been on the edge of death so many times. He absorbed so much pressure in the early game. And while he hasn't had the flashiest impact on this one, he just keep m managing to survive. He built the Banshees. He knows his role. Just live, protect the Holy fuck, LS build. We scaling. Fuck the systems. The plays to come. The Banshees effective against the Pope, but the Acathian Rain will knock it off. Rogue, start to look towards the Baron soon. I think it's going to be more getting vision and trying to get this mid lane tower for the moment. Yes, Com can do a lot of damage, but they do need to wait up. So Elise, Spot Tisma, this may be an overextension though. Eski here too. So Elise, Celestial Opposition and Aftershock fading away. That should just be a dead Nautilus. Overconfidence and now irrelevant here. This could be big. The punish massive is irrelevant. Is already oh, irrelevant. Is frying. Away from this one. There's just too much CC. All of Rogue oh my god. The court. Zoelis court. What are we doing? Finn, did he just throw something in the air? Way too far for Zoelis. They didn't. Can I just get a voter view of Finn now? This is their chance because while Rogue are slow on the Baron, SK will tear through it. Fuck. Could link up with him. And immediately SK realized a great TP from Irrelevant to shut out Larson as well. And that's Baron given across a massive... Yo, this set. comp having Baron is scary. Their siege is kind of crispy. So far, so many days. Kai'Sa Jace on a siege with Malkyld? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yo, you're Tenke Richer in the chat. SK, gold advantage. Poke build starting to come online. The Maokai, in terms of relevancy, it feels like it's already more powerful than the Zin in a lot of circumstances. You're behind? The tools are there for behind SK what now the? to bring home, but they have to play clean. Rogue did get the mid lane tower down, though. I'm going to push the comp high, they can actually push that midway into the tier 2. Holy fuck, back there is rapping. Rap god on the cast. Yeah, I don't want to go too far, because if I go too far, it makes the stream fucking uh, lag and, like, stop and start. As Rogue start to push in towards the tier 2, Larson isn't with them, though. He was spot on top side. SK, considering going for the all-in there, not having teleport for Larson could have been a bit worrisome there. And honestly, we'll just give Dragon to SK. Interesting position for SK, of course. Desperately want to secure soul point. Not an ideal use of the Baron. You'd always love to be pushing Smolder doesn't have 225 yet, but he'll have it for the next fight. Window of strength. We scale in on the dragon. Again, pushing into towers against the Smolder is difficult because you're just giving him free stacks if you do not take the objective. 206 for comp. Every time you say away. it's over, the enemy team instantly Honestly, gains momentum. In the middle of the fight nah, that's not true. That's complete cap. No real commitment though. You see, relevant Yo, we're tough, defending so that mid tower. Away, but I think you just let it go, <laughs> that so that tower is like, up. I got one more in me. <laughs> but SK kind of spreading themselves a little bit thin at the moment. Not able to get too much more. <laughs> I mean, it's on this, uh, the Rebel Baron power play, you'll get two more waves, but you're not really going to get anything apart from this mid lane turret, so not a huge amount gained for SK in the grand scheme of Very well. But you buy more time to get to third items. Pen is starting to come through. Components there, and the Blightning Jewel, as well as the Last Whisper on the side of SK RO, and still bowling in on the top side, has the Black Cleaver as uh. well. Has bye just bye tower. Running top lane, 2.6k individual gold lead. Oh no, hell no. Nah. Okay, they 5k up with the LS Exodia Kaiser build. Surely that Smolder don't carry alone, right? Surely. <laughs> nah, there's no way. <laughs> nah, there's no way. But this is exactly where SK want to be. They want to be able to start to poke. They want to be able to look to siege up. They want to be able to group underneath these towers and look for Isma to zone them off like this. Not a huge amount of poke done. Oh, he hooked that minion. <laughs> Not that minion. That minion's never going to walk up again. Wait, did this Nar just solo? Wait, Nar just solo killed Smolder? Wait, is it Jover? Wait, it's actually Jover. Larson, another Mantra Q. Boom. Yo, Karma. What the hell? the wave is here. SK objective in their sights is the Baron phase. They will take the tier two. Yo, the yo, 10k guy looks so good. Finn essentially, just stuck on the opposite side in his own base as Irrelevant manages to step away. But this was great. Group up the siege is perfect, and that old from Isma locking up comp as well as Irrelevant able to pick him off with Zoe Lee Stein on the top side. And they're not sure if we get to see it here, but Finn, watch the old tier. Finn goes over the wall, but Irrelevant doesn't. And it means that then Irrelevant able to walk away, just a couple more autos could have finished him off. And then SK, back it on up. Oh, Sw Swiffer loves that oh, shit. The optimism, the fear in the faces of the SK staff, they know. The ball is in their court, it has been so many times. 
The gold lead feeling massive feels nice. Triforce Cleaver Nar has zero CD. Still three stacks away from yeah, Irrelevant's execute. frying this Things game. Get a little easier if they get soul. But this is the thing the safe space on the map here for uh, Rogue has gone completely away. All you really get is this position that is really going to be safe. <laughs> Yo, cameraman Camille's like, Yeah, we win that. We win that. Yep, 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 yep. Nice. But it means that you constantly, if you want to try and defend this bot lane terror, have to wrap all these little jump points around where you get these quick movements back and forth across the map for sk and oh finn where are we going bro finn is going to learn all about us that would be sick if his team was around blue buff and he blast cones him into his team I mean, that would be crazy so dangerous now huge gold lead less than two minutes in the ad roll point for sk after smolder gets his mid wave big lead for now rogue happy to just absorb but he's got two two eight we'll hit the break point 228 now continuing to farm the execute is there and the fights to come there it is. Don't look top like gold. Nah, don't look, look there. Don't look yes, at top gold. This motor has hit that critical mass, but the positioning on these fights is not there. The opportunity to push up is not really there either. You need your front line to actually provide the front line. Well, but when SK are just I just hope SK, if they win this game, they don't go. No, yeah, Camille support was pretty good that game. <laughs> game so just good, don't do that. Okay, I'm happy you win, but just don't do that. But now we see while their composition has a lot of tools. When SK start to build up this big of a goal but the Camille support versus really Smolder tech, I like, I like that. Camille, Camille support side. into Smolder, I like the Guaranteed idea. Full send. To that comp go and more than but irrelevant basically the Camille Nar damage top and support. To My goat. Well, that's why we're seeing a lot of these protections. Look at irrelevant. He's level 17. What the hell? Plus also having those shields coming through from Larson, it's going to be so important to keep this motor alive, even through the dive. Because realistically, X-Kick is poke. Doss is the only one that really dives in, maybe with Irrelevant, to try and finish him off. Oh. But as long as he can survive that... There it is, the okay poke comps online. This is your issue. When you're Dodge ball o'clock. When you're trying to get these waves off of your base, the poke Finn is Cassante so win rate? What is it? What's Finn Cassante deal? win rate? Yeah. And these are the items. The reason this poke is starting to hit... The Finnemark doing it relatively okay. Is is the gold you gave away in these last two Zero. Plays. Oh, perfect. Actually, it's still deathless despite the difficult start. Niski able to get double shot Oh, shutdowns. perfect. Zero, zero percent win rate. But look how dark oh my god, look how many people are in the fucking Jennifer shadows just throwing there. skills See, at them. Doss is like well, faking that he's gonna go in. Behind, Isma Isma is oh, Isma. Oh, they're pushing them into Irrelevant. In oh, this, is this Smolder fucked or not? <laughs> Protect the president! <laughs> Help! Yeah, they're out There it is. The rogue three month vacation right there. Rogue three month vacation. An entire season of despair of throws. It almost fell apart for SK, but in the moment where it mattered most, they go. For All right, now it's time for the draw chat. The end, and SK Gaming are going to playoffs. There's woes, there's throws, but at the end of the day, there's still POs for SK. An incredible comeback for SK in that one. We'll see them making it to playoffs. All right, show me who chooses who. Confidence, the mental, the hold on. Despite a difficult start, they kept it close. They kept it within touching distance. They didn't worry about the smolder. Kept the eye on the prize on their own. Let's get into that. Let's get into that. Let's get into the thing real quick. Can you tell us how the draw works? Nope, I ain't got no fucking clue how it works. Control of the game, bringing it home. Condolences, of course, to Rogue. But you cast the NEC control? Yeah, the format was different last split. No, it wasn't actually. This format was the same. But I can't remember. Those moments are going to play on the minds of Rogue, though. So close, and you can see it for Larson there. I mean, last year. They had the lead. Oh, yeah, I did cast Winter, Spring, and Summer last year. Oh, yeah. But I forgot I did. I don't know. I remember how it works. Like, I think you're first, you pick someone, and then fucking. Don't you draw Rogue some KC groups or some shit? I don't know, man. Like, honestly, I don't know. And the summer split. I think first and second draw Turn groups. A long time. And then third and fourth draw K groups. Fifth and sixth draw groups. Seventh, them. eighth draw groups. And then prepared. first three and second get to scripts. choose who they play against. Reset and then the other plays against the other. Back. I think that's how it works. You need to be prepared for the best of three. Right? A new patch. Tons of pressure on the teams who have barely scraped their way into playoffs. To try and find well, they're not groups, you know, but they're... 
What are they if they're not a group? They're a fucking collective. I don't know what are they. Might have been unlikely, might have been improbable at a lot of stages of that game or across this split, but again, when it mattered, they showed up. And I think you can see the building blocks, or at least there for SK, right? Look, that dive went a little bit miserably on the get-go, but at least bit. they understood, hey, we need to try and play aggressive. This is how we want to try and work with it. If that had gone well, maybe it could have been a very different early game. DOS's roams towards mid start to look significantly stronger. So at least for SK, you can still see that they have the correct mindset for going into how they want to operate in these games, but they need to clean it up very quickly. Definitely do. <laughs> I mean, still what is this tweet? Still some Rogue. The they saved Mad Lion's Koi. They, they sent like K Corp into the abyss, but they couldn't sort of save themselves. Right there goes was my heroes. Hey, Rogue are out, but they took K Corp and G2 with them. G2 in third, K Corp out. Is the they went out fighting. <laughs> for now, though, that's enough from us at the cash desk. We're it down to trouble and a victorious Swiffer after that. Very tense game. Thank you, guys. Awesome cast. It's been a very, very long day. Swiffer, thank you for joining me. Congratulations on yeah. making playoffs. Thank you. It's been, yeah. it's been a very, very, very long day for you, too. But before we get to it, backstage referees are performing the draw for playoffs as we speak, and the result what will is be this? revealed in PGL in about 10 minutes. <laughs> so until then... What is this? This motherfucker Swiffer lost while playing Smolder Kassande Karma. Swiffer, <laughs> yep. a little bit of a sigh of relief. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Actually, I was watching the smolder. Like, I was watching the smolder get a kill. Looking at your watch, and I was just like, anyway, yeah, can't can't swear on stage, so it's a bit like that, isn't it? Thank you, really appreciate that. That's all right, no problem. That. Yeah. Now you had to play rogue twice today. Yeah. Was there anything that you guys particularly? Learned Yo, rel jungle is dead. Um, yeah, that they were really happy with the with the bot lane trade in draft. Um. That they came in with like a really solid game plan. They, they did some changes to uh, Rel. I think they predicted what we were going to do really Yamato, well. Yamato, what's up, Kurt? And what up, bro? I think they prepared like the what up, my guy? Well, in advance, that was something that like caught us a bit off guard, but I think we adapted really well. Yeah, the guys were down after the first game, but I think they rallied very, very well, bounced back, obviously, as you Yo, can see. Yo, Yamato, make some noise. Anyone in the game just played our game. Yo, Yamato, were you doing this? Yeah. Were you doing oh, this in your living room? Scary, isn't it? Well, you do look a little bit uh, spooked from the stacks right there, but yeah. you guys persevered, and I'm glad that you mentioned draft and how it didn't go so well in the first game, but in the second game, you guys pulled out. Were you doing that though. in your living room? Now, Was that I'm your POV? Enjoyer. And I've seen it. I've seen it there paired up with a gin, and the synergy is great. What was your approach to that one? Um, basically. It was it was kind of like more in the smolder kind of triggered it more than anything else <laughs> or, or Zeri or whatever. Um, it was like uh, obviously really good at lockdown. Dos has been spamming it in solo queue. Perfect time to pull it out, make or break game, right? Full full faith in him to make it work. So <laughs> yeah, that was it. That was that was <coughs> it. Oh, in this clip, you're not losing your mind. Or were you hitting the no, gritty? Uh, were you doing this? I've taken up. What were you doing last week? So we'll see how that works out. Hey, it's good that you have Greg jeans in you because that means you do have a lot of hair on your head. Still. Uh, no way, little bro actually way. practiced that dance. <laughs> yeah, of course I did. Don't have too much left in me. Okay, I don't want to bring any of the spooky stuff back, Swiffer, but I would like you to reflect All right, show me the groups. on that regular season because it didn't necessarily go as you guys You're expected. Marzio, thanks so for two, two months. what is your approach as a coach moving forward to playoffs? Yeah, I think, I think it's just really important not to lose sight of the, the actual game states that we were in, especially last week. Um, I think that if we were more focused, um, <laughs> this uh, this picture driven, of this motherfucker like, lost with bro, that's so dumb. Shut up. Right? But I think we would be feeling a lot more confident if we had managed to convert some of those wins. I think the guys just need <laughs> to, like, to remember what it felt like to win the game. What hey, are these emotes, man? What do you do as a coach when your team actually loses that confidence? Because we we we've seen a bunch of clips of some coaches that go backstage, slam hands on the table. Is that your approach too? Um. Not particularly. I think I think it's important to try and diagnose like why everything's going wrong. I think we actually did manage to do that quite well. Wait, um, first and second is it's, it's Vitality kind of Fnatic. Like so reminding the players like why okay. they do what they do, you know, why they enjoy the game, like why we're all here. Um, and I think I think like once they realize that, it's like oh yeah, it's not as complicated as we thought, and then they're able to play the game again. Well, Stop doing maths, pros. little bro. Yo, what do you mean? Took them two today to make it, but they I'm trying to, I'm trying to fucking. Now, looking into playoffs, <laughs> what is one team? Because you talked about Ow. confidence, right? You want to be playing possibly the team that you are more sure that you're gonna beat. So, yep. which team would that be looking into the teams that have made it into playoffs? I mean, I think 
to be I know, it's a kind of a kind of a cop out answer, isn't it? But I, I genuinely think that every team that that's qualified like deserves to be where they are. I think at least they're a lot more consistent than we are. Um, if I give uh, me the non PR answer. Yeah, I'm really I'm really thinking about that, aren't <laughs> I? Um, <sighs> no, I can't. Why is like, it like I he's gonna cry? Genuinely, I I do believe that. If we manage to build this momentum, don't cry, Swifter. It's okay. I don't really give a shit who we play. Right. <laughs> oh. Thank you very much. Fair, Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Pretty basic. And so we're gonna throw it over to PGL because maybe Niski and Dos will have an answer on who they would like to play. Chad, with are we doing the draw? Chad, are we doing the draw? Chad, are we doing the draw? So much trouble and Swiffer. Oh, we, we caught that one at the end. But welcome everybody to PGL. We have Niski and Dos joining us this time around, as well as. Uh, they didn't even mention it though. Uh, let's start off with the emotions here. How are you guys? No swearing though. Like you guys already got one, so you have to. It's keep happening it alive. backstage. Um, I'm feeling very relieved because we've been struggling a lot. He said curse. I feel like when you struggle a lot, you start like dalting. Okay, chat. Well, I guess we'll just do it. If they're gonna do it backstage, then, then we may as well just wait till it comes out on Twitter. You lose to Rogue. And I'm gonna end now, like, then I guess. Wait, what? We just lost to Rogue, you know? When we're like, we thought we were like way better. And then you have to build this momentum that like you might play two games in the end of the day or one game. They said it's in ten minutes. Okay, okay, we wait, we wait. Chill out, chat. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Yo, chill out. I was just making conversation, bro. Chill out. We chilling. We good. Don't get angry. Calm, calma, calma, calma. Yo, chat. I got some bad news. There's no stream tomorrow. But Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, How Saturday, Sunday, like there is a stream. Break, just relax, come back in a bit. When did you actually start preparing for this? Uh, what do you mean, thank God? Again? What is it? Mm, I mean, honestly, we didn't really like go into preparing like straight away. We took like a bit break, uh, and then I think most of us kind of agree that the game was a bit. Also, hard chat. When does LCK also, playoff start? Uh, I think we are not really feeling too confident today for some reason. Like, I think there was a bit of choke going on in that game. So I think. Like talking too much about that game was probably not that useful, so we just said, okay, take a little break. Then we no, 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 I'll show you my issue. The games because we had to watch what three games for. Let me show you the issue and I have right now. Then we talk a bit about draft, and we go into next game confident. We change our plan a bit, and this is more like a draft that we are like comfortable playing. Confidence. This is my problem, chat. This is my problem. Okay. Both of you mentioned issues. You said we didn't have confidence. Lolly Sports for me, right, says that LCK playoffs start at 6 a.m. and 8 a.m for Saturday and Sunday. Um, LCK Fandom says it starts at 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. And the LCK Twitter account says it starts at 3 p.m. 3 p.m. KST, which I don't know what time that is. But motherfucker, why is there three different results? Why is there three different results? What is 3 p.m. KST? What is that EU time? Uh, what, is that, what is that German time? That's 7 a.m. So this says 7 a.m. 7 a.m. This says 8 a.m. 7 a.m. And this says 6 a.m. 7 a.m. Uh, so which one is it? Okay, that's adorable. That's pretty wholesome. But which also, one is it, bro? Like coming from a We're going to cest. And, and maybe like it, it feels like you're beating. We're going cest. Yo, Yamato, you can't tell me me and you are going to cest. Like really that's just like weird, like man. Like what the fuck? You always had that good winter last what year. What the fuck? Spring and then it was into the rest Get your of the door. Year, never really found a groove again. And like now. Don't worry about it. it. Don't worry about it. It feels the same way a little bit again, where it's like winter looks definitely better from the beginning than spring did too. Big. Going into playoffs, and I know it's kind of hard to say. Don't worry about it. Why? Why should fans also have good confidence in you guys? Saturday is 7 a.m. and Sunday is 8 a.m. How will you take the better steps from the learnings you had in the past into playoffs now? So this is correct. Right? It's at 7 a.m. Right? It's a difficult question, I know. I mean, for me, it kind of gives me the vibe of like Mad Lions last year. Yo, chat. This 8 a.m. series, KT Damon. Listen. I don't ask much of you Twitch chatters, but I'll ask one thing, and we had the time be awake for that, and we're like, okay, because like, that is personal, line, you know? like, if you that lose, is fucking out. personal, um, KT and then, gets like, fucking smoked and once and for all, like and the doubters can shut the fuck up, you know why, like, because the loser of that series is out, and the loser of that series is out.
and I think that's but that fucking team right there because I thought we were like they're getting making the games very loose like chill we'll make wait anyway I can draw this I'm a good drawer I've been practicing like my drawing skills we got kind of I won't say humble but like smoke do you see that though check, I guess that like if we lost this game we're not in playoffs so we should just work our asses off smoked yeah we'll give you another pass okay. no <laughs> yo start the draw start cool, the draw but that's about it uh, something that you guys did yesterday as a team bonding activity was yo can you start the draw uh, we Hello. Had Adam earlier on on the interview and he's like come on man instead of going go kart I ain't got come on man solo queue you know Niski wake up but Doss from your perspective especially because you have that have to have the synergy with your AD carry but also with your jungler what has that been like in terms of outside of the server building that relationship and building that confidence in each other yeah, I mean, for me, like just for the point with Adam, I think that playing solo queue one more day doesn't change anything at all. Ma, ma, ma. Uh, probably it's even better to like do some team activities that just like look each other in the eyes. Uh, oh. Can I leak? <laughs> Wait, we got exclusive insight from Pete. Mm. Yo, Pete, drop the lit, drop the, drop the results, drop the results. Drop him, drop him, drop him. Now, so drop that shit. Let me zoom out. Yo, oh, Pete, like drop that shit. Like not sure if I'm allowed. Used to, or like maybe like talking to each other. I give you permission. <laughs> like, Come on, man. Just talking a lot in general because sometimes we drop it a bit. And with Isma, uh, like Isma is a very funny guy, but he's also that like new rookie that wants to play solo queue every second that he has. <laughs> so he's like a, a bit hard to reach sometime outside of the game because if you say like oh let's go for dinner or something Isma, then he's like oh but I I could play three solo queues. Just so wait, it's done. Play. Yeah. Yo, it's Pete, balance, you can't right? just tease the yeah, fuck out of I us. Mean, what the hell? Like when, especially Yo, when Pete, I've got a really important secret. Time and not playing nah, I can't game. tell you. Nah. No. That was Come on, man. Madlands again, but like that was kind of our thing when we won the split last year. It's like before match day, we would not have scrims. And we would Dude, just enjoy a day it's just three minutes more. Okay, okay, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. Like I'll, wait. Everyone was happy I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. wait for the draw in my new shiny phonetic socks. Maybe I think we should look to do more. Uh, but yeah, we'll experiment. So you're saying SK is gonna take it all the way to the finals now, like he did We're gonna win, yeah. Damn, Ooh, he said it. Don't say that. I believe in it. I mean, you were talking about being humble last time, but why? Why is that window sound so quiet? Yeah. Does that path look Someone like? said edging, so I will edge. Like, the I, fuck I don't wanna, like, burst your you're bubble, edging me you're and here, my you're chat. In playoffs. Like, congratulations, that's amazing. Thank First you. Yamato he says it's cessed to me. He wants to cessed. <laughs> and now you're telling like me that. you're but fucking way, edging me? What like the hell? Mm, I mean, I would say for us right now, um, I believe we're gonna take like a day off and then I think it's gonna be like full on grind. Um, I believe everyone will be like, so much more hungry than what we were i believe we needed like that fire as i said and i think whoever we face next will not matter for me it's all about like how we play and i think if we play good we could be in any oh team, but also the weather the outside is frightful team, so, like, and the twitch and chat and is so delightful have not been good only again. 20k um, more so bands to go smoke them all smoke them all smoke them all yeah. well it's not just about how you play it's also about who you play and I'm hearing that the results from the draw show are oh. in. So you guys want to know who you're going to be going yeah. up against? Yeah, yes, I do want to know who sure. I'm against. Do you actually, do you, is I, there a specific team that you would love to play against? I want to play Vitality. It's G2 or versus Mad. Mad. All right, we'll see whether or not that's going to happen. Okay. Fingers crossed. Versus but here is how the results were SK. determined, because it starts with the regular season standings, and that's then the team were divided into four groups of two, yep. based on the yep. rankings at the end of today's games. <laughs> Pool one consisted of the top two teams, which are Fnatic and Vitality. Pool two consists of third and fourth Chai, place, what did I guess? I forgot. G2 and Team Heretics. Fnatic, Pool three Fnatic, consists SK, of fifth G2 and Mad, sixth right? place, BDS and Giant X. And pool four is consists of seventh and eighth place, Mad Lions, Koi, and you guys. SK. So Fnatic and Vitality, because they are also the top seeds, were divided into upper and lower halves of the winner's bracket. Pool by pool, the draw sent each pool's representatives to join them in the upper or lower halves. Fnatic and Vitality choose their opponents from the three of other teams and drawn to their sides. And this results in our finals bracket, which is ready. Uh, I am Fnatic not Giant X, oh, Vitality oh, SK, G2 Mad. G2 Mad, I got that right. Yeah, I'm happy. Oh my God. I Heretics B. BDS that I'm the most confident beating. That's why I said fit. What exactly do Fnatic you wins, G2 you wins, Fnatic wins, G2 wins, Fnatic G2, Vitality um, wins, I mean, Heretics wins. Up, I would say. Heretics okay. or BDS like, maybe. Just, okay, that's close. And I think that's close. That's close. That could be close. That is not even close. 
do very well into Photon, and I think both is like even ish, even though cars How are G2 to Fnatic on the same that, bracket uh, again? Why does that always like, happen? Yeah, irrelevant dumps the photon. Yeah, I can win against V2. Bot lane, like so and so, you know, maybe it's good, maybe it's not. All BO trees, chat. Maybe not so good. All BO trees. Fnatic is going to go up against GX and G2 up against MDK. All right, chat, I'm going to end now. Those, that draw is kind of obvious, I think, because like Giant X and SK, 7th, 8th, Fnatic Vitality, 1st, 2nd, you get to choose anyone. Oh, we'll choose 7th, 8th. Actually, should have thought about that. All right. Listen up, you degenerates. I'll be back. I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow. No, I won't be back tomorrow. I'm not streaming tomorrow. I'm not going to be back tomorrow. I lied. I'm not streaming tomorrow. I'm streaming on Wednesday onwards for two weeks straight. Wednesday onwards. Because LCK playoffs are starting. LPL playoffs are starting. LEC playoffs are starting. LCS finals. Full send. So I'll see you on Wednesday. Also, on Thursday, I need you guys to be in the stream. Because on Thursday, I'm playing a mega Apex tournament. And we're playing the Apex Tournament Finals on Thursday at 5 p.m. or some shit. March 28th, 5 p.m. And me and the squad are going to win that shit. I'm going to practice some Apex off stream. See you on Wednesday. Peace. You fucking... <laughs>